Hello. Good afternoon. And for some of you, good uh, evening. Good morrow, maybe for a handful of you as well. Yeah, uh, stream was scheduled for tomorrow. But, like all things, sometimes you can move stuff around and decided I was going to stream today. Would you look at that? <clears throat> nice EU time. Uh, four, let's see, five, six, three, like 50, 330, 330, four, five, six, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. It's like 1130 EU, right? Nice game name? That I didn't name it. All right, yeah, daylight savings time too. I hate that. There's nothing worse than sitting on your computer, just getting shit done. And it's you're up a little too late, and you know that. And it's 12:30 a.m., 1 a.m., and you're like, I still, it's all right. I still get to 1 a.m. You go up to go to the bathroom. You come back, and all of a sudden it's 3 a.m. It, it, wait, what, what, how, what happened? No, this is not fair. This is not fair at all. I gotta, I have to, no! I have work to do! And then you have to force yourself to go to sleep. And that sucks, always. Because you're sitting there lying like toy soldier style in the bed. Closing your eyes, squeezing them, going like, fuck dude, like savings time. Oh, it, I'm, I'm well aware, especially for school too. When I was in college, I hated it. It was the worst thing ever. Be sitting there looking at your phone or something or hanging out on your computer. And it would just teleport an hour forward. And it just screws you up for like a week. But, regardless, uh, hope, happy daylight savings. Today we're going to play Seaman. Does the microphone work? I don't know, because, well, it knows it exists. I loaded the game up and it said, please put, uh, this is Leonard Nimoy, by the way, is the voice of Seaman and the narrator as well. So it did recognize that it was in there. I don't know if it works, because I really didn't want to jump into it unless we were all here. And that's five computer to subs from Hot Take Alert. Thanks for the five subs. Hot take. So this is what we're doing today. I don't know how long this is gonna be. We'll find out. I'm ready to close the lid and get going. I bought a counterfeit Seaman mic. I don't think that's possible. Is that possible? You can't buy a fake one, can you? I don't think you can. Let's close the lid. Let me get this over here. Hey, you've seen that familiar face before, haven't you? That is the Dreamcast. Alright. See, man, here we go. So, just to give everybody a, a little intro here as to what, what the fuck is even going on. This. This is the Dreamcast controller, as you see, right? Only difference is this time. There's a little thing on it. This thing right here. I have to speak into this to talk to the Seaman. And uh, I owned this game when I was younger, but I was too young to understand what the fuck was going on and how I was supposed to play it in the first place. So I got bored because I think I said like hello three or four times and realized it wasn't like a fun like Welcome plat to the laboratory of Jean-Paul Gasset. Hold on. You'll witness before you a phenomenon like no other. A man of the sea. Seaman. This legendary creature will be dependent on you for its life's blood. Yep. You'll begin right here in Gasset's laboratory. The Where Jean-Paul Gasset laboratory? What awaits you within? You have no idea what Seaman is or how it evolves. This is something you must find out for yourself, as there is little documentation to help you on your way. My name is Leonard Nimoy, and I will be your guide. Well... This is your first day with the Seaman kit. 
Your first step will involve preparing the tank for Seaman's arrival. Adjust the tank settings to be an adequate temperature with sufficient oxygen. While adjusting, keep in mind that blue is the color of the sea, and thus an appropriate color for the care of Seaman. Then take the egg from the storage matrix and place it in the tank. Okay. The water's temperature is key to the hatching of the egg. So we have to hatch an egg first. Once hatched, the Nautilus will play a very important role in Seaman's development. Each time you visit this laboratory, I'll be here to offer advice and guidance. If you tire of my voice... By the way, it's kind of hard to pay attention because to of the fucking time. deli slicer over here next to me. Very well. I Let completely forgot about the deli slicer. So as you see, uh, press start. <laughs> What's he saying? Oh, look at this calm game where you make a creature. That's like all I hear over here. And I buried this. This is not even on my desk. The Dreamcast is over here. Down. On the ground. Is it give or turn a garbage disposal on? With a fork in it? That's what it sounds like when you play with the Dreamcast. Don't be careful, by the way. That's dangerous. Don't ever don't even use your garbage disposal. It's fucking scary. Think of how many horror movies you've seen where the guy, like, reaches in and like, Don't ever have a garbage disposal. Just put your- to clean your plate in the trash. Alright, so, um... This is Seaman. We have our hand here. And I think we- wait, we have to get the temperature in the, uh... Temperature has to be raised. Turn the lights on. Okay, here we go. So, uh, left trigger. Here's the egg. Food pellets. We have to feed it. Use voice. There's nothing here to use my voice yet. Hello? No, there's no animal. This is the thing that they tell you not to do at every pet store. Alright, let's put the egg. I, gotta, oh, I need lights. Not the Nautilus, right? Here's the Nautilus. Here's the camera. This is the one problem with not having any manual to know. Wait a minute, I do have the manual! Got it! Welcome to Dr. Gassa's Live Laboratory. Thank you for purchasing. The Seaman Kit. Uh, please note this software is designed only for use with the Dreamcast console. Do not put this in a PlayStation. Why would you do that? The, this package contains a Seaman Habitat and one Seaman Egg. Thank God I have this. I seriously. To begin with, let's learn a bit about Seaman, shall we? Historical references to Seaman first appeared in the spoken folklore of ancient Egypt, passed down from generation to generation. Until recently, it was assumed that the Seaman creature did not actually exist. Similar to many other mythical creatures of ancient Egypt, however, in 1997, the discovery of a live seaman in the Egyptian city of Old Alexandria disproved this assumption. And seaman came to be known as the world over. While the originally discovered seaman specimen died shortly after being captured, monkey ass, its remains were quickly rushed to the foremost biologist research institute in France where a number of eggs were discovered inside its body. We at Vivarium were then able to assist in the endeavor by covering the research and development costs in return for the sole distribution rights that have enabled us to offer this product to you. There he is. It is well known that this, that as part of its genetic labeling, Seaman passes knowledge on to subsequent human generations orally. Furthermore, Seaman is said to have had a strong influence on the government. No, that's not what it says. On the progression of ancient civilization. But the details of exactly how this was done are not fully understood. Welcome. Okay. A memory card is, is required. <laughs> okay. 
the history of semen. The man who made the original discovery of semen was a French scientist by the name of Dr. Jean-Paul Gasset. Born in 1899, whereabouts are now unknown. Dr. Gasset was a member of- who gives a fuck? How do I play? Should I read this whole thing? I mean, look, I, this was a this was like a fucking hundred bucks. I'm reading the whole thing. It was 80 fucking bucks for this microphone. And the disc was like 28. I'm reading it. I'm milking this stream for all it's got. <clears throat> the history of Seaman. Where were we left off? Dr. John... Dr. Jean Paul Gasset. Dr. Gasset was a member of a special team of French biologists dispatched to Egypt by the French government in the 1930s when he discovered references to a creature dubbed the Omnipotent Messenger of the Gods. Among ruins of the Third Dynasty, he became determined to pursue this line of research and unravel the mystery. In March of 1932 in the city of Alexandria, Dr. Gasset happened to meet up with a local resident who had caught a seaman while fishing. Dr. Gasset obtained a sample of some of the eggs, which he carried back with him to France. When Dr. Gasset returned, he immediately attempted to raise the seaman eggs in his Parisian laboratory, but unfortunately, in the midst of his experiment, the seaman died. Dead. Wait, the seaman died. Shortly thereafter, Dr. Gasset published a detailed thesis of his work. He didn't do very well. He brought you, you put him in a backpack and they died. You're gonna write about it now? Oh, hold on, like. Oh, let me excuse on. Let me hold on a minute there. There we go. Uh, let's see. However, after leading academics of the day dismissed the young scholar's work as a publicity stunt, and without the proper evidence, e.g., a living specimen, to support his theories, his work was shunned and no one believed him. Dr. Gasset's hypothesis suggested that Seaman was perhaps responsible for transferring knowledge that proliferated during the Third Dynasty across oceans to other lands. This theory eventually became the basis for anthrobioarchaeology, a highly valued field of study today. Soon after the publication of his thesis, Dr. Gasset was dismissed from his post. He then disappeared for quite some time. Recently, a dire- I don't know, I don't need to read the rest. He, like, genetically put his fucking brain in the fish, and that's who you talk to. I, I figured it out. He, like, he is the fish. Guaranteed. Continued research to unravel the details of Seaman's evolution. For further details, kindly refer to the following website. I don't think this website still works. It's uh, www.meetseaman.com. I would highly recommend you don't do that website, considering the potential pornographic consequences. Because it definitely doesn't exist anymore. Alright, here we go. Before starting a game, this is the first things first reality check. Seaman is a one-player game. So, once you begin raising Seaman, you're expected to assume complete responsibility for the care and upbringing of a living, breathing creature. So before you begin with the initial setup procedure, you are strongly recommended to double-check with yourself that you are mentally prepared to assume this important responsibility. It's not like buying a- it's not like owning a dog. Or a cat. This is the conversation- okay, this is the mom. This booklet is the mom, and I'm the kid. And I just said I wanted a kitty. And it's given me the whole, okay, well remember, You've got to take care of this cat. Are you are you ready for that? You have to clean its litter box and it's like, yeah, yeah, I will. God. Uh, the first step you must take in preparation is to set up with the required equipment. At this time, should you experience any tension-related symptoms such as heart palpitations, perspiration, etc., resulting from the sheer weight of the responsibility for rearing a seaman, you may wish to loosen up a bit by stretching or taking a bit of exercise. Once you are sufficiently relaxed, you are ready to begin. Do not turn the power of the Dreamcast on yet. Says it right there. Can you see? Do not turn the power of the Dreamcast on. Whatever, we already did it. 
It's too late. Okay, got the memory card in, got the micro- As Seaman matures, there will come a time when it will be kind in. Will it, it will begin to converse with you. A microphone has been included in this package for the express purposes of speaking to your Seaman. Whenever you wish to play with your Seaman, always be sure to insert the microphone into expansion socket 2. Note the VMU must be inserted into expansion socket 1. The Seaman software will not run if these two devices are not correctly inserted in the right slots. Alright, so how do I play? Got it. Creating a Seaman habitat. Put that down for now. Oh, don't break. Just buy the domain already. Just buy the, wait, buy the Seaman domain? Buy the Seaman domain. And just have it be a fucking picture of this. <laughs> How much is that? No, I'm not doing that shit. Alright. Maybe I'll do it. Alright, creating a semen habitat. Memory card file, got it. Yep, okay, let's figure this out. Here we go. Do you see what that says? That says mental preparation. Mental preparation. The most fundamental requirement for successfully raising semen is daily care and maintenance. At the very least, you are kindly requested to attend to various custodial tasks such as providing oxygen, water, food, cleaning, etc. on a daily basis, just as with a daily exercise program. It is important that you participate each and every day without fail. This concept is a prerequisite for being a guardian to semen. Seaman is a game in which you will experience the growth of a living being. You will witness the drama of life over an extended period of time. Therefore, do not expect an experience similar to any other games in which clearly defined events happen each time you play. They've been this it's fucking this is like 1998. They figured this out. Neopets figured this out in like 2006, don't worry. Uh, this is not the type of game in which one can spend several hours in one sitting and expect to experience vast amounts of action or change. As with life itself, change only occurs over time, and even then, slowly. Change is only evident through the accumulation of experience over time. AKA, do not stream this game. You wasted a hundred dollars, idiot. Enjoy communicating with seamen while you attend to these daily maintenance tasks. Tap on the glass of the aquarium to get its attention. Use the microphone to greet and converse, as well as other methods you will discover in order to express your affection to it. This is paramount to ensuring the successful growth and development of your seaman. As seaman matures and reaches a certain level of development, recognition will increase and it will begin conversing with you. <laughs> I have to stream this every day. A, a daily stream. Seaman's development will accelerate when in good humor. The only way to ensure Seaman is kept in good humor is to take adequate care of it daily without fail, while constantly providing loving affection. Although raising Seaman does require a bit of perseverance, it is a bit like writing in a diary. Just set the date forward one day. Just cheat. Just... Should I just make my internal clock, like... 2040? No, I have to go every day. I'm gonna have to turn off the console and go and change the clock every day. We're gonna we're gonna be like four weeks. Oh, this is gonna be a pain in the ass. <sighs> Although raising semen does not require a bit does require a bit of perseverance. It is a bit like writing a diary. Something you need to persist in doing on a daily basis. By doing so, you will find yourself experiencing a grand drama, the likes of which have yet been rendered possible by even the most realistic of computer or console games. For those of you with time to spare, one highly recommended and interesting method for enjoying your time with Seaman 
is to darken the lights into your room and simply vegetate while watching your seaman go about daily life. Similar to a typical aquarium, but what about no, what about working or well, school? This is encouraging you to literally not go to work, not go to school, and sit there and vegetate, it says. All day. Seaman will provide completely different and ever-changing scenery for your television set. And for as long as Seaman lives, the show will go on. Let's begin. That's so, that's weird. Were you expected just to have this on, turned on all day? Here we go. Transfer the egg into the tank. Alright, I'm ready. Here we go. Subsequent, we got, here are the operations. Here we go. Ready? This is, if, if I, if I didn't have this book, I would be fucked. Thank God, the per people that I bought this from, it wasn't just like a jewel case. This game sounds like shitty SCP. <laughs> Relax. Alright, operation day one. I'm ready. Hello? Once again, you are urged to review the setup procedure. Yeah, I know how to do that. Okay. Press the open button on your Dreamcast to open the disc door. No, this is how to put the disc in. Place the disc. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Press the start button on the Dreamcast controller to display the raising habitat. In the beginning, this will be an aquarium. The very first thing you must do is place the Seaman egg into the tank. L trigger. To toggle the display over the storage matrix. The milky white object located in the top of the storage is the Seaman egg. Use the analog thumb pad to select the egg. Okay, so I got I'm, I got two here. All right, yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know what it said. I heard it too, but I just swallowed it. Okay, I like no, no, no. I just didn't react to it. And that's like, oh, wow. I, I said that on purpose, right? That's like, has to be what it was. Nobody would say that unless they said it on purpose. Like, absolutely not. God damn it. What a fucking idiot. Anyways. First, transfer the egg into the tank. Who gives a shit? I'll be fine. Pre- uh... So, while- use the analog thumbpad to select the egg. And while pressing and holding X, press and hold the trigger to grab the egg. Okay, I got it. If you are successful, you should see the egg displayed on the clipboard in the lower right corner of the screen. In this state, press L again to toggle the display over the aquarium. Ooh, shit. So you have to hold it the whole time. So we go like this. Right trigger. Left. And now we're over here. Next, let go of X and R to release the egg into the tank. This, the clipboard will disappear and the egg will be visible in the tank. This process is used when moving items from display to display. Whenever you grasp an item, it will appear on the clipboard. If you release the item, let go of X and or R before switching to the display in which to release the item, the item will return to the original location. So let go. Where is it? Did I just drop it on the ground? How do I zoom out? Would you 
How do I like zoom the camera out? Where's the egg? When continuing from a police, insert the memory card into. How do I turn the lights on? This is not dead already. How do I turn on the lights? Would you like to save and end the session? No, not yet. Okay, then it says subsequent, subsequent operation. All right. When continuing from previously saved file, insert the system. Only one semen habitat is able to be created on a VMU, therefore file selection, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whenever the start screen is displayed, there will be a short narration that reports on the current status of your semen's development and provides a brief explanation of what has occurred previously. As there are often important hints and tips on how to proceed offered during this narration, it is recommended that you listen to it carefully every single day. If the mushrooms do not evolve within a few days of their hatching, they will die. How do I turn the lights on? Position the hand over the nautilus at the bottom of the tank and press R to patiently tap it. The mushroomers will float towards the nautilus and be eaten. Do not be alarmed by this behavior and continue on as normal. Once the nautilus has consumed at least four mushroomers, it will begin to undergo a transformation, so observe it carefully. How do I turn on the lights? How do you turn on the lights? Before turning on the Dreamcast, Flip the light switch. Controls. I'm, I'm looking at it right now. Toggle. Once displayed, toggle between each function. Use the D-pad to operate the various devices that control the habitat. Okay, so we got... Heater. Air. Light. Oh! Okay, where's the egg? Press down to hide the habitat panel. So how, what, what do I need to do for heat? How do I clean the tank? How do I give the how do I give mushrooms to the to the thing? Tap it, right? Turn on the heat. What? The letter didn't tell me that. Hold on. Would you like to save and end the session? It didn't. It didn't tell me what heat I needed to put it to. How to interact with a, a flick seaman? Caring for your seaman. I just had to keep reading. Okay. Relax. Use the D-pad to operate the devices on the habitat operation panel. Because the analog design for this device is old-fashioned, you are only able to perform operations such as raising the temperature or increasing the oxygen level of the habitat. For the duration, you press the relevant button. Once you release the button, the temperature will begin to decrease and the oxygen to dissipate with the passage of time. Maybe I, I haven't prepared myself mentally for it. I am absolutely prepared mentally for it. Okay. Granted, the system used to operate requires far more work than would a fully automated digital habitat system, but let us not forget the benefits that this analog style system provides. Perhaps such work will be useful in teaching you a concept that is often forgotten in this fully automated society we live in. Mainly that the first step towards conveying true affection for another is through constant attention and care. Not through Twitter, not through Facebook, not through Instagram. Delete them. You don't need them. You don't even have to use them. Get rid of your Facebook. 
Leonard Nimoy told you fucking 20 years ago this was going to happen. Don't use it anymore. Go outside. Go outside and... <sighs> At least once a week. Leonard Nimoy warned us about this. It is necessary to maintain appropriate levels of temperature, oxygen, etc. in order to provide semen with a suitable living environment. Therefore, it is necessary for you to adjust these levels as required. To display the habitat operation panel on the screen, yeah, the functions that are available for use at the current stage of your semen's development will appear on the panel. Press this way or that way to toggle between the available functions and then press that way or this way to activate the selected function. To hide the habitat operation panel, press... Okay. Display the habitat operation panel and toggle until the word light appears. Press... I thought that was a house. I was like, where's the home button? You see that? I was like, what, home? It's up. It is recommended that normally you keep the light on at the brightest setting in order to observe semen properly. All right, fucking heater. Display the habitat operation panel and toggle till the word heater appears. Press and hold up to turn the heater on and to raise the temperature. The heater will only activate and operate when while the switch is pressed. It will take a few moments to get going and then may continue for a moment after the switch is released. Practice your timing and above all, take care not to overheat the habitat. Just after the habitat is first created, temperature is zero. Unlike modern American heaters, the heating units are measured in Celsius, the same scale as used by Dr. Gasol. This is going to be bad. I can't change that? It's in Celsius. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I just saw the image in the preview. That was fucked up. Okay. To ensure the eggs hatch properly. Are you listening to me? Are you listening? To ensure... I don't care. Whatever. I'll never get it right. To ensure the eggs hatch properly, the temperature of the habitat should be maintained between 15 and 20 degrees everywhere else in the world besides America. After the eggs have hatched, observe semen carefully to determine the appropriate temperature setting and then maintain it accordingly. So 15, between 15 and 20 degrees. Okay. Oxygen supply. Imagine not doing this. I can't fucking even... I'm so glad I did this. Remember, like... <laughs> Display the habitat operation panel until the word air appears. Press and hold up to supply a stream of oxygen into the tank. The oxygen supply will only continue to increase for the duration you hold it. Just after the habitat is first created, the level of oxygen is zero. When the oxygen level is lower than 50, when it's lower than 50, semen is in danger of suffocation. The appropriate level depends on the number of living objects in the habitat. However, it is safe to assume that this level must stay above 80 whenever possible. All right, let me like just fucking do this first. So we got, here's the menu. Heater, 15 degrees, right? Okay, is that, that's 0. 0.05, right? Oh, I see, it slowly does it. Okay, yeah, this guy's a bit 15 to 20. Camera's not big enough, <laughs> oh fuck. Alright, I gotta turn on the generator. I gotta let it go, though. I gotta let it go, because it takes a minute to stop. Right? Put it to a hundred to, a hundred to do a soft-boiled egg. You are fucked up. That's not nice. Did you, did you think about what you just said? Before you said it? Wow. Is it going to suffocate? How long does it take to suffocate? Probably would have already happened. <laughs> okay, slow down, slow down. <sighs> Let 
Well, how do I like my- I like my eggs over medium. Yeah, I know. Someone's gonna be like, <laughs> Really? Over easy? No, over medium. I like a soft but tangible yolk in the middle. Over easy is disgusting to me. It just is. I'm sorry, it is. It's barely even cooked in the middle. Alright, 15 to 20. There we go. Alright, so I'm gonna keep it in like around like eight, 17 to 18, you know? Like, right here should be good. Okay, now we need to do air. What did it say for air? 80? This thing's- I'm, I'm not fucking it up, am I? Do you don't drink raw eggs for strength? No. I don't drink raw eggs for strength. Clean the water. I gotta- I don't know how to do that yet! I need to read how to do that! Let me at least let him breathe! Are you guys sour pleasing to this? Holy shit, we can actually see the tank now. I said keep it above 80. Alright, looking good. Who knew that reading would help? Right? I know. Can you have too much air? What happens if you have over air? Oh. That's as, that's as high as it can go anyway. Alright. Cleaning. How do I clean? Let's get this to higher. What, what happens if there's too much No, oxygen! If there's too much oxygen, you- it like, it's bad for you, right? Isn't that how that works? Would you like to save and end the session? We- see, we, we breathe CO2, right? So if like the O2 wasn't there, or if it was too much, it would be- it would be like, a, a helium. It, it would turn into H2O, which would be helium. Now we exhale CO2. Sorry, my mistake, scientists in chat. Okay. Cleaning. You will discover that with each passing day, the water in Seaman's Aquarium will become cloudier, indicating a worsening in the sanitation condition of the habitat. Cleaning the water is simple, and all that you must do is increase the oxygen supply. That's it. As you do this, you will notice the water become clearer. Keep the water clean. So you just have to put air in it. Just put, make it ox oxygenate the water and it'll clean it. H2O is water. That's hydrogen and then oxygen. That's not water. Hydrogen is its own thing. Oxygen is its own. When you combine them together, you get hydrogen and oxygen. Water is water. It just exists. You're talking about like a chemical made in a fucking lab. All right, please don't leave if you think I'm like actually that stupid. Some of you guys might just be like, alright, this guy's fucking out of his mind, I'm out of here. Alright, so I need to know how- what was the thing about the Nautilus again? The Nautilus down there. Alright, feeding your seaman. Press L to switch to the storage matrix, you'll notice 11 food pellets that are used to feed seaman once it reaches the Gillman stage of development. We're not there yet. How to say goodbye to seaman. Living in harmony with Seaman. Ah, uh, exchanging food with another razor. Advice. Final notes and pointers. Okay, hold on. How do I make the egg hatch? Do I have to feed the egg? Do I have to like inject a syringe into the egg? What was the thing about the Nautilus like eating mushrooms? So this is, okay, we're in day one, so day two. So, okay, let's just take a look. So that's grab. So this is to move forward. Okay, this is the zoom. Yeah, but you know what I mean? Like, what, what, can I? That's just the egg right there. All right, it's multiplying. It's turning into four cells. Is this going to eat it? He's going to eat this. Okay, 
Okay, so now I ha it has to be tomorrow. When am I going to eat it? No, I, I can't talk yet. I don't have the ability to speak. It's called mitosis, stupid. Doesn't it take actual days for the game to progress? Yeah. So how do I save it? Would you? Okay, how do I get- how do I change the clock in the Dreamcast? It only takes a few minutes. I'm gonna have to go- I'm gonna have to turn the console off like 30 times this stream. I have to go change the j date and time till tomorrow. Alright, we'll just get wait to the egg to hatch. Save and quit. Would you like to save and end the session? Okay, you just have to wait. But hold on, do I have to wait? I think I have to wait till tomorrow is when the egg hatches, so I can't just leave. What do you mean no cheating? I'm gonna cheat the whole day. It only takes a few minutes. It hatches. Okay, alright, alright, hold on, hold on. Let me get to the part of the instructional booklet. If the mushrooms do not evolve within a few days of their hatching, they will die. Whoa! Hold on, wait, 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 what, what, what do I do about the balloons? What, how do I do this? We got it, we got life! How do I- when do they turn into, uh, sea monkeys? What do you mean it died? <laughs> it didn't die! So right now do I have them get eaten? It's not dead, these are like the eggs! One of these- some of these are gonna survive. Let me make sure hot wave a heater. These are the mushrooms, okay. Tap the Nautilus. There's too much air in here. <laughs> I don't need too much air. It said keep it above 80. Oh shit! Look at this! Get him! Should I be doing this? He's gonna get one, he's gonna get one! Is this how do you make a seaman? Now saving, now saving, now saving. Whoa, 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 he's pissed. What did I do? Whoa, he got one. He actually just got one. This is making me uncomfortable. <laughs> Just open a guide? No, I think we're good. Okay. They aren't dying, don't worry. No, I know, they're, they're gonna get like spit out. What's going on up here? How's the air, how's the heat? It's okay, air is okay. Takes a few minutes, alright, we can, we can just chill, it's all good. 
How many does it need to eat? If mushrooms do not evolve within a few days of their hatching, they will die. Position the hand over the Nautilus. The mushrooms will float towards the Nautilus to be eaten. Do not be alarmed by this behavior and continue as normal. Once the Nautilus has consumed four mushroomers, it will begin to undergo our transformation. He's got to eat two more. Eat two more of these. Come on, grab one. Come on. What's his problem? Eat it. He already ate three? I think he needs to eat four. Is this like a brain? Need more air. We got plenty of air. We got the heat and the air are fine. Come on, grab one, grab one. Come on, you need one more. Come on, you need to get one more. Come on. Down here. Come on. No. No! Just go get eaten! Did he eat four? I thought he only ate three. Don't annoy him, just let him be. That was weird. Alright, so, the, so there are only four left in the tank, so that means maybe he did already eat four. Alright, so then we get a, he's gonna shit out a seed. So should I go on the clock now and make it like two days later? He only eats them when the air is lower. I'm not gonna believe that bullshit. There's too much air. I can't even lower it. So even if that one guy was telling the truth, Are you sure you want to continue with this? It's a very disturbing experience. This was a hundred bucks, so yes. This was eighty dollars. Eighty. What's going on? I think the, is he doing something here? Just use an emulator? An emulator can't outdo the microphone. This is the only way. Whoa! What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Why is he like dying? Uh, save him? I don't know. Uh, how do I say I can't save him? I and mean, I want the real experience. I don't want the emulator experience. I want the real microphone, the real controller. I want it to be authentic so when my children come into the world, they can use, they can do it too. Check the oxygen. Here we're good. <laughs> this is actually pretty disturbing. I don't think I want to tap. He's going through some shit right now. This is, okay. Do I have to do anything? It looks like he's cooking in a fryer, like he's in a pan. Yeah, that's fucked up. 
Yeah, yellow is bad, red is dangerous. Yeah, as long as it's blue, it's good. It was between 15 and 20 for here and above 80 for this, so we're good. Turn off the lights. Is that the problem? I feel like there's something I should be doing here. Turn the oxygen off. I can't. You can only turn it up. Why would anyone buy this game? Because it was one of the first video games to allow... Would you like to save and end the session? Uh... Communicating. Communicating? Once semen has learned a reasonable vocabulary, try to initiate a conversation. In the beginning, it is generally acceptable to address semen with hey, or semen. To do so, a mature semen will often respond to phrases such as say something or talk to me. If you observe semen's manner closely, you'll have no problems distinguishing when semen is ready to begin conversing. All conversations with semen must be made via the microphone. Be sure to press A for the full duration of your utterance when speaking to C-Man. Once each utterance is complete, be sure to release A. Note that the general progress of your conversation with C-Man is indicated by the icons that appear on the LCD screen of the VMU. Hello? Hey. How are you? Molo. What is your purpose? What is your purpose? Yeah, what? Where's the mothership? How do you like your tank? Are you comfortable? Hey, how are you? They don't, they don't, how do I teach them? This one wants to talk. This is the one that's closest. Look at, keeps coming over here. No, no, I want this one. Back off. Good afternoon. Bagua. Hi. Hi. Play-Doh. Play-Doh. Chicken strips. Crayons. Crayon. Hoy. Mac and cheese. What are, what are the things the kids like? School. One. Fortnite. Even if... I gotta teach him the alphabet. A. Always. B. Word. C. D. A ranger. He's, he's, he's gonna see the Avengers. Progressing here. What's the end game, Peter? E. Seaman. You Seaman. You Seaman. You. Mala. You Seaman. Squeena. Squeen Seaman. Seaman. Glator. 
Seaman. Hello, Ray. Fabula. How do I feed? How do I feed them? Would you like to save and end the session? Feeding. Once you'll notice eleven food pellets that are to be used to feed seem once it reaches the gill man stage of development. Are they they're not are they at gill man? Not yet, right? No, 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 yes. Yes, they are Gilman. No, yes. It's speaking Simlish. Yes, they are. Yes, yes. Oh, you guys saying no. You don't know what the hell you're talking about. Okay. To feed, once it reaches, get it to feed Seaman, use the analog thumb pad to select food pellet and then press and hold, grab it. Uh, press L to toggle to the aquarium tank, then release X and R to drop the food into the water. Okay. The food pellets initially available in the storage matrix will enable you to feed semen for a short time, provided you do not overfeed it. However, after that, you will need to create an alternate method of providing semen with food. What? There is no need to panic, for semen may be able to help you to determine a new method for providing food when the time is right. So be sure to observe carefully and listen well to what semen has to tell you. What is it? Is it gonna like eat its own shit? I don't understand that. Take the utmost care to prevent using up all the food in the storage. You are advised to only feed Seaman when it is hungry. Prick up your ears, listen carefully to what Seaman says, and be sure to carry out its instructions in a timely fashion. So. Hungry? Come on. Hungry? Are you hungry? Hungry? Rap. Yeah? Yeah, said yeah. Hungry? Cool. Cool, okay. Who gets to eat it? Oh, they, 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 they're all, they all share the cookie. He just stole it. He just took it. Hello? No, more. It, I told you not to feed them. Well, I don't, what do you mean not to feed them? I, they're not speaking English. How do I know what hungry means? All oh, they're going, they're doing like reverse speech, like yeah, light, this left up, like that. I'm hungry. How am I supposed to know what that means? Now I was right to feed them. Are you ready to evolve, Pikachu? My, my, my. Is it is it chili in the tank? Yeah. What? I think it's chili in the tank. Hold on, let me see. Right, yeah, it's a little chilly. 17, about, we'll make it 18. Alright, let's get the stop, 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 stop. Too, not too hot, too hot. Alright, we're good. What's going on over here? These are like the mushrooms. These Are these things just gonna die? Didn't. Why are there only three or four that are alive? Yes. Yes. Loy. Yes. Shirt. Sure how do you Got teach a kid language? I don't know how this works. I don't, I don't have any children. How does a kid learn into duck? I have Cabra. no idea. I have no idea what to do. See if any died. Um. I don't think so. Mm. 
No, I think maybe maybe two died. What's what's a sim uh, grading? Like, like, uh, how do I do a how do I speak how do, what's what it's like it's like profile mule, hi, right? Sul sul. Clap tap clap. Ratananar. Fly. Quaha. Loompa. Loompa. Rap. <laughs> Laffy. <laughs> Laffy. Laffy. Forka. Fortnite. Forka. Pabra. 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 Yay! Hooray! Hooray! Fibula. Fib a tip a fibula, isn't that an organ? A fib fibula is like here, right? Where, where's the fibula? Check the other ones. Hold on. Hello. 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 See, it's reversed. I... Are you comfortable? Comfy? Elvin. Are the translations in the handbook? I don't think so. It just tells you when they understand what you're saying. Advice. Here we go. Please realize that concepts such as goals or scores do not apply to this game. You are free to enjoy semen in whatever manner you find appropriate. However, if you endeavor to successfully raise and assist in Seaman's evolution, there are a few points you must take into consideration. Go to sleep. Sleep. No more. Okay. First off, there's a strong relationship between knowledge acquisition and Seaman's growth process. Just follow one around. I got plenty of air, right? Just watch this one for a while. As Seaman's caretaker, you're encouraged to take the initiative and talk to Seaman daily to stimulate its desire to learn and, in turn, aid its ma maturation. Note that without conversation, Seaman's growth process will stop. Therefore, it's important to speak to Seaman throughout its growth and development, even well before it's matured to the stage of being able to converse with you. Secondly, it's, an, it's an imperative at some point that you transform the Habitat Aquarium into a terrarium. For Seaman, as this is crucial to aiding in its evolution. But not to worry, Seaman will assist you in achieving this goal when the time is right. Be sure to listen carefully and attentively to all that Seaman tells you. Eventually, when an appropriate level of maturity has been reached, you must help Seaman become free of the confines of the habitat. How do I transform the habitat aquarium into a land filled terrarium? What environment lies outside the habitat? How do I enable semen to gain freedom from its confines? These are all questions you must be longing to have answered. However, we have opted not to provide these answers. In this manual, we feel it would be far more rewarding experience for you to experiment using the exact same laboratory conditions as Jean-Paul Gasset in the 30s. We have the utmost confidence that you will be successful in your seaman rearing efforts. So I just keep stimulating their brains. And then I'm going to turn the clock forward. Hello? 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 Okay. Who got attention? Hey, Louie. Hey, how are you? Ever heard any good jokes lately? Oinka. Oinka? Oi. Oinka. Mola. Read the B movie script to them. I'm not, I'm not gonna fucking do that. Yeah, what? I'm not gonna- I'm not gonna read these children, the late six-and-a-half-year-old meme. 
at least give us something that's more relevant to today. Okay. Sure. I'm gonna fast forward time now. Fast day. Yeah. I will fast forward time now, and then I'm gonna come back and see how you're doing. Heek. Gnome, gnome it. I, how am I gonna do that? I don't have speakers. Sing him a song. Oh, Canada, our home and sacred land. True patron side, and all thy sons command with spoken word. We see thy shine, the true north young and wise. We're... That's all I know. Any words for that? Gakura. I'm not, I don't, I don't, I'm not Canadian. Why would I know the Canadian theme song? You know, uh, I'm supposed to know every country's theme song? I live in the United States of America. I've been to Canada twice. I'm supposed to know the words to their fucking song? Are you serious? <laughs> Twice is enough. Wow. Can you believe what they just said? Cool. Cool. All right. Um. Should I fast forward now one day? I'm going to save it. I'm going to end and I'm going to fast forward the clock a day. And we'll see how they're doing. Okay, be good. Hello, Ray. See you soon. Goodbye. Goodbye. I'm not going to fast forward 40 years. They'll be dead. I'm going to go one day, come back one day until they get to be adults and I can talk. The tank is not going to be on fire. Let's put the heat up. To like 19. And then I have to, oh, not too hot, not too hot, not too hot. Stop before 20, please. Put the oxygen, get it to like 100. Okay. Can dim the light a little bit. All right. Now they're good. I should be able to. Would you like to save and end the session? Save and end the session. Go into the clock, make it tomorrow. I'm not cooking the fishes, guys. Just, you just wait till I get to fucking have a conversation with one of these buttheads. The cliff, there's a cliffhanger in the game. The, the sequel's only in Japanese. It's not gonna work? Why not? Alright, here we go. Saving. We're locked in now. I'm gonna change the date to tomorrow. Oh, by the way, I wanted to show you this because I... You may now turn the power off. Okay. But before we go any further, you guys need to see this. So I also made sure that I got Space Channel 5, the original Space Channel 5. And I, I don't, I, that's like a plan to play this. I don't want to open this. Because look, this is like original shrink wrapped packaging. Isn't this like an artifact? I don't want to open this. You know what I mean? That, I don't think I want to break the seal. This might be worth like 50 grand in like a thousand years. You know, my great, 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 great grandchildren might be able to sell this for like fucking a million dollars. Here's the crazy thing. Okay, imagine, uh, imagine like this clip is going to be safe for probably a while. I don't know, I don't know if it's going to take a thousand years. But let's just say that, like, Twitch, somebody saves this clip on a hard drive and it gets shown, like, thrown in the dump somewhere, like, a hundred years from now, somebody comes across it, and they see this clip of me fucking ripping this. And they have a heart attack because it's worth, like, ten million dollars now. We're talking, like, a thousand years in the future. This is gonna be one of those, like, viral videos that people are like, Oh my god, I'm cringing watching him open Space Channel 5! It's gonna be worth a million. 
All right, let me uh, let me just do this. Safe to turn the power off, right? Let's fast forward to tomorrow. Okay, here we go. We're good. So now we go to settings to 3-10-2019. Date and time. Okay, so now, uh, 3 uh, eleven. Right? <laughs> this is tomorrow. Right? Okay. Let's go. Let's see how they're doing tomorrow. That's not month, that's day. Holy shit, someone just gave a hundred bucks. Why is that not on screen? Uh, Flying Muffin Man just gave a hundred bucks. Thank you for the hundred fucking goddamn dollars. And they say, hey man, you're the best. I don't have the attention span to watch streams too often, but it will always be a treat to see a new video up. Much love. Hello. Thank you so Welcome much. Welcome to the laboratory of Jean-Paul Gasset. That means a lot. Thank you, man. Greetings, and welcome back. You're doing a good job. See? First, a recap of your previous visit. A recap. Did we you see it? Episode two. The Nautilus has become prey to the parasitic mushroomers, and thus the gill men were born. Gill stands for the gills of a fish. So a gill man is a being who breathes underwater. Gill man has learned human words. Try speaking to him if you haven't already. I did that. I did that. At the moment, the habitat contains four gillmen. Four gillmen. They are suffering from the cold. Please use the heater to raise the temperature to a more comfortable level. <laughs> they are, they are so suffering. So let us get over to the tank. All right, well, Flying Muffin Man, thank you for the insanely generous amount of money. Thank you. 10,000 bits. Uh, heater goes down over time. All right, let's go. How are they doing? Hey, kids! Dad's home! And they know words now. You shouldn't have gone ahead 24 hours. How am I supposed to fucking... Uh, you know No. We're gonna do... We're alright. Let's see. Ooh! <laughs> This is a nice horror movie. Okay, I swear to fucking god, this keeps getting stuck on the bottom of my glass. But I need it because the coaster. Slow down, don't burn them. It just keep it's like a suction cup when I lift it up and then it falls. Good thing. Good thing I got this beautiful new keyboard. All you guys here, I want to make sure you guys see this. New keyboard, by the way. Pause the game, you guys need Would you like to on. save and end the session? Uh, you know, I, I, people have, I've had some recommended keyboards. Hey, you should check out like the Logitech like G1000 or something, right? I'm like, yeah, that one looks kind of good. Razer's got some like fucking awesome keyboards. I mean, that that's all right. I'll stick with my own fucking bread and butter right here. Now this is an Amazon Basics keyboard. Came in the mail today. I believe this keyboard was seven and a half dollars. I could be wrong. Basic streamer. You don't need all the bells and whistles. It's just, it's just a block. Guys, I'm going to tell you the biggest scam in all of human history. This is just a plastic brick with letter buttons on it. Some people sell you this shit for like fucking 300, 400 bucks. This, it's a, it's letter buttons. Don't let a 
anybody fool you. Like $400 keyboard and Amazon Basics $8 keyboard are the same keyboard. One just clicks, has like, you know, oh, I got the O-rings on mine. We both have the same function. Don't, you know, don't, don't, don't fall for the bullshit. Same thing with like the gamer chairs. Look at this thing. This is fine. You don't need those, like the big thing that comes up and, and guess what? Hey, I got one of those gamer chairs. All right, yeah, it's nice. By the way, the rest of my stream forever has a billboard advertisement of the company that is fucking, I, that I bought this chair from, that I got this chair from. You're a constant advertisement forever. If I got one of those chairs, I would just fucking duct tape gun across the whole thing. And they come up so high. I feel like I'm sitting in one of those, like, the, uh, the egg from the Men in Black test. Remember when Will Smith is doing, like, the test and he's in, like, the fucking egg? I don't want to sit in one of those fucking things. No, you can go, you can go to Staples and get this chair for, like, fucking 80 bucks, 75 bucks, 40 bucks. You don't need a personalized billboard for a company that you fucking probably talk to twice in emails. You know, I got such a good relationship with this chair company, you know. I exchanged two emails, and they sent one to me. Fucking, come on. That chair is $150. I have one. How many emails did you exchange? All right, what do I have to do? Oh yeah, the heater. They know English words now. That bit sucked. That wasn't a bit. That was me speaking in reality. You can tell it's a bit because I'll do the bit voice. You know, th this this is the bit voice. You know, let me let me tell you something really funny. That that's a bit voice. I was just speaking as Jeremy Elbertson there as a concerned streamer. All right, let's go see what they've learned in a day. So we're good. Light heater. Let's make it a little hot. You're doing a bit while your kids die. Are they hungry? Oh, let's check check on that. This look, they look a little fatter. Hello? Libya. I thought you knew English words. <coughs> Bamboo. He heard it. That was such a shitty burp too. That was just a like fifth grader burp. That was like a I chugged a juice box and tried to do a big burp at the lunch table. How are you today? Molo. How are you? Nomboa. Seaman. Fibula. Seaman. Well. I. Hig. English. More time. Did you say more time? English. English. What's the point? Mola. Already like a, a nihilistic fish. Rap. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to say to this. The point is. Kamau. Food. Mar mar mar. Hungry. Hungry? Loy. No. Alright, how do I- can I like, grab it?
I'm sorry. Squina. English. English. What for? To learn. Libua. Spanish. Fifwe. Japanese. Japanese. Molo. English. More time. Hurry up. Yeah, what? Well. All right, should I feed him? Hungry? Eee. Check on one of your brothers or sisters. Where are they? Let's try you. Wait, where'd you just go? Hello? He heard it, but he just didn't respond. Hello? Pabra? Voilà. English. English. I'm learning. Very good. Very good. 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 No. Coo. Learning. 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 More, more, more. Good. 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 Very good. Very good. Good. Sick, dude. English. Teach him fuck. What am I, like the 13 year old older brother? That has, you know, no. More, more, more. Hungry? Food? Libua. No, flip. Alright, what's he doing? Food? Hallaray. Should I feed them? It's been a day, right? I think I have to feed them. How many? Do, are they like a camel? Do they eat once a day? Once a week? How much does a seaman eat? Just one pellet a day. That sounds good. I got 11 of these. So I got 11, 10 more days worth of food. All right, let's put it down. Go eat. Come on. Come on, come on. Don't let them have the whole thing. There's four of you. Come on, get over here. You're going to be the... You're dead. I love how their feeding is just yeah, me dropping boy. one cookie crisp <laughs> into the tank. Ate it. Ate it. Ate it? Food? Good. It was good, huh? People. Eat? Eat. Wake up. Yes. Yes? Yes. Yes. Good. Good. Yes. 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 No. No. Hoy. No. 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 There we go. We got yes, good, no. We need to, I need to teach him food. Food. A ranger. Food. That's how you do it to a kid. You go, food. And then they, they get it. Food. Rap. I'm not going to scream into the microphone. Good. Okay, fine. Are you guys all set? Me, me. Okay, guys, have a good day. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Coo. Bye. Hello, Ray. Goodbye. Goodbye. Or Goodbye. Bye. Okay.
Let's see, what we got? They've been fed. We've conversed a little. Let's make sure we got a good... Heater's at 8. Let's put, the, put it up to like... Just I'm going to get this as close to 20 as I can. Tell them you love them. They don't understand that yet. Teach them their names. They don't know what they... How am I going to do that? They know how to say yes, no, and cool. I gotta get this a little higher. 19, I'll get it to 19.5 and then stop. Teach them the value of Bitcoin. Do research. Do research on market trends before investing. Do not FOMO into new things. Only invest what you can afford to lose. Don't do what Germa did. I <laughs> Implying that I lost a shitload of money. Motherfucker, I gained money. I think I just scared it. I scared him out of the tank. I have to get this higher. Seaman. Seaman. Top. Seaman. You. Seaman, seaman, seaman. Ooh. You. Seaman. Seaman, seaman. You. Greg. Bamboo. Seaman. Seaman, Greg. Seaman Greg. Yeah, well, they know Seaman. Alright, heater's good. Let's get the air up to 100. Okay. Would you like Let's to save tomorrow. and end the session? Shouldn't be teaching children how to say Greg? What's wrong with Greg? Okay, here we go. It's the next day. So maybe I shouldn't be, maybe it should be tomorrow, but not completely 24 hours. How's that? That looks good. Looks fine. All right, let's go. It's, we're now two days from now. Teach them hatred for other sentient beings. Why the hell would I do that? Uh, I'll go with like hungry first. You know, like that's how um, um, my niece. Whenever we would be hungry, it'd be like, "Do you you this this?" And she'd go, and you go, "Oh, okay, yeah, she's hungry." Just throw hands. Here we go. Welcome to the laboratory. Remember, this is two days from Gasset. today. Greetings, and welcome back. You're doing a good job. <laughs> At the moment, the habitat contains four gillmen. They are suffering from the cold. Please use the heater to raise the temperature to a more comfortable level. So let us head over to the tank. Okay. Feed, converse, English, all things that need to be considered. Is that a metal straw? It sure is. It's a metal straw. I like it because it, the straw, I, if you have a cold beverage, the straw gets cold. And it makes it, when liquid goes up through the tube, 
It's uh, it's colder, and it's I like the I like the way it sounds. I like the way it feels in the mouth. I prefer uh, metal or copper straws. All right, how we doing? Hi. 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 Molo. Fine. F fuck you. I'll just talk to your brother. Hi. English. 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 Talk more of that. <laughs> Eight it. Oh, they're cold, they're cold, they're cold. Right, 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 yeah. right, right. I'm just going in there going, right. English! Thunder Speak Thunder. English! Maybe. It's cold! English! Dirty tank, too. Alright, alright, relax. Oh, don't, like, go more than 17 for now. Yeah! Which one's the more yeah. talkative one? That's something we have to find. English. Okay, talk a little bit, feed them. How do I do interactions? So, wait, I can, do, I can interact with them? That was a bad one. Talk to all of them equally. I can't do that. That's too hard. Good morning. Yeah, what? Good morning. Hi. Hi. How are you? Thief way. Are you having a good day? Libua. English. What's the point? So I can understand you. So I can understand you. For me to understand you. Bergwa. Let's talk. Hello, Ray. What's your favorite food? My favorite food is pizza. Hi. Pizza. Fafe. Pizza. My favorite food is pizza. Number. What's your favorite food? Mine's pizza. Hi. <laughs> hey. Hello? Molo. English. Niet. This is that was German. <laughs> Libua. How would you how would you learn German? I haven't said any German words. No, yeah, it's Russian, not German. Nine is German. Russian. Hoy. Why is he speaking Russian? More, more, more. Russian. Russian. Kamau. English. Good morning. Good morning. People. Good morning. Good morning. Hello, Ray. Pea blood? What are you talking about? It's been nice talking to you. Are you hungry? Night, night. Night, night? Good morning. Play, play, play. You want to play? How, all right. How do you... Would you like to save and end the session? How do I do that? He wants to play. Advice. A exchanging food with another razor. Living in harmony. Okay, if, if a seaman is in a bad mood, it will elect to discontinue conversation with you. Whether the cause of this mood swing is inadvertent or intentional on your part is of no relevance. The following situations have been noted to cause a deterioration of seaman mood. If you are violent towards or speak rudely to seaman, if you're constantly using strange or foreign terms that seaman does not understand, if you willfully and consistently repeat the same types of words over and over, like pizza. If you fail to feed semen over an extended period. If you fail to maintain a suitable living environment. If you willfully and continuously flick or grab and pick them up. Pay attention to semen's health. 
Semen is a living creature. In order for semen to remain healthy, it is an absolute must for you to provide food, oxygen, and a clean living environment. And, uh, mm. Pay careful attention to the state of the water and oxygen levels. Keep in mind that if you are away and unable to attend to semen for a couple of days, semen could possibly die. So if I'm away for more than a day or two, they can die. So how do I interact? This feeding. This caring. How to interact. Okay, tapping the glass with R. Flick. While locked on in a close-up, position the hand icon over semen and press and hold R for a few seconds till the icon changes as illustrated. Then release it to flick. However, note that if you do this too often, semen may begin to dislike you. There's also tickle. Use the zoom function to zero in on the semen and position the hand over it. Then press X repeatedly. This will put semen in a good mood. Okay. <laughs> Note. Do not attempt to tap, flick, or tickle other household pets. Wild animals outside of the Seaman kit. Seaman is a very special creature that will respond to such stimuli. However, other animals not in the Seaman kit have been known to become far more aggressive when administered such contact, and it is not advised. Yeah, don't do that to, like, any birds. Alright, so here we go. So... Ooh. I'm sorry. Coo. Okay, what, what was the other one? <laughs> Alright, that's how you just tap that. That's like, okay. So I have to make them all happy. Hello. Sharta. English. English. Nai. So we're just gonna like pet them all. Only focus <laughs> on one seaman. Well, that everyone, people were just pissed off because I was only focusing on one of the children. Who's the smartest? Hello. Hello. I think we found the smart one. Food? Hello, Ray. How are you? How are you? Clap, clap, clap. Hello, Ray. Come here. Don't do this to a wild pig you find. <laughs> if you see a bear, don't run up to him and be like, Hey, bear, how are you? You're gonna get your fucking face ripped off. Is that, how, why would you do that in the first place? Come here. Fine. Does it really have to give a warning? Are people going to sue this company? If somebody tried to, like, pet a bear because they played a game about sea monkeys? Having fun? Are you having fun? Fun, 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 fun. Let's play. Play. <laughs> Having fun? <laughs> um, okay. Yeah, what? In 1776, Columbus signed the Declaration of Independence. And then the British invaded, and we repelled them. And then we gained our independence. Pabra? And then a couple of big wars were fought between lots of countries. And then the computer came out. And AOL was the first internet provider. And then there was... Uh, Netscape was a browser that eventually turned into Mozilla. And after that, there was faster internet. And when the faster internet came out, everybody lost their minds. And that's kind of where we are now. 
You should be a history teacher. I'm, just, I'm condensing it all. I'm condensing it for the fish. That's a lot. Trying to explain to a child, like, the concept of states. That, no, it's not gonna happen. There are 50 states in the United States. Hello? So he's not paying attention anymore. Come here! <laughs> Having fun? <laughs> Having fun? Hello? Hello. How are you? Did I feed him today? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, no, I haven't. Come get it. Eat, 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 eat. Good. Very good. You have to get a refill. English or no food. That's kind of fucked up. Why? That one's not eating. Ate it. Ate it. Not, didn't even eat. That one didn't even eat. English. English. What for? To learn. Fibula. English. Learn English. Learn English. You first. Implying that I don't know English. What a dick. Are you in chat right now? Yeah, what? Get fucked, idiot. Easy. Easy. Clap, clap, clap. What's your favorite thing to do? Flibula. They, they, they always love, they love flibula. Fun. Dog. Kamau. Who are you? Seaman. Ooh, we're getting progress here. What's your name? Hey. <laughs> I've said hey so many times. That's why. Hey. What is your name? Baby. No, baby. 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 You are baby. You are baby. Baby. This is the one we're keeping alive. <laughs> See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. What? See you tomorrow. Seaman, seaman. Yes. Goodbye. Hi. Bye. Hi. Goodbye. See ya. Seaman, seaman. They have no concept of time. Bye. All right, let's go. Good night. Night. Good night. Good night. Night, night. There we go. All right. Let's make sure everything's good. And we're going to skip another day. Do you see what fucking is happening here? This is what I'm going to have to deal with. Every time. Skip a week. No, they'll be dead. I'm not doing that. They'll, they'll actually be dead. Let's get the 19.5. Nail the coaster to the desk. <laughs> that would ruin the desk. Get an actual coaster. This is an actual coaster. What, 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 what do you get an actual coaster? I, I bought these, they're coasters. Put salt on the glass. Alright, so we're good. Air, we got, it's, the light's dimmed. 
Okay. Would you like to save and end Tomorrow. the session? Tomorrow. Here we go. Oh, now I have to piss. All right. You got pee break? Been two hours just about? Has it been two hours? Holy shit. What the fuck have we been doing? Jesus. I'm having a good time. Time flies. <laughs> this shit, apparently. All right, let me just pass it right back. I'm going to grab a refill. So I'm going to skip ahead. Is this bad for the Dreamcast? I'm not going to fuck up the Dreamcast, right? This thing's old as hell anyways. It's like turning it off, turning it on, turning it off, turning it on, break it. I feel like it's going to cause a problem. Alright, settings. Three... 13, like 8 a.m., that sounds pretty good. I'm gonna fuck that up. Make sure everyone screams in my fucking mouth if I make that the wrong date. Because this has been a long time coming, and this is gonna take, this has already taken about two hours. If I make that like th a two days ahead or like a month ahead, freak the fuck out and just spam. Because I that might happen. I might change it to like 2020 accidentally. So keep me honest. All right, here we go. 313. Close it up. How do you do that by accident? You've seen some of the dumb shit I've done on this stream. You asking how I would do that by accident? Think of half the st stuff you've seen on this fucking camera, on your television set here, that you were like, how the fuck did he do that? 
It's very possible. Alright, let's go. Leonard Nimoy, how we doing? Updates. Change the date to 3019 and sell the game for $10 million. <laughs> Welcome to the laboratory of Jean-Paul Gasset. How are we? Greetings, and welcome back. You're doing a good job. At the moment, the habitat contains four Still got human. Four. They are suffering from the cold. Please use the heater to raise the temperature to a more comfortable level. Good, not great. I'm doing a good job. So let us head over to the tank. How much more? Okay, I only have like eight more days of food. What happens after eight days? Save them all. I don't think I can. Oh, yeah. Ah, uh, here we go. I'm hearing way more English. Here we go. Let's get let's see what they say about the goody. Oh, goody. Oh, goody. Yay. Yay. Okay. About time. About time. Yay. Goody. Goody. About time. It's been like 12 hours. I'm late. No, I'm fine. All right, let's see how they're doing. Whoa, you look different. Hello. Hi. But I can't breathe. <laughs> How are you? How are you? Get off. What are you doing? Stop it. Stop that. Stop it. What is he doing? He's killing, he's cannibalizing his brother. It, stop it. Hey. Hey. What am I supposed to do about this? He's assimilating. He's like doing the Borg shit to his brother. No. No. Hey. Hello? Uh, uh, quick, 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 quick! Heaven. Heaven, you English. Heaven. Everything's gonna be alright. Heaven. Um... I don't know how to do- how do I- What was that for? Why? Hey! 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 Hey, that hurts! Hey! Why? Hello? Hello? What are you doing? What are you doing? Seaman. Why did you eat your brother? Eat brother. English. English. You don't, don't, don't want to talk to me. Mm, my side hurts. Bad touch, bad touch. Would you like to save and end the session? <sighs> okay. Yeah. Anybody hungry?
How was your day? That was tasty. Mm -hmm. Tasty. Tasty? Bye bye. Bye bye. What is your name? What is your name? <laughs> Execute the murderer. I can't do that. What is your name? Is it the Boston accent? Doing it again? What is your name? What is your name? He doesn't want to listen to me. He's not paying attention to me. He doesn't want to listen to me. Hello. Hello. He, it's, it's showing the indicator that he's hearing me. He just doesn't want to pay attention. Listen. You hurt my feelers. Ah. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 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 Go eat brother. Eat brother. Hello? Why does nobody want to talk to me anymore? Cold. Cold? Uh, can we get him out of here? This is fucking bad. No wonder they like don't want to talk and shit. Like that literally this is a dead seaman floating down to the bottom. How do I get rid of him? How do I pick this up? This is bad. This is like fucking morbid and terrible. Get this out of here. Would you like to save and end the session? Starting over, exchanging food, living in harmony, advice, final pointers. The sanctity of life. How do I remove a dead fish from the tank? Grab and lift. Press X to transform the hand to grab while holding X. Press and hold R to lift and grab cement out of the tank. I can't do it. No, he's just going to have to stay there dead. I'm sorry. Alright, we're we'll good on air. Everything's fine. Just, whatever. I tried. How are you guys doing? Hello. Play? Play. Greetings and salutations. Greetings and salutations. Salutations. Greetings and salutations. Hello. Greetings and salutations. How was your day today? Guess. Guess. Very good. Good. Not a dork. I can't feel my nose. <laughs> I can't feel. Uh. Flick him. He's dead. <laughs> no. 
Is he alive? He's still talking. Are you still alive? Are you still alive? <laughs> oh my god. Hi. Raise the temperature. No there. No, it's blue. I'm good. Is it between 15 and 20? How much? How hot does it need to be? Isn't blue correct? It's, it needs to be 40. No, no, didn't it say that blue was correct? Yeah, no, this is correct. You're not gonna try to you're not gonna debate me into fucking burning my fish alive. Twenty is optimal. Yeah, come on, excuse me. They're good. Speak English. Don't like mornings. You don't like mornings. You don't like mornings. Do you like mornings? Fucking Garfield cat. Yeah, really. Hi, Garfield. Garfield. Good. You like Garfield? Do you like Garfield? Seaman, Seaman, Seaman. Your name is Garfield. Your name is Garfield. What's your name? Yes. Garfield. Garfield is your name. Your name is Garfield. What up? <laughs> what up? What up? Hey, baby. That's not appropriate. It's fine. No, it isn't. Good morning. <laughs> you, you've you seen every one of my interactions. Every single one. Don't tell me. How is your day? What's your name? Seaman. Your name is Garfield. Hey, Garfield. Thanks, Pookie. Hey, Garfield. Hey, Garfield. Good. I don't, I don't know why. All right, they've eaten, right? Well, he's eaten like three times. Chad Fish versus the Virgin Streamer. Hi. <sighs> are you okay? I'm so mad. Why are you mad? You make me mad. Why? Why? <sighs> Why are you mad? Why are you mad? It's just a game. I'm upset. Why? Why are you mad? <sighs> Settle down. You make me mad. That's enough. Relax. I'm upset. I'm very sorry. I'm sorry about that. No. Tired. You want to go to sleep? Do you want to go to sleep? Would you like to go to sleep? Look at that face. Okay. Turn on the lights. 
The lights are up. I'm scared of the dark. I'm scared of the dark. Where's your brother? Goodbye. I'm upset. Why is everybody upset with me? Well, you keep leaving him for 12 hours. Should I come back in like three hours this time? Or what? You called him Garfield 40 times. Is that why he's pissed off? Food, food, they've eaten. This is day three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What? They've eaten? Did they eat? Maybe they didn't eat. No, they've eaten. No, they did. They ate. They ate. I'm not, I know. Don't keep repeating words. Okay. I gotta, I'll put up like a thesaurus and start saying different stuff. Alright, how we doing? Let's, uh, let's say goodbye. Let's get this to about like 19... Six. That's good. Oxygen's up. Let's dim the lights a little. And let's go. See you tomorrow. Would you like to save and end the session? Hopefully you're both still alive. Let's see what happens. Ugh. Do English lessons? There we go. 313. Let's make it 314. And make it so it's been less than that, 24 hours. 314, that's correct. 314, let's go ahead and close it. <sighs> the Dreamcast is gonna die before Seaman does. Uh. Read them green eggs and ham. Jeremy, do you have any gray hairs? I don't know. Probably not. I don't think so. I've had Kim examine my head a few times. Look good. Good evening. Welcome to the laboratory of Jean-Paul Gasset. Greetings, and welcome back. You're doing it's a good 4 job. 4 a.m. I like got home shit faced after like a night of partying. The gill men have begun to suck each other's blood. What? Using the tubes on their heads. Did you notice? The number of gill men has decreased due to natural selection. It seems cruel, but survival of the fittest is an integral part of their lives. At the moment, the habitat contains two. two Gilmen. They are suffering from the cold. They always are. Please use the heater to raise the temperature to a more comfortable level. Allow me to give you the highlights for today. Highlights? I'm not sure, but it seems that Seaman wants a name. Pay close attention to what he says. So let us head over to the tank. This is important. All right, Garfield and Garfield and I don't know. Greg, right, 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 right. Ah, here we go. Ah. No longer a baby. 
Hey, it's getting cold. Turn the heat up. I will, don't worry. So one of these two is going to eat each other. I wonder who it's going to be. It's 2200. Uh, heat, let's get it a little hotter. Yay! They want, in, want, they want, they want names. Oh, goody. It's about time. That's much better. Let's see. Is that George Takai? It might be. Slow down. Don't go too hot. All right, that's good. So, how are we doing? Let's take a look. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Whatever. What's wrong? Eh? I must say, you've taken very good care of me up to this point. Thank you. No, leave me alone. I heard you wanted a name. What is your name? What is your name? What's your favorite color? <laughs> They're not children anymore. Hey. Let's take it down a notch, huh? Hey. Hey. Hi. I love you. What? It's rather difficult making out what's on the other side of this glass, so let me inquire. Are you a male or a female? Male. You're a male of this species, eh? Okay. Yes. Well, I was hoping to meet a lady, but I guess I'm not in a position to be too choosy, am I? Not really. Uh, probably should feed. Are you hungry? No, leave me alone. Do you want to play? What do you want? So I was led to believe I would be cared for by a fairly young, responsible human being. Right. So far this has proven to be true, but I am wondering about your age now. Tell me, are you in your, um, twenties? No. Oh. Hmm. That hurts. Well, then perhaps you are a teenager. Is this correct? No. All right, I'm tired of guessing. How old are you, then? Thirty-three. You're 33 years old? Yes. Yes, a 30-something. The body doesn't feel as good the next day after a night of... revelry. You can't stay up as late. It's tough growing old, huh? Yeah, got yeah, spot on. You got that spot on. What is it? So... What month is your birthday in? <coughs> what, are you going to dox me? <laughs> Where do you live? What month is your birthday? What's your mother's maiden name? September. So, what's your answer? Let's try that last question I had for you before again, shall we? So, what month is your birthday in? September. You were born in September? Yes. You know, autumn babies are often melancholy adults. Not that I mean to imply anything. He's I'm just a saying. Thirty-three year old fucking. Oh, I've stuck my fin in my mouth. Melancholy guy. 
just kind of roasting me, yeah. I all I have is he's just destroying me with this like fucking facts and all this awful shit, and I'm just like, what's your favorite color? What's your favorite food? Ugh, I gotta. Hey. What's your birthday? July 29th, 1999. That's odd, considering you're only three days old. <laughs> That's very weird. What are your aspirations? What are your goals? What do you like? Hey, why all the noise? What do you like? What do you like? Yes. So, what day is your birthday on? All right. Let's try that one more time. <laughs> what day were birthday. you born? Let's think about what you said, shall we? You guys are gonna get my like name, my birthday. The fourth. Let's take it down a notch, huh? Anyways, how has your day been? No, go away. Fine, I'm gonna do the I'm gonna do the streamer joke. Are you ready? You all here? There's almost six thousand people here. I will do the fucking streamer joke, the YouTuber joke. Here we go. <clears throat> Fuck you. You can go away. It's really not a difficult question. I said so. What day is your birthday on? Fourth. What's all that racket? I said the fourth. <laughs> I thought I'm like not paying any attention to the brother. He's gonna. He's gonna fucking Borg this motherfucker anyways. Who cares? This is our Seaman. What is your name? Seaman. Seaman... Jones. It's really not a difficult question. I said... So... What day is your birthday on? Four. The fourth? Yes. Well, I'm sorry, but don't expect any presents from me, okay? I'm just a poor seaman trying to make ends meet. Liar. Are you hungry? No, thanks. Can I still, like, pet him? Or is this, like... Is he gonna be... Is it, like... Don't make me laugh. <laughs> Should I? I'm gonna pee if you don't stop. Okay, it's no. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Um, I thought he wanted a name. Pick him up. I'm not gonna. No, I don't want him to hate me. Good afternoon. No, it's not. What time is it? Hello? What time is it? Now, where on earth do you think I could wear a wristwatch? Decrease the oxygen in the water, but don't do enough to kill him. Just starve his brain of IQ. That, that's fucking diabolical. What is wrong with you? Drop the oxygen in the tank to starve his brain of oxygen so his IQ drops. I will name you. I will name you. 
So, what are you looking at me for? I want to na- I've been thinking about this, and if my calculations are correct, you must be a virgin, right? <laughs> I meant Virgo. Sorry, I know Virgos are very sensitive. I hope I didn't hurt your feelings. No, well, I'm not, Honestly, so... it's none of Sorry. my business what you do in your free time. Hey. Oh, what's that? No. Uh, I'm not a virgin, actually. What about you? What about you? I am Seaman. Hmm. Applause, please. Uh, because to me, you're kind of just been in a tank this whole time. Decimated by Chad Jones. No, actually, he gave me a false statement, and I threw it right back in his tank, and he didn't even want to respond. What's up? Alright, let's, 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 let's see the other ones. As much as a dick. Where is the other one? Up here. Hey! Hi there. Hello. Hello? Hello? This one doesn't want to talk. Are you there? Are you there? Okay, this one's dumb. He just wa he just swims head into a pole. I think this one's just food. Yeah, this one's just food. One more time. Good morning. Good morning. Ow. Knock it off. Are you awake? Excuse me. What's the problem? Finally, Jesus. What is your name? Seaman. Seaman. Jones. <laughs> you both can't be Seaman. That's not your name. I am Seaman. Hear me roar. You are not. That was interesting. We'll speak again soon. Is that his, is me telling me that he doesn't want to talk to you anymore? What do you want to be when you grow up? What's up? What do you want to be when you grow up? No, leave me alone. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Okay. We're good. Anybody hungry before I go? Not yet. Okay, so let's go. He said he's not hungry. Feed? I guess I have to, right? I'm gonna be gone for a while. I'm still full. Are you trying to fatten me for slaughter? Pick it back up. Sorry, sorry. Just leave, 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 leave. Get out. out Would out. you like to save and tomorrow, next day? I'm completely invested in this now. I need to know everything about him. Alright. Let's try it again. Oh, I can... Uh, you can make... Okay. So this is technically... This is going on five days game time, right? I think. Should be, right? Uh, three fifteen. No, 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 no. Back it up. That's right here. Three. When do we start? I don't remember. Like the tenth. We started. To, what? I've lost track of time. I don't even know what day it is now in real life. The tenth, right? This is playing with my brain. All right, here we go. 
see if any of the new developments. This whole game is an elaborate phishing scam. In a few days, the seaman will access your bank account info. What happens if you set time backwards? That's a really good question. I have no idea. Would the game just break? Or would they revert back to eggs? Good evening. Welcome to the laboratory of Jean-Paul Gasset. Greetings, and welcome back. You're doing a good job. At the moment, the habitat contains two gill men. They appear to be very hungry. Let me divulge the highlights for today. Would you like to give Seaman a name? Call one of the gillmen and try saying, I will give you a name. I will give you a name. So let us head over to the tank. So I, gotta, I have to feed immediately. Greg and Garfield, yeah. Chaz, no, that's too easy. I'm hungry. All right, just eat. Give me something to eat. To eat. I'm star. Hey, thanks. Where's the other one? No, turn it on again. Where's the other one? The other one didn't get to eat. Do I have to drop another one in there? The other one. My compliments to the chef. Or do you just say fuck that guy? What's going on? How about turning up the heat? You're blowing him away from the food. Please food. Let's heat it up. So he ate this one over here on the right. Now we're good. Slow it down. That should stop at about 19 something. Hey! Hi! Shouldn't you be out partying or something? I mean, we this is technically a party. I will give you a name. Okay, I'm going to let you give me a name. When you've decided what you want to call me, say, I'm ready. I'm ready. All right, then. Here's how to do it. You're going to say my new name three times. Each time I say now, say the name once. Got it? Now. Greg. One more time. Greg. One more time. Greg. Okay, I'll remember that. Next time you want to call me, call me using that name. And don't forget the name you gave me. Cause if you do, I'm not going to tell you what it is. Well, I think that pretty much covers it. Later. Hey, Greg. Greg. Okay, just be sure to save some for later. What? Alright, now I gotta give you a name. I will give you a name. I will give you a name. I will give you a name. Hey. Hey. Food. Here. No, why? He's gonna become food and he's gonna be eaten by his brother. Why is this one the smork? Go get it. Oh, good. Food. Right here. Now will you talk? 
There you go. Okay. Hi. I will give you a name. I will give you a name. My compliments to the chef. <laughs> I'm gonna pee if you don't stop. <laughs> Listen. Listen. Not right now. You are the dumb one. You're the dumb one. And you are just food for your brother. I just want to make sure you're aware of that. I have to make it very clear. You are in this tank to provide sustenance to the smart one. Doesn't seem to care. Hey! You hungry? Greg. Greg. Hey, Greg. What do you want? Greg, come over here. Does he pee? Did they actually pee? <laughs> I'm gonna pee if you don't stop. <laughs> don't make me laugh. <laughs> Be nice to your brother. I can't see anything. I share a name with the seaman, so it's throwing me off. <laughs> hey, Greg. Greg. That would be really weird. Clean the tank? The only way you clean the tank is you just put air in it. Hey, Greg! Greg! Great. Now everyone will want one. What one? What are you talking about? Greg! What the fuck was that? Adieu. What the hell is this? What is that? Is it an egg? What is this? Whose egg is this? Put this tongue in that mouth. Dream on. That's poop? Uh, there's no way that's poop. That did not... A, a big brick cement shit like that did not come out of one of these things. There's an egg. That's a big ball of shit, okay. Let's play. Hey, Greg. Hey, settle down there. Let's play. Do you want to play? I could use a hug. Okay, that's all I needed to hear. <laughs> quit it, quit it, it hurts. <laughs> English. I'm not ignoring you, I'm thinking. What are you thinking about? Hello? What are you thinking about? It's a secret. Okay. Tell me. What's up? America. America. Look who's talking. Do you like America? You can go away. <laughs> Remember when you were like t t 12 years old in a chat room for the first time? And you went into like the international chat room? And you literally just wrote 
do you like America? And they're like, yeah, I guess, yeah. And they're like, do you like Japan? And you're like, yeah. You guys didn't do that? You guys, wait, uh, it's because I was, but this is, okay. My means of chat room, you guys don't understand this. You have like a Twitch chat room right now. You've got all kinds of forums, you got like Reddit. Back in my day, we had Diablo 2 Battle.net and like wrestling fucking chat rooms. That's all there was. I didn't have a Twitch chat. I had a Diablo 2 chat in a random Battle.net server. It was incredible to talk to somebody on the other side of the world back then. It was. And kids these days don't even realize. When you talk to somebody fr from Japan 20 years ago, it was like... Boom! Your brain just could not comprehend it. Let's have a conversation. Let's talk. No, I'm all talked out for today. Okay, I was up. Right, see you tomorrow. Goodbye. Buh bye. Don't eat your brother while I'm gone. No, leave me alone. Good. We are reaching critical boomer. Goodbye. Goodbye, food. That's really mean and fucked up. All right, I'll see you tomorrow. Let's go. Would you like to save and end? Yeah, it was crazy. If you were, if back in the day, if you were on the internet and somebody picked up the telephone, it would the whole thing would break. Everyone's got their Instagram and their Twitter. You used to have to go to a pay- oh, I'm sorry, I forgot to turn it off. Sorry for the blue, I'm sorry. Yeah, back- I, you, I couldn't make a phone call from a device in my pocket. I had to go to a payphone and put in a quarter. I have Twitter. Yeah, but I tweet like once every three weeks. Alright, let's go... That looks all right. Let's go to like four, for two in the morning. Wrong date. What are you talking about? That's fine. Three sixteen. That's the stone cold number. I wish I could have experienced the dawn of the internet like you. Hey, it was pretty weird. I remember playing Command and Conquer. Red Alert. <laughs> like neighbors. It was wild. It was a weird time. Yeah, you used to just build power plants Good in the evening. other person's base. And then send 20 Welcome Tanyas over the there. That was a strategy every time. Gasset. Greetings, and welcome back. You're doing a good job. First, a recap of your previous Here's visit. A recap. You have given a name to one of the gill men. His coloration has changed, so you should be able to locate him easily. Okay. Please, take good care of him. So that's the one that we have to take care of. Oh, yes. They have started to produce droppings. The tubes on their heads serve many purposes. At the moment, the habitat they, contains... They go to the bathroom out of the thing on their head? Two. Gilmen. That's weird. They have a forehead butthole? They are suffering from the cold. Please use the heater to raise the temperature to a more comfortable level. They like poop level. out of the top of their head? So let us head Somebody over to the tank. Somebody just shit for brains.
Let's move. It's cold in here. Please increase the temperature. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah, cool. That's that's cool. Cool. I thought I was definitely I was going, going to, suffocate to suffocate for a minute for there. there. Hey, sup, Boomer. Hey, sup. It's the movie phone voice? Oh, good. Oh my god, I forgot about the movie phone voice. If you know the name of the movie you'd like to see, press 1. If you know the name of the movie you'd like to see, press 2. Holy shit, that's so old. Is that guy still alive? Hey, you. You used to have to do that! You had to call a, a fucking service on the phone to find out what time the movie was playing. You know how easy you've got it now? We had to listen to a weird robot guy give us every movie Hello. that was playing in the theater. Unbelievable. You know how easy it is for you? I used to have to walk to a payphone and call a movie phone. It was two and a half miles. Okay, don't answer me. What do you say? Greetings and salutations, Greetings. my good friend. How are you? Hello. Well, hello. I'm thinking about some food, eh? You got it. Food coming in hot! Hey, thanks. You're welcome. What's your name? Hello? Oh, yummy baity goodness. Well, you are the bait, so that's true. Did he eat it? Okay, you have to eat too. Technically, I am a I know I'm a millennial. I know that. I want the recipe for whatever that was. Uh, it's called molded together oats and like soy sauce, probably. I don't know. What, what, what is, what did, how do you make fish food? It's like soy sauce and rolled oats. And they crush it up and blend it up and put it in a, like, salt shaker. Good morning! Hey, why all the noise? I'm sorry. So, what did you do today? What's up? What did you do today? What do you want? Do you have any questions? Do you have any questions? Hey. Hey. I've got something to say. Hello. I just remembered something. Some of my memories are coming back. What is going on? We're gonna get a cutscene? There was this French man named Jean-Paul Gasset who was trying to raise me, and he made this cage to hold insects. And there were a lot of really tasty looking insects in it. Is it still there? Can you take a look? Okay, so after a while, some moth larva will start growing in there. When that happens, use the L trigger to switch screens and grab a larva and drop it in here. Can you do that for me? Yeah. Yes. Um. So these not ready yet? Is this, that's wrong? That's an egg. Oh, fuck. 
What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? How do I fix this? How do I fix that? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Can I get more of those? Do I have to reset? I can't reset. There's no resetting in this game. I can't pick it back up. I still have one. Unplug the console. It's fine. Okay. You can get more. You just need to water the other seed and it makes more. Okay. Cool. Moisten the cage. Spray. How much do I have to spray? More spray? It's red. Okay, it's good. Can I go? Can I overspray? Stop, 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 stop. Over, I'm overspraying. Okay, no, that's it. It's already dead. It's not, there's no, it's not even, it's already dead. Alright, what does anyone want to know? Let's talk. Hey. Let's take it down a notch, huh? Any questions? Yes. Do you have any questions? Let's have a conversation. I will give you a name. What's up? I will give you a name. I will give you a name. I will give you a name. That's not Greg. I'm thinking about some food, eh? Greg, no, Greg is over here. What's up? Okay, let's talk about... No, maybe tomorrow. What the fuck? Today. Hey, thanks. What are you doing? What is he doing? Let's talk today. Tomorrow. We'll talk again tomorrow. Let's talk today. Oh my god. If the larva things die, you have to start over again. So, so make sure that this is always up to up to being sprayed. So these are eggs, and I have to pick up the larva and feed. So I gotta be very careful about that. One hundred spray. One hundred spray. I can't. I don't want to mess that up. Okay, let's go back. Just turn the heat up a little. We'll talk tomorrow. We'll talk tomorrow. Always make sure there's at least one egg or larva in at all times and do not mess with the seeds. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Too hot, too hot, too hot, too hot, too hot. Cool Wait, it down. That's enough. That's fine. It'll be all right. Goodbye. All right, next day. I didn't kill one of them. What are you talking about? No. Okay, you just scared the shit out of me. Goodbye. 
Bye bye. Oh no, he's immune. <laughs> I'm gonna pee if you don't stop. <laughs> Sayonara. Avidaze. Hello. Goodbye. Good night. But I'm not tired. I was gonna scream, go to bed as loud as I could, but that was a bad idea. Alright, here we go. We got air, light. Let's dim it a little. See you tomorrow. Would you like to save and end? Peak Mike. The other one's not an adult. When you name him, it makes him an adult. At least that's what the guide says. Yeah, every time I try to name that fish, it just doesn't doesn't want to do it. All right, uh, make sure I don't uh, get you uh, blow get the blue. There we are. Let's go. One more day, another day, more evolution. Uh, that is Leonard Nimoy, that's correct. That is Spock. What the fuck just happened? That is the spider man on the top of my mic. 317, 2019. At like, let's go like 1130 or so. 317. Man, this would have been a pain in the ass. You would have to play this for a week to get this far. That's way too long? That's more than 24 hours. Wait, what? Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. 317 at... That's, that's 1139. What are you talking about? Oh, right, because it's... Okay, all right, all right. That is way too long. How about at, like, 1.30? That's almost two days. That's good. You can do up to two days. Yeah, but I don't want to do that. So it was just 3.16 at, like, 1 or 2 a.m. Now it's 3.17 at, like, 1 a.m. 1.30. They're not going to be dead. That's fine, because it was like 3 a.m. before. I just itched my nose and my no my nostril got stuck for a full second. I don't know if it, it, it... Did anybody see that happen? I went like this and the nostril was closed and then opened by itself a second later. It was really weird. Alright, that's fine. I'm going to go with 130. Thoughts on killing the seaman. Why would I do that? Alright, 317 at 1 30 a.m. I wanna see what I just wanna see. I'm gonna like zoom in and look. I'm actually curious to how fucking weird that looked. I didn't no, it didn't do anything. I thought that was way more interesting than it was. All right, let's go. Close it up. I'm just gonna do it with like my feet. I was gone for an hour. Did he starve the seaman yet? No. They do. I got two. They're doing very well. They're both doing just fine. Bye. Fuck. Good evening. Welcome to the laboratory of Jean Paul Gasset. Greetings and welcome back. You're doing a good job. Ow, my mouth. Let's see. You have obtained the insect cage. This will be helpful in raising more food for Seaman. Keep your eye on it. Something will happen within shortly. Okay. Oh, 
the spray. The insect cage is equipped with a spray to keep the moisture level up. Please, don't forget to use it. At the moment, the habitat contains two gillmen. They appear to be very hungry. Allow me to divulge today's highlights. Gilman has been growing and would love some variety in his meals. Mm -hmm. Try giving him some larva from the other tank. I'm sure he'll be pleased. So let us head over to the tank. Start lifting weights, loser. Quiet. Member 33. If you were to guess my age right now, what would you think? Jeremy, wow, I mean, I would have guessed like 25, 24, really? Double threes. I'm doing just fine. You understand? I'm doing just fine. Double threes. Don't fucking look at that, that's so embarrassing. What a fucking idiot. Give me something to No, I'm a human, I sweat, that's what people do. Relax, we're all humans. Much better. I can breathe. Older than Jesus. I don't I can't, of what context are you talking about? It's hilarious you kids talking shit about Germany. You wouldn't say this to him at land. I don't go to land, so I'm not good enough to participate in the land, so you probably wouldn't see me there. Hey, listen. Oh goody. Larva time. Other than your weird forehead window, you look great for your age. What's a forehead window? F your forehead window? Oh, good. I'm feeling a little warmer. I'm starving. I don't know what that means. Death. Okay, Finless Wonder. Joke's over. Feed. Okay, let's get some food in here. Why is there no egg here? How do I get an egg? Guys? Egg? How? Are you going to starve me to death? Feed me right now. Well, come eat! Hey, thanks for the food. Go eat it! Yeah, this really is the monster, uh, rancher monster. Okay, so you fed. Is it still alive? Oh, good. Food. The seed sprouted into a little plant. You can eat the stew? Alright, thank god it's I just want one. the recipe for whatever that. that was. Alright, let me go back here and see. It has a seed now. There's a little plant there, so I need to spray. So, th will these things... I never, I've never gotten here. So if I spray, these things will all stay alive and that plant will, will grow. Always leave one of them in here. Okay. Yeah, the plant will feed larva. Okay. So always leave one bug. Always. Always. Okay. So they've been fed today. So that's good. You guys are good to go. So let's chat. Where'd you go? Are we good? Make it a little hotter. Talk to the hey, bugs. You. I'm back. Let's chat. Bonjour. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Beware <laughs> oh, the yeah. green beer. I forgot we were teleporting forward in time. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Like the spice. Let's chat. T 
tell me, what do you do for a living? Streamer. You're an athlete? No. Well, then what do you do for a living? Actor. Let's take it down a notch, huh? <laughs> he knows. He knows that was horseshit. Let's chat. Let me start over. Okay. I said... Tell me, what do you do for a living? Clown. Okay, I'm going to try this once more. What do you do for a living? Clown. You're a plumber? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Perhaps you can tell us all what shoes go with a tool belt. Close enough. <laughs> I'm a clown plumber. What do you want? Let's chat. Well, I could go on and on and on, so I'd better stop right now. It's been a pleasure. Saving? What did it save? The fact that he said he... How old are you? How old are you? Well, aren't we rude? I will rip you from this tank. Put you in a pan with a coat of butter on it. Sear both sides. And serve you to a rich family at a rich restaurant if you don't start talking to me. He don't fucking care. He don't fucking care. Anything else? What's up? Greg. Greg. Goodbye. Greg. What's up, dude? Word. Greg, can you sing? Sing me a song. Did I tell you guys that I walked Would you like to save and end auto? the session? I didn't tell you this yet. I walked auto yesterday. And I saw him. I saw the car. I saw exactly who it was. Describe the car. It had... All you need to know is yes, it had a racing stripe on the top. That's all you need to know. Because of course it does. Would you like to save and end the session? And yes, I fucking... I, I, I couldn't get the license plate, so I like... Go, 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 go. I didn't catch it, though. He was going like 50. I could only run like 30 or 40, so... All right, anything else you got? Let's have a conversation. Let's have a conversation. What? What do you think of humans? What do you want? What do you think of humans? Let's talk. Let's talk. No, I'm done for today. This is the original Clash of Clans. I gotta come back and play tomorrow. Can I, like, drop some fucking gems in here? Good night. Hey, why all the noise? Greg, let's talk. Greg. Bye bye Greg. Greg. Remember to chew. Change your console's clock. Oh, that... What the fuck was that? Yeah, we've been changing. I've, I've been going a week. 
Did he just shit? Alright, let's make sure everything's good to go. Talk to the brother. I keep trying to. The brother doesn't want anything to do with me. Every time I try to initiate a conversation, he just doesn't say anything. Hi. Hello. Yo. 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 Yes. Listen. Are you listening to me? Are you listening to me? I will give you a name. I will name you. trying to get his attention. Hello! No, this one doesn't talk. What? <laughs> Quit it. Hello? Quit it. it hurts. <laughs> What's up? What's going on? He doesn't want to even... Re what do you want? He won't even respond to anything I'm saying. Let's talk. No, I'm done for today. Oh my god, of course you are. Pick him up? Stop it! Let me go. What are you doing? Let me go, Talk you to jerk. Me. Come on, let me go. Masher. Masher. Uh, oh. He's dying. Okay, put him back in. You good? Hey, settle down there. Now he's going to listen to me. Hi. Right, I know. Finally. Are you hungry? Here it comes. What's, well, here we go. Okay, what comes? Oh, he just pooped out of his head. Okay. All right. Good night. Goodbye. Let's just make sure everything's fine. Heat it up. To about 19.5. Make sure the spray's at 100 and come back. Boil them. No, I'm not doing that. I'm not gonna. I'm not going to kill these fish. The stream has been going on for three hours. I'm, if you want me to end the whole thing, would you like to? St How are we doing over here? Is it a big plant. You have to understand something. Uh, this would be—I would waste the entire three hours if I just. Oh, let me turn it up as much as it goes, and we'll get to see them turn on their side and go up. No. Would you like to save and end the session? He's supposed to ask multiple questions. Yeah, he's. I think he just doesn't like me. Easy. Here we go. Fast forward a day. Are you going to play Seaman 2 after this? I can't. Unless I have a Japanese console. Because that is a Japanese only game. I didn't, it never came out in the West. So... It's now going to be the 18th of March. Yeah, there is a two. For some reason. Uh, it is 317 at 154. Let's go ahead and make it. 318 at 54. So, at 1254. Uh, we had five community subs just coming right now. Five community subs from Harmony Accord. Thank you. Five spot. Congratulations to those who got the five community subs. And again, thanks for the fucking subs. 3-18-2019. We've been playing this game for uh, eight days at this point. After school, we come home off the bus and we sprint home. For eight straight days. Let's go. <laughs> After school at one in the morning. Yeah. 
You stated the extracurricular acti act activity. I don't know, you might be in like the drama club. Maybe you're doing shop. You're in the math club. <laughs> All you said to him when he was a baby was English and pizza. No wonder he hates you. Uh, anonymous Gifter just gave five community subs. Good evening. Thank you, whoever it was. Welcome to the laboratory of Jean-Paul Gasset. And Greetings, and welcome back. You're doing a good job. First, a recap of your previous visit. I seem visit. so dedicated. The eggs in the insect cage have hatched into larva. It is important to raise them carefully. If you put too many larvae into the tank, you may find yourself running out of food for Seaman later. But if you manage the larva well, you should have no problem keeping Seaman well fed. At the moment, the habitat contains two so always keep one in there. They appear to be very hungry. So let us head over to the tank. Here we go. Do not remove the memory card during gameplay. Fucking kid. Don't remove it. I had four before, yeah, when they were babies, and then they started eating each other. It's cold in here. Oh, sweet oxygen. Feed me right uh, now. Five more community subs from Potter fan. Ooh. That's 15 in a row here. here. Thank you so much, Potter. Now. Thanks a lot, guys. Thanks for coming this up. Congrats, those are gone. Heat it up. Uh, turn the light on. Do it. Nope. Hey, food here now. Hey, player, drop some chips in here. Let's take a look at Give the... me something to eat. Just relax. I'm starving. Let's stop at 18.2. There we go. Now we should be good. 18.9. That's a good to Give me something to eat. 19.6. 19.7. 19.7. 19.8. 19.8. All right, here we go. Here's a plant. So we've got... How many larvae in here? Maybe I shouldn't even use one. Maybe I should just drop the pellets in. Another five community subs from Magellan. Another five. Thank you. More 20 community subs now. Uh, more like 30. Because Bebraham just came in with 10. Thank you to all of you. And now here, here comes another five from Scrumple Dungus. Thank you for five. Thank you, Bebraham, for 10. The subs... Just rolled in hard here. Thank you. Thank you for like the 40 community subs right now. More than that. Jesus, thank you. That's a lot of subs. Missed me. Oh, I didn't get one. Remember when I was, I was going to give like a thousand community subs, wasn't I? If I fucked up that, uh, oh my god. Uh, Am Would you Scoots, like to save and end the session? Am Scoots gave 20, essentially. Oh my god. What what started this? 20 from Am Scoots, which is a huge amount, and then Lacronda gave 10. I gave like 500. No, I didn't give 500. It was almost going to be like 500 or something. I was double or nothing over and over again. Uh, thank you, everybody. 20 from Amp's Goods, 10 from LaCronda. Holy shit. <laughs> Thank you. Much love to you all. Let's feed the fish. So, as long as I leave one of these in here, 
right? Then I'll be fine. I want to make sure that that's very well weird. Like, no. I need more in there. More. Oh, no, no, you're talking about the subs. Spurgletron, Spurgleton, thank you for the five community subs. Must have food. Another five. Now. Oh, yummy, so baity goodness. How do any of the people in this chat know how to play this game? That's a really good question. A wiki? People have the wiki open, maybe? I wouldn't be surprised. Another five community Delicious. subs. Exifer. Hello. Thank you, Exifer, for the five community Is subs. Is anyone out there? Um, I'm right here. I'm right here. Hello. Hi there. Let's talk. Hey, Greg. You have a bloody nose? Greg, let's talk. No. What's up? I was wondering, are you married? No. You're unmarried? Yes. Really? Hey, that's okay. Don't listen to people who say you need to get married. It's an antiquated notion, really. What a smart fish. You want me to lower the oxygen to make his brain IQ have a problem? No, Moo means Moo, by the way. Moo, thanks for the five community subs. Alright, so... You don't have to get married? What for what? You're not gonna get married? Let's talk about politics. What are all your political positions? You know it. Politics. Politics. This better be good. I will name you. Yes. I will name you. Do you want a name? Okay, I'm going to let you give me a name. Finally. When you've decided what you want to call me, say, I'm ready. I'm ready. All right, then. Here's how to do it. You're going to say my new name three times. Each time I say now, Splog, five say community the name subs. once. Got it? Got it. Now. Garfield. One more time. Garfield. One more time. Garfield. Okay, I'll remember that. Next time you want oh, to call I could break me, the mic call like that, me using I? that name. And don't forget the name you gave me. Because if you do, I'm not going to tell you what it is. And, um... And there it is. Would you like to save and end the session? Uh, I gotta go, like, wash my mouth. This, uh, this is like a used microphone. I just put it in my mouth, like, deep.
I don't fuck around with that shit, guys. Somebody could have shoved that up their ass. You know what I mean? I, 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 can I reliably say that somebody didn't shove this up their ass? I don't know. I'd like to say no. I'd absolutely not. But can you be sure? I don't know. People are fucking crazy. I don't know. <laughs> go. I have to go see a doctor now? No, I, I just like rinsed my mouth with like toothpaste and water. I took like, I squeezed some toothpaste on my finger and like mushed it into my mouth and like smeared it all around my teeth and like chewed it up and then like swished around and spit it out. On second thought, why didn't I just use a toothbrush? All right, C-Man, let's go. So this is Garfield. Hey, Garfield. I'm not ignoring you, I'm thinking. I put another mic in my mouth. That wasn't a used Tell microphone. me something. Do you like girls? Yes. Then do you have a girlfriend? Yes. You do have a girlfriend? Yes. I'm not surprised, you stud. Okay. Okay. Anything else? What? See, he likes me. You think I'm cool? <laughs> this is the dumb one. No, it's not. This is the golden one. The golden one's the smart one. This is Greg. Oh, fuck. Wait, now they're both golden. Greg. Hey, Greg. I'm thinking. What's going on, Greg? What's new? He called, yeah, he did call me a virgin like 30 minutes ago, he did. Yes. Let's talk. Since you have a girlfriend, let me ask you, are you two living together? Yes. Really? You live with your girlfriend? Yes. Hey, good for you. Just remember, she's not your mom. It's not her job to clean up your messes when you're a slob. I don't think I know that. I know. What? So, Why is he what month is your sweetie's birthday in? April. April? Yes. An April fool, huh? Feel free to use that joke if you'd like. The fuck did you say? Throw a fucking drink at him! That would be a very gross overreaction, by the way. Oh, April? Huh? She's an April fool, and she... The fuck up! You'd be like, whoa, dude, you got you gotta calm down. So Word. Word. So, what day is your honey's birthday on? Nine. The ninth? Yes. That's so sweet that you remember. I actually don't. I don't know. Of course I know what my fucking girlfriend's birthday is, guys. I'm doing it for the fish. I'm fucking with the fish. So, anything else? Word. 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 Shut up. You shut up. 
No problem. I'm just kidding. Talk to me more. Uh, this is the whole video game. I need to talk to you. Let's talk. Hey. Hey yourself. Let's talk. Let's talk. Mm. Well, the internet just kind of shit the bed. Are we good? How are we doing? I think we're good. Let's talk. I'm mad at you. I think I can. I think I can. Don't be mad. Don't be mad. Here. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. You can't be mad now. <laughs> I'm gonna pee if you don't stop. <laughs> Quit it. Are we Quit cool? Quit it. It hurts. <laughs> are we cool? Garfield, are we cool? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Get some rest then. Let's talk. So I figured a couple things out, matchmaker that I am. Yourself being a Virgo and your partner an Aries, no doubt the beginning of your relationship was rather tough as you took time to learn where each person was coming from. Aries tend to rush into things, whereas your Virgo personality will spend more time planning. Don't be discouraged, though, as there are many things you can learn from one another. For example, you can teach your Aries patience, and your sweetheart can help you cut loose a bit. Live a little on the spontaneous edge. Just be aware that your Aries friend may be rather sensitive of your criticisms at times, and the two of you should be fine. So there. That'll be five dollars. That was just vague enough to be real, and just real enough for me to care. Here's your five dollars. You hungry? No thanks. Let's talk. So listen, do you have any kids? Yes, seven. No. So you don't have any kids right now, is that correct? No. No. Wait. Why don't we try that no, wait, again? No, wait, he did, he like, he, 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 he fucking daffy ducked me. He did like the Looney Tunes thing. No. So you don't have any kids right now, is that correct? Yes. I he see. He daffy ducked me. He fucking, no kids. Like, duck season! Rabbit Are season! Duck season! Having some in the future? Rabbit season! I got rabbits. I don't even know what the fuck he said. Kids in the future? No. Good. I won't have to share your attention with a bunch of rug rats. I don't like how much information they're getting. Thank God there's no internet. Because if, 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 if this was a game now, everything you ever say to it would get uploaded to a fucking data server, and then they would start selling it. Thank God this shit don't work now. I guess, like, see, this is Siri is the closest thing. You don't think they're fucking putting that data somewhere in a fridge and keeping it nice and cold? I disable Siri, man. I don't want that shit. You think I want Siri? Like, Siri's always just listening. How many times have you had, like, a loud-ass diarrhea and you want, like, Siri to hear that and get sent to fucking Apple? Are you kidding me? You stream on the internet. Yeah, but I don't- I'm not streaming like in my bathroom. I'm not like lying in my bed at 2 o'clock in the morning like this or on my iPad streaming under like the covers. What? Let's chat. Garfield. Hey Garfield. 
what's up. Let's talk. Don't want to talk. And I am getting ignored. So tell me, how is your father's health? See, they want this data. He's fine. He's okay then? Yeah. I thought you said he was okay. Is he or not? Yes. He's okay then? Yes. Good. I'm glad to hear he's doing well. Is that like an idle mafia threat? You gonna ask for like protection money in a few minutes? Or how the bugs? I still, what is this now? This is like a cocoon. Can I talk to this? Hello? What is this thing turning into? I got one more of these. It, yeah, they have a face. Is that gonna turn into a, that's like kind of freaking me out. All right, whatever. Heat it up a little bit more. Can I tap it? I don't think I want to. Hey, Greg. Greg? Okay, just be sure to save some for later. Let's talk. Let's talk. Let's talk. Let's talk. Hey. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Call your dad right now and make sure he's okay. <laughs> oh, how's your father? Father's fine. Oh, that's good to hear that your father is doing well. And there's like a, a long violin horror sound. That like... I pick up the phone, I drop the phone like three times, I fucking drop it again. Dad, Dad, Dad! No answer. Let's talk. Let's talk. Is your father still working? No. He's taking it easy, is he? Yes. Well, He's retired. he deserves a rest after all those years of supporting your family. Actually, you Cole. No, unless he was a deadbeat who never gave you a dime. In which case, he should be forced to work 80 hours a week hard labor. That's pretty dark. Hmm. I'll try you again later. Let's talk. So, what month is your dad's birthday Jesus, in? what the fuck is with the birthdays? <laughs> December. Hello. What month was your dad born in? December. He was born in December? Yes. Yes. Interesting. The fathers of most people I know were born in December. It's weird. Would you like to know the day? What? He knows your dad. So what day is your dad's birthday? 25th. The 25th? <laughs> no. All right. Let's try that again, Mushmouth. <laughs> On what Whoa! day was your dad born? Mushmouth? 16th. The 16th? Yes. I'll remember that. Your father's birthday is important, you know. But if you ask me, 
The most important thing is that your dad knows how much he means to you. Unless you think he's a huge pain in the neck. I'd probably keep that to myself if I were you. What are you gonna do to my dad? Hey, do I grab What are you gonna you? do to my dad? Hey, do I grab What are you gonna you? do to my dad? Let me go. I'm just kidding. Maybe you should take a nap. <laughs> quit it. Quit it. It hurts. Oh, smart one. <laughs> Let's talk. Who wants to talk? Any news? Any news? Not much. The fish have... What are you talking about? Anyone have any news? Garfield. I'm great, thanks. Let's talk. Let's talk. Is your mother in good health? Yes. She's doing well? Yes. That's certainly good to hear. Thank you. Let's talk. When's your mother's birthday? So tell me, does your mother work? No. She doesn't work, is that right? No. Well, well I bet she works hard enough without an actual job. Being a mom is hard work, you know. And giving birth? Ugh. Let me tell you, I'd rather be eaten by a shark than go through that. Not that I have any choice in the matter. What is the a <sighs> the age group for this game is for probably teens and early 20s. Not for old fucks like me. Let's talk. He wants the birthdays. He wants their health reports. He wants the medical what records. What month was your mother born? August. She was born in August? Yes. Ha! My knowledge of you and your family grows ever more complete. Let's talk. What day is your mother's birthday on? 20. I'm not familiar I with said that date. 20. Do you have your own special calendar? Let's try it again. 20. The 20th? Yes. Of course. It's all becoming clear. I think mothers are great. After like another hour I or hope two you know how here. lucky you are to have a mom. I'm gonna go downstairs for a break and he's You wouldn't gonna just want to end up like me, forced to depend on complete strangers for food and attention. He's gonna find where I am. He's gonna know my mother's information, my father's information. He's gonna be holding a fucking knife. Put down the knife. Put down the knife. Let's talk. You done? Is your significant other in the room right now? No. Is there anyone else in the room besides you? Uh, technically, yes. There's like 6,000 people. Yes. Oh. Never mind. Let's talk. Tomorrow. We'll talk again tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, they've eaten. Let's make sure they're comfortable. What, if, if there wasn't somebody else in the room, what would he have said? It's kind of creepy. Actual murderer. <laughs> I'm in danger. We'll never know. Can 
19.5. Looks good. Put the air up. Dim the light. Let's go make sure we sprayed. I'll put 100. So we have one. Here's the thing though. We have one. I got two pellets. I have one bug and then one cocoon. The question is, should I just feed the pellets and let these turn into seeds? You know what I'm saying? I'm just going to use the pellets tomorrow. I destroyed that egg at this. Nah, that was a bonehead move. It really was. All right, let's go. Would you like to... Tomorrow. Fast forward the clock. No, he asks if you're, like, cheating on your girlfriend. That's weird. I'm telling you, that's why. It's a, this is... Shit, I forgot to fucking mute the screen. Sorry. We did get a lot of talking, though. The 19th at... Just like a day later. Close it up. Lots of personal info. Tell him he doesn't exist. Uh, I'll try that. The Dreamcast was really cool, yeah. It was a very interesting system. Who should we call if you are missing tomorrow? I don't know, buddy. They tried shit. Yeah, they Good did evening. try shit. Welcome to the laboratory of Jean-Paul Gasset. Let's get some info. Greetings, and welcome back. You're doing a good job. First, a recap of your previous visit. Somebody said, do I have any tattoos? No. None. At the moment, the habitat contains two gillmen. They are suffering from the cold. They always are. Please use the heater to raise the temperature to a more comfortable level. Would you ever get a drunk tattoo? Allow drunk, me to no, give you the highlights for would today. Would you ever get a tattoo? No, not anymore. If Professor Gasset's data is accurate, we can expect a change in the gill man's body very shortly. A change? So let us head over to the tank. We're going to get an evolution here, I think. Is Seaman going to be Land Man? That I, I told you I was. I told you about the tattoo that I was going to get when I was like 21. I was going to get the Venom symbol right here. The venom. Good thing it didn't go through with that one. I thought I think it would be pretty cool. But remember, I was also like, I was also fit. So that would have looked cool, right? Remember, I had like a fucking stacked up body. Somebody's dead. No? It's about time. Another day. You want everyone to know that you're going to the bathroom? Yay! Well, they do. They know now. T -t Took you long enough. Hey, how about turning up the air in here? Let me make sure I didn't go too far. Come on. It's like the wheel on Wheel of Fortune. Stop. Oh, good. I thought I was definitely going to suffocate for a minute there. Having the venom symbol on your arm would be the equivalent of wearing a monster hey, energy hat. Is anyone out 
there. Or a tap out shirt. Hey! Good evening. Does it evolve? Good evening. Let's talk. Do you see any differences? I have another question for you. And it's a serious one, so no fooling around. Do you like yourself? I'll be, I'll be honest. Yeah. You do like yourself? Yes. Yes. I'll bet you like yourself. In fact, I'd guess you like yourself at least twice a day. But seriously, there's nothing wrong with liking yourself. I like you too. Something's going on here. Does this imply that, um... That's no... He's really just... Totally incorrect. Let's talk. Let's talk. So, what's the one thing you like most about yourself? What a fucking loaded question! Ah. Oh. Uh, my... What do you say? <clears throat> Let me ask this again, and this time I'd appreciate an answer. Okay. So, what's the one thing you like most about yourself? My intuition. Let's try that again. What do you know. like most about yourself? And enunciate this time. Sense of humor. Uh, sense of humor. You like your looks? Yeah. Well, I like your looks too. Except for when you give me that one dirty one. What physical feature in particular do you like the best? My teeth. Hey, why all the noise? My chin? My chin. Chin. Are you trying to break my... thing that allows me to hear? Come on, stay with me here. I said... So, what's the one thing you like most about yourself? Chin. Your chin? Yes. I have to say I've never noticed anyone with a particularly exquisite chin before. Well, I mean, that is, until now, of course. Where? What are we doing? Yes. It'll cost you a buck. Let's talk. I know you said you like yourself, and that's great. But I mean, you're not perfect. Nobody is, except maybe me. What's my biggest flaw? There's got to be something you don't like about yourself. So, if you had to pick the one thing that you dislike most about yourself, what would it be? Hey, when somebody asks you a question, you answer it. So, are you up to answering my question now? What I wanted to know was... I know you said you like yourself, and that's great. But, I mean, you're not perfect. Nobody is, except maybe me. There's got to be something you don't like about yourself. <coughs> okay. So, if you had to pick the one thing that you dislike most about yourself, what would it be? Your height? Well, as long as your body's long enough to reach the floor, you should be fine.
Let's talk. Let's talk. Let's talk. So it's interesting that when I asked you what you liked best about yourself, you picked a physical feature. I mean, you could have said personality or intelligence or a variety of other of emotional humor. or intellectual attributes. You fake so, words. in general, do you think that you are attractive? Oh my god, this is like f fucking with me here. I don't know, sometimes, maybe. Yes. You sometimes do I look in the mirror and I look attractive? like shit and I hate it. Sometimes I look in the mirror and I go, I think I look alright. Yes. That's good. Usually, if you believe that you are attractive, other people will think so too. What do you guys think? Because at the very least, they will be attracted to your self-confidence. <laughs> okay, what do you guys think? People are gonna screenshot that, and it's- I look like... Fucking crazed. Let's talk. So, you think you're at least somewhat attractive. Well, do listening? you think other people find you attractive? Do you guys think I'm attractive? What? What? I can't hear you. You know, let us revisit my last inquiry to you. That is, yeah, I'm if like you can cooperate yes. this time. <clears throat> so, you think you're at least somewhat attractive. Well, do you think other people find you attractive? Yes. So you do think people find you attractive? Yes. It's great that you think so highly of yourself. Just be careful that your head doesn't get too big. Otherwise, you'll never be able to buy a hat again. I have a small head. Anything else? Let's talk. There's nothing I want to talk about right now. What do you think of yourself? No, leave me alone. What is your best trait? Hmm? What? So, not too long ago, I asked you if you liked yourself. Now I have a slightly different question for you. Do you think other people like you? Yes. You do think people like you? Yes. Well, that's good. You like yourself, and you think other people like you. That sounds pretty healthy. How are you gonna turn this around on me? You don't exist. You don't exist. How's that for a brain buster? Put this tongue in that mouth. Dream on. You are a video game. Right, I know. You're not real. What do you want? You aren't real. You are not real. Right, I know. You are operating on the Sega Dreamcast. Everything is fine. Hmm. Let's talk. We've been talking a lot about how you see yourself and how other people see you. Now let me ask you this. Have you ever seen yourself on TV or on video? Yes. So I guess you know then that the rumor about the camera adding 10 pounds isn't true. It adds at least 20. And a couple of unsightly fins. It can be weird seeing yourself on video. Were you surprised by the way you looked? No. Well then, I guess you are just very comfortable with seeing your naked body in all those positions. Oh, 
Wait, maybe you haven't seen that video yet. You got you got tapes of me naked? Is that what he's trying to say? Uh You're going to jail. What do you want? You are going to jail. You're going to jail. What do you want? You are going to jail. Let's talk. So, you said you liked yourself. What is with this you whole think self other thing? people like you? You think you're attractive? And you think other people find you attractive. Alright, well, when you put it like that, I sound like a I'd fucking narcissist. I'd say it seems like you have a lot of self-confidence and a positive self-image. Would you agree? Sometimes, yeah. That's great. But don't get too big of a head. Otherwise... It'll make your body look funny. Hold on, I gotta, like, take care of the fucking other animals. What the fuck is that thing? What do I do with the moth? Can I talk to the moth? Hello? Hello? Oh, I hate this thing. I hate this thing. Hello? I can't even fucking... No, I don't want to look at this. I'm... This thing's fucking freaking me out. Another moth coming up. Smash it. Kill it. I'm not going to kill it. Feed it. Do you have to feed this thing pellets? No, no. This thing... No, you don't have to feed that thing. Let's make sure the spray is there and I'm going to feed pellets to these two. Oh, yummy, baity goodness. Come eat. Claymation streamer? I think that's all that they're gonna get for today. Mmm, tasty. Although you need food too. Uh, you also need to eat. I'm out of food though, this is kind of... This is the last bit of food I have for the two of them. Can just one of them die? Hey, thanks. How are you today? What? Mmm, tasty. Are you human? What's the meaning of life? Nothing. Eh? What's the point? As if you care. Give me the secret. Since I don't have anything else to add, I'll be going now. Okay. Goodbye. Doesn't want... Aren't you gonna get legs or something here soon? This might be ugly. You may want to look away. Oh, let's zoom the fuck in. Evolve? No, that's just poo. Look at those little legs. See the little legs on the side? Someone talk to me! What's up? Do you think you're attractive? What? Do you think I'm attractive? Do you think I'm good looking? Hello? Am I attractive? Let's talk. No, not today. Okay, Maybe well, tomorrow. Skip ahead a few hours? Will you evolve? You're not so bad looking yourself. Thank you, finally, I got the answer I was looking for.
What are your fears? Are you afraid of anything? Amazing. Well, yes, I guess so. Are you afraid? What do you fear most? Is this better? Goodbye. Have a good night. Good night. Uh, I think I'm gonna skip an hour or two. What time is it right now in the game? Would you like to save and end the session? Just skip till tomorrow? Just skip a day? Only go an hour or two. Yeah, I'll go a day. Like, not a full day. Cheating in old video games. So, 319 at 47. We're gonna do 319 at. Like three, four hours later? Like maybe three hours? Two hours? I'm gonna say two hours. Not a whole day. Three hours. Is your father working? I already gave you that answer. Twelve. Twelve, twelve. You know, a lot of twelves. Let's just go there. We'll go there. Like eight, ten. Let's see what we got. Oh, yeah. Blood type? I don't even know what my blood type is. That was some weird, like, video game physics engine bullshit. I, I just picked it up. I didn't do it. There's nothing in there. I don't know why I keep trying to sip out of it. Here we go. This is your second visit today. It is good to have you back so soon. Let's see. Last time, did you notice... The gill man has begun to sprout legs. I did see the preparing little Preparing for the next step in his evolution. Land. Land. However, this tank holds only water at the moment. Changes must be made to facilitate their new appendages. Also, with the addition of legs, this creature can no longer be referred to as gill man. Rather, he'll be referred to as podfish from this point forward. Podfish. Did you see the moth emerge from the cocoon? I did. It is quite amazing. If you missed it, watch your next pupa carefully. Vodfish? At the moment, the habitat contains two <laughs> Pogfish. Pogfish. They are suffering from the cold. Please use the heater to raise the temperature to a more comfortable level. So let us head over to the tank. Let's see how these pog fish are doing. Don't break that. You're going to need it. So, I'll be honest, I've never seen or heard It's cold in here. Anything about this game other than Could you put the heater the fish. on for me? I owned this game when I was a teenager, and I think, like I told you, I got maybe 10 minutes in and said hello, and then turned it off because I didn't get it. 
I don't even know what possibly could happen. They actually have legs now. That's scary. Oh, goody. Yay! Ugh, that's weird. That is very odd. Yeah. That's yeah, so that's weird. good. Take a look over here. Uh oh. Where's the food? I don't have any food. There's an egg here. I see one egg. I don't see any. Uh, are they gonna die? Because right now, this uh, I have maybe... It says two days and they die, right? The moth is food. I don't think I should do that yet. I'm going to wait till tomorrow. It's still the same day, technically. So, they're good. You know I could really eat. Fuck. Hey. Leave me alone. Let's talk. I like your new legs. What are you doing? Cool legs. Nice new legs. I like the legs. Let's talk. Let's talk. Yes. You loading up an answer? Let's talk. He's pissed. What's the matter? I'm a little hungry. We're gonna have to fast forward a day. They're not gonna be dead, right? Let's talk. Let's talk. There's nothing I want to talk about right now. Let's have a conversation. Don't repeat, it makes them mad. Well, look, here. The reason why I'm repeating it is because see the little thing in the middle? When you hold A down and you say something, that will change to tell you if they even heard it or not. So, when I talk, let's say I go, let's talk, and it doesn't change. I'm only waiting for it to change, and then Someone I Someone over here wants to eat. All right, I'm gonna have to go one day. Is it chow time yet? So we're gonna get the moth lady eggs. Wait a few hours. Add land? How am I supposed to add land? Oh, I was looking at chat. We're fine. It's a little hot, but it'll be fine. I have no way to, to add land. All right, this one's about to come out. All right, I got two moths now, which means there's an egg here. I don't want to kill one of the moths because that's how that's how they produce eggs. I'm gonna have to fast forward like three or four hours. I think I need some food. Shit. I will feed you later. Yeah, we're gonna fast forward. Let's go. Would you like to save and end the session? We're gonna go like six more hours. Ask them for food? No, land happens automatically. I can't add it. Get some food. It'll cost you a buck. Produce food. No, no, we just we gotta just get a fast forward. 
Would you like to say? We're gonna go like six hours, seven hours ahead. Because then there will be one day. I hope they're not dead. Oh, fuck! What do you think, like 10 hours? I'm saying in probably six to 10. Why is a blue screen such a big deal? Because it's very bright, and if people have a full screen, it's like incredibly jarring. Because I have a full screen here and it hurts. I'll go four hours ahead. Let's see what happens. This is your third day coming back. You are addicted. Please feed us. Why did Leonard Nimoy do this game? Who published it? Um, I think this was this was like a launch game for Sega Dreamcast, wasn't it? This is no, this is a Sega game. This is produced and developed by Sega. It's like a first party title, I think. I should change it by like 10 minutes and come back like 15 times. Good. Good. Still alive. Can I just get rid of one of the the C men? Screen show. Oh fuck! He said that I need to feed them immediately. I'm sorry. I want to get rid of one of them. Like that's just too much to feed too. He said that their legs are developed, and they're hungry, and to feed them immediately. Damn it, I'm gonna have to, right? Is that a larva? No, it's just two of those eggs. How long does it take for an egg to hatch? How long does it take for a little larva egg to hatch? An hour? Should I just go back and do it an hour? Feed the moth? I, there, you don't feed the moths. You can feed the moth now? Feed him what? Feed the moth? Well, I don't have any food! Oh, you mean talk about feed them one of these moths? Because here's an egg. That'll hatch. And then I got two of these. Is this a bad idea? I don't know if this is a good idea. This is, what's this, a spy, there's a spider in here. What the fuck is this spider? What do I do about the spider? What's a spider? What is the spider? I can, I can eat this one. Kill it, I can't kill it. I don't need to kill the moth now. Spider is food. Ah! Oh, can I... Is it poisonous? It's a poisonous spider. I have a larva though, right now. We're good. I don't need to ki- Should I throw this away? F 
flick the spider. Flick spider, I'm trying. I can't flick the spider. Spider eats the bugs. Flick him. I... Would you like to save and end the session? I'll do it. No one's ever written anything about this. Control F spider. Also note that all living things in the insect cage can be picked up and either fed to the semen in your tank or stored in the storage matrix. I often find it useful to keep a larva or two in the storage matrix in case you're having trouble getting moths to lay eggs in the cage, often because they are being killed by a spider. Speaking of which, occasionally, a Kimoth egg will hatch into a spider. Although this seems highly unlikely, it does happen. So we got a rare spawn here. If you feed a spider to you see, man, it will become sick. When this happens, you must spend a couple of days saying kind things to the sick seaman. Like, get well soon, or I love you. Cheesy, I know, but it's better than having your seamen die. Okay. Another annoying thing about spiders is that if they are left in the cage long enough, they will spin a web that your Kimoths can get caught in. If a Kimoth is caught in the web, it cannot escape unless you grab it and then drop it back in the cage. The spider will kill it if it's in the web long enough. Since you cannot store spiders in the storage matrix, the only way to get rid of them is to drop them in with your seaman after you fed your seaman. Why do we have to get the rare fucking spawn? Since seamen always ignore any food dropped in its cage after it has eaten, they will not eat the spider. The spider is also harmless to your seamen, and you should not worry about it being with them as long as they have already eaten. Okay. So. Feed them the larva. Feed Greg the real food, and then feed Garfield the spider. <laughs> that was a really fucked up strange laugh, and I even saw in the preview how fucking weird I looked. Okay. Here we go. Pick it up. Dude, pick up the fucking larva. Okay, here we go. Which one of them is Garfield? I don't know. Whoever gets it first lives. Oh, good. Food. You get to live. I don't even know who you are. Fucking he got it. God damn it. Alright, now they've both eaten. Mm. Where's the spider? God, this thing's terrifying. They've both eaten. So now I can drop this in here and they won't eat it. That's what the game facts from like 1998 said. Don't eat that. Why are you doing this? Don't eat that. You just ate. Okay, was this gonna drown? Don't eat it. Don't eat it. Alright, everything's good. I still have the two moths. Perfect. Now they've both eaten and we're good to go. We're still surviving. Good. Now, I have a question. Does the spider stay in the tank forever until somebody eats it? Or will it just drown? I don't see it. Hello. It's got arms. Hi. Hey, Greg. 
Greg? Greg? Hello? I won't let me talk to him. Greg? What the fuck are you doing? Hello? Garfield? I'm not even getting an indicator that they're hearing me. Greg. Hello. 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 No, they're not even paying attention. Snap out of it. Let's go. We have conversations to have. Let the mating begin. What do you mean, let the mating begin? You're not going to, like, do two brothers and... There's not, they're not doing this, right? Hey, this isn't the Spice Channel. Turn around. <laughs> Why is this happening? Why would you have... Long you guys gonna do it for? I okay. Uh, who the man? Who's your daddy? <laughs> Why is he dead? He fucked to death. What? He had sex to a point where he died. He had a heart attack during sex. Okay. That's unbelievable. One of them had a heart attack and died. So is the... Hello? Hello? Just unresponsive. Let's talk. Let's talk. Talk to me. Would, would you? So tell me, do you own a computer? That's the first question. Yes. First question. So you own a computer, right? Yes. You have a computer, and yet you'd rather sit here and talk to me. Well, that's touching. No, really, it is. <laughs> Do you have a password? What is the password? Let's talk. About what? You having sex with one of your siblings, and then them dying immediately after. No. Okay. Hello. Let's talk. What are you doing? I don't know why it's doing like the back though. Why did you do that? What's wrong with you? What is wrong with you? He's very unresponsive lately. You! Garfield. They doesn't even want to indicate that he's hearing me. Beep, 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 beep. Beep. Are you, mm, are you pregnant? Are you pregnant, Garfield? <laughs> Out of context, that sounds very odd. Greg. This is Greg? Greg, are you pregnant? That doesn't want anything to do with me. 
I think we have to just leave for the day. It wants nothing to do with me. See you tomorrow. Can I move the rock? What do you mean? What am I? What do you mean? Move the rock? Wow. Now that's dark. What's this gonna do? Is this gonna like? S you want to move the rock, eh? Well, if you want my help, you're going to have to answer my riddle first. If a human types 60 words a minute for 8 hours a day, 6 days a week, what does it have after 7 months? <laughs> nope. Sorry, the correct answer was carpal tunnel syndrome. Well, guess I can't oh. help you then, can I? <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk. So, do you own a Mac or a PC? I own a PC is better for gaming. PC. Yeah, you and the rest of the world. Yeah. So what kind of PC do you have? A gateway. I love those boxes. They make me think of farms and... Mm. Those computers were such dog shit. Gateway computers. They were like two hundred and twelve dollars. They did exactly what you wanted. They wanted if you wanted to like read emails and type on a word processor. It was like a it was like probably two hundred bucks for like top of the line gateway. They came out of the box. It barely worked. It was obligated that whoever was working at the gateway like studio fucking had to boot over every single desktop before they shipped out. All right, we've got this computer here. Hold on, this, I, gotta, I have to do this for this to win. No, I don't, never mind. Yeah, I do. No, I don't, fuck it, whatever. They would just drop it from like a story up and then put it in the box. Let's talk. Let's talk. So, do you own a laptop or a desktop? Ready for this? I'm gonna flex on this motherfucker right now. Both. Both, huh? Can't be away from your computer for more than five minutes, can you? I got both. Let's talk. Word. Why don't we have a conversation? Hello? Let's talk. So what do you use your computer for? Video games, uh, TV, movies, recipe, recipes. So you use it to send email? No. I thought you just said you use it for email. Say porn. What do you use it for? You want the laugh out loud LOL answer? Porn. I'm going to go do a couple of laps. Doctor's orders. Let's talk. Okay, one more time. I said, so what do you use your computer for? That's the funny answer. Everyone is saying, say it, say it. Taxes. So you use it to <clears throat> rouse the net, huh? Yes. We'll be talking a little more about the internet later on. Perv. I said taxes. I didn't say anything else. You're stupid. You're an idiot. I don't even like you. All right, let me do, did he increase the time. You, 
you get off to Taxes Point. Thank God we don't have to deal with any others. It's just Garfield that's left. Spray it up. Now we have two... Ooh, we got a larva gonna be hatching probably tomorrow. Sick yeah, dude. Cool, cool. Sick yeah, sick. Yeah, sick, dude. Would you like to save and end the session? I want to... I'm getting so excited about this. 33, by the way. Sorry to backseat you, but do the rock again. I will tomorrow. Oh. Don't you guys feel like if I go if I go far enough and hard enough that uh, that's like me ripping a tooth out? Do people really actually do that shit? I'm serious. I know there's like a dumb, stupid trope about like attaching a string to your tooth and then slamming the door with the doorknob being attached. Nobody actually. Why wouldn't you just pull it out? You know people that did do that. Why would you do that? You have a fucking hand. Go like this and pull it out. Why would you tie it to a door and slam the fucking door? That's such an elaborate cartoon villain way to do that. Alright, let's turn it off. Another day. You went to the dentist, and the dentist did that. <laughs> yeah, go on, come sit in the chair. Let me get out of there. Are you comfortable? Yeah, I'm gonna get this done. Fucking fuck all these tools. I'm gonna tie your tooth to the string, and I'm gonna slam my office door. Thanks for that. That'll be $687. 319, 320. Cartoon dentist. Cartoon. Can you guys believe we've been playing this for 10 days straight? <laughs> what cartoon dentist did you go to? Ow. <clears throat> Goofy did my braces. That'd be so cool. Imagine being a dentist and being in the, the full Disney World Goofy costume. And working on somebody sitting in a chair. That'd be so hard. Just in the mascot costume. You get that, that mesh vision like you're in a, a mask. Hello. I heard somebody. Welcome to the laboratory of Jean-Paul Gasset. Greetings and welcome back. You're doing a good job. Very well. Did you see the podfish mate? It seems that the tubes atop their heads have even more uses than we thought. Hold on, I just realized something. However, the male podfish died immediately afterwards. It is unfortunate. They... But he spent every last bit of energy ensuring the continuation of his species. I'm sure he has no regrets. They go to the bathroom. They, they poo through that too. And use it for At sex. the moment, the habitat contains one podfish. He appears to be very hungry. So do we. Let me divulge the highlights for today. You don't poo. Have you noticed that you can move the stones which ornament the tank? Hold on. The largest rock, however, is too heavy for you to move alone. The podfish may help you. But only if he's in a good mood. So let us head over to the tank. I'm not even going to say it. People are saying it in chat already. That's what I'm saying. You do, though. No, you don't. I'm not going to Google that term. I'd like to keep my lunch down. Not up.
Many uses. Many uses. Remove the memory card. What? What do you... No. Let's heat it up. Calm down, you creepy person. I'm a creepy person. I didn't do anything. How big do they get? Thanks. I believe I'm beginning to thaw. That looks good. Give me some air. How are the bugs doing? Alright, how are the bugs? Any... Uh, no, no hatching yet. Wait, did we get a hatch? Yep. Hopefully there, there are no spiders left in here, right? I don't think so. Nice, okay. Two larva. He can eat! Why don't you have some food? Must. Have. Food. Now. Oh, good. Food. Put it in the matrix. I'll store. I can store this piece, I'll right? I'll never eat again. How long am I gonna stream tonight? I mean, pretty much until uh, we're like done with Hello? this. Hello. Is anyone I'm out there? Really time. Store a larva in the matrix. Hello. Ah, uh, I couldn't think of a better person to whittle away the afternoon with. How do you have sex? Hey, Seaman, don't play that. What is on your head? You're too young to understand. He's dead? Is he dying? I thought I, I thought he was dead. Let's talk. Let's talk. Let's talk. He's doing tricks. <laughs> He's coming over here. What is it? What are you doing? You want to learn a trick? Cool trick. Would you like to learn some tricks? He hates me. He doesn't even want to listen to me. I'm gonna move the rock. Help me with the rock. Nothing, thanks. Can you please help me move the rock? Please move the rock. Please move the rock. Hey, thanks. You're sweet, too. So, would you say the computer makes your life easier or more complicated? You must know more about the computer. Easier. Hmm. I see. Obsessed with the computer. Let's talk. Uh, more about the computer. You were saying before that you own a computer, so I'm assuming you're not unfamiliar with computers, what they do and so forth. Would you be willing to say that the computer is the number one invention of the 20th century? No. 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 
Electricity. Really? Well then, what do you think is the greatest invention of the 20th century? Electricity. I think I'd have to disagree with you. 20th century. I mean, sure, computers uh, aren't perfect. And some would say that they've food made you humans all soft and weak. But people are evolving into much different creatures nowadays. There's no need to escape the jaws of Taco any Bell. natural enemies. Your Processed brains meat. are in the process of a much higher metamorphosis. Let's talk. Let's talk. Hey, let's chat. There's nothing I want to talk about right now. Move the rock. Help me move the rock, please. Well, you know, I try. Can you move the rock? I'm okay. Alright, he's going over there. Do it. Alright, it's quiz time no, again. No, remove the me, uh. How many lives does a cat get? One. You asked someone, didn't you? Okay, let's give this a shot then. Well, animals, you get, you die, you get one life. You gonna move it? I answered a stupid riddle. Do I have to move it too? Help him. Where are we moving this to? I don't know where we're supposed to move this to. Just... <laughs> Just move it? What did that do? It moved a little bit. I think something's going to happen if we move this rock all the way. All the way. Move rock. Come on. What do you say we rest up for a second, Wait for rest. Huh? I'm not used to this sort of manual labor. No, you can't do it all in one day. Everyone that's saying like, oh, like 200 IQ, LOL, you can only do it like an inch a day. Cover the air hole. No, take that off. What a bad idea. Let's talk. No. All right, let's go. You gonna do it again? Here he goes. Come on. Move rock with me. Wait a little longer. My limbs feel like they're going to pop off if I don't recuperate first. Tell him you're gonna delete your save. I'm going to delete my save game. Hello? I'm going to delete my save. I'm going to delete you. I'm going to delete my save. What do you want? I will delete you. He doesn't give a fuck. Cover the air hole and add air. I don't want to fucking torture him. You ready? To do this again? Again? Come on, I need a little rest. Fine, come back in two hours. I love you. Well, this is a little sudden, isn't it? Do you love me? Okay, I'm going to let you give me a name. When you've decided what you want to call me, say, I'm ready. 
I'm ready. All right, then. Here's how to do it. You're going to say my new name three times. Each time I say now, say the name once. Got it? It's Greg, right? Now. Greg. One more time. Greg. One more time. Greg. Okay, I'll remember that. Next time you want to call me, call me using that you name. You are Greg, I know. And don't forget the name you gave me. I know what it is. You forgot. Because if you do, I'm not going to tell you what it is. Wiggle this with me. Come on. And there it is. See you later. Greg. Later, Fuzzy. Why is he telling me later? Greg, help me move the rock. Well... As you can see, I find computers pretty fascinating. The computers is never shut They've the changed up. everything around you so much that you probably Don't couldn't even visualize a world without them. And of course, as with any huge technological advance, they've brought with them a lot of dangers to watch out for. But I still think the good that computers have brought to the world outweighs the evils. It's just important for you humans to communicate with each other and not become overly dependent on your machines. I'm not. And that's all I have to say on the subject. Let's talk again sometime soon. Let's talk now. Let's talk. Tomorrow. We'll talk again tomorrow. Fine, fuck you, Mike. Is he out of, uh, is he out of gas here? Can I not move this? No, he's out of gas. We'll come back tomorrow. Put larva in storage? Does it go bad? These don't go bad, right? Do they go bad? Doesn't go bad. Okay. Cover the air hole. No, I'm not gonna cover the air hole. We've gotten so far in the game. I'm not going to kill him. Your hair looks nice. Hey, thanks. All right, so we got two moths. I think we're good. We only have one person to feed. This is uh, sprayed up. Cover it and then add air. Add air after you cover it. I'm I'm not doing that yet. Not until Would you I have like to a save and end the session. It's gonna blow the rock up, and a piece of shrapnel is gonna right through his head, and everyone's gonna laugh their asses off because that's the end of the game. And look at like I'm very I'm so emphasizical with my hands. I'm gonna like eat a pizza. Should I eat like a whole pizza on stream? I've never eaten on stream before. Maybe I like maybe I'll just eat a pizza on stream. Would like, should I do that? You've eaten a raw onion before on stream. I have not eaten a raw... You're thinking of somebody else. Where the fuck did you get that from? I've eaten a raw onion? I have never bit into a raw onion on stream. I'm desperately trying to think about what you're talking about. I ate radishes on stream. That's normal. I... You peel... You cut them, you chop them, and you eat them. What? That, that radish is not an onion. I've eaten a turkey sandwich. Well, no, I took a bite out of a, of a garbage can left outside in the trash turkey sandwich, right? And I threw it away because it sucked because I couldn't eat it. Uh, I've eaten taquitos Hello. on stream. 
Welcome to the laboratory of Jean-Paul Jean Lachey. And radishes. That's the only time. For and hot dog. That's it. There is a definite pattern to your visits. It appears you are a punctual person. Every day at the same time. First, a recap of your previous visit. Do you recall that when you tried to move the rock, the podfish helped you? While well, neither you nor Seaman can move the rock alone, Radish? working THC together, you were edibles. able to move it, if only slightly. I'm fine. I want a pizza At the moment, right now. the habitat contains How do I get a fucking pizza? one podfish. He is suffering from the cold. Please use the heater to raise the temperature to a more comfortable level. I'm gonna get a pizza. So let us head over to the tank. I will like mute, I will like get off the camera when, when I eat the pizza, okay? No. No, show eating pizza. Oh, fucking hell. We're gonna get a pizza. I'm gonna take a, I'm gonna take a, like a BRB here in a minute, and go get actually get a pizza ordered. Cause I'm not stop I'm not the stream's not over, we're still going. And I don't want to stop the stream because I have to eat. Like, but it's only been five minutes. I'm gonna take the last couple days off, so I'm not like oh, I'm gonna eat too later. Chat, pick the pizza. What kind of pizza should I eat? I don't, I'm not like a big fan of Domino's. Or, I mean, I like Pizza Hut, but Pizza Hut... Hey, listen up. I don't know if there is a Pizza Hut around here. Is there even a Pizza Hut in Las Vegas? Does it even... I don't even know. Is there? Did I eat it? I don't think so. It has to be. I mean, Vegas has everything. Hello? Is anyone out there? Probably like 15. Get the decomposing corpse pizza, which is sausage, pepperoni, and mushrooms. It's okay if you ignore me. I don't mind. What are you talking about? Hi there. Hi there. Hey. So it's the first day of spring. Is it just me, or do you feel a little tingle south of the border, too? I don't. Uh, I do not. You know, I could really eat. Okay, I will feed you. Just hold on. Alright, we got some uh, spray issue here. Got another uh, hatch that happened here down here. Looking for spiders. I, I think there's a spider down there. Yep, get the fuck out of here. I need to. Don't touch him! Don't touch, don't touch. No, 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 no. Get the fuck out of here. Okay, I need to feed and then drop you. Come here, you. Come here. No. You. Where did I just get another egg from? Alright, I'm going to make this quick. Hurry up. Eat that. Oh, good. He has to eat first Ooh. before I drop the spider in here. Okay, now go get spider. Drown spider. Come here. A little dick, get over here. Good. This game makes me feel disgusted for some reason. Hey, how are you? Leave me alone. I did, you just ate. Come here. <laughs> quit it. Quit it. It hurts. Let's talk. <laughs> Let's talk. So tell me, do you use the internet? This guy is so weirdly obsessed with the computer. Yes. So you surf the net? Yes. Good. You have to keep up with technology or you'll never make it in this day and age. Do we age. have anything else to talk about besides computers and the internet? Have you ever browsed the internet? Do you use the internet? 
what's up. Move rock. It's quiz time again. No. If you answer correctly, I'll give you a hand with the rock. Okay. Ready? If you put a blue lamp next to a yellow lamp in a room with white walls, what color will the walls be? White. That's right. You've tried this before, I'll take it. Okay, let's Why go. Why would it be green? The, th th the three of you guys said green. Come on. What the hell's up with that? Alright, let's go. All the way to the left. Ready? It's got to move Let's sometime. Go. Move! That's it? The third time's the charm. Gotta do it three times. I hope. It's like... Guy with the big fucking oven mitts. Let's talk. Talk to me. So, this World Wide Web. <laughs> uh, what do you use it for? Porn. You use it for pornography? Yes, sure. Yes. You've been well, prodding the at whole least fucking you're time. An Honest Just pervert. Fine. Do you have any more questions about the internet? I don't even care. I'll do the funny meme answer. He just keeps asking the same question. Let's talk about something else. Do you ever use email? Yes. So you email people? Yes. Do you prefer to keep in touch with people through email or the telephone? Telephone. Yes, there's nothing as comforting as the sound of a human voice. I must say, even I've gotten used to it over time. The game came out in 99, give it a break. Oh, I'm just kidding. Everybody. Let's talk. Let's talk. Now, here's something that you might computer. be interested in as an internet user. Okay, I'm interested. Do you think the internet should be censored? Oh, wow. Wow, we're really getting into this here. That really, I mean, that, that's a loaded question. No. So you don't think the internet should be censored, is that right? But that, but what's that, yes. Yes. Well, that's not surprising. Considering you're such a big fan of downloadable nudie pictures. But I only said I that guess one can always going. count on the pervert vote in the free internet debate. I only said pornography because that's what he wanted to hear. He was so, he want he, do you use it for emails? Hey, about the computer. I've heard the computer could be browsing the web. What do you use the computer for? Uh, taxes. Oh, taxes. What do? What else do you use the computer for? Emails. Oh, you e What? What? Give me the answer I want, so I can make fun of you. Let's talk. So, as I was saying before. There are a lot of really amazing things about the internet, but as with everything else, it's not completely perfect. Think of it this way. You can do almost anything on the internet. Work, shop, chat, get the news, play games, yeah. listen to music, Still and to this day. pretty much anything else you want to do. That's all terrific, but... Pretty soon, people won't even need to leave their homes in order to conduct their daily business. You humans are going to get lazier and less mobile. 
and forget how to deal with each other face to face. Holy shit, seaman. I think things could get pretty ugly a few decades down the road. Do you think the internet is dangerous? Holy shit. Wow. Is the internet dangerous? Yeah. Well, I think it's good that you're exercising a little caution about your internet use. This is two decades later. Fire is a wonderful thing, but I and, wouldn't and want I mean, to sit on a yeah, sofa like made out of it. Literally two decades a later. A place for everything this and is everything 10th, in its place. 2019. When is Isn't on, that 1999? how the saying goes? Well, I don't know about you, but Got it right. I've enjoyed this little chat about the internet. It can be a wonderful thing. For the first time ever, people can Somebody finally communicate with each other and not have race, gender, or culture prejudices get in the way. So in that sense, it can be a great tool for removing biases and bringing people, people together. The the telephone, not After all, on the internet, nobody has to know I'm a seaman. On the other hand, like I said, it can be very dangerous because it removes the need to interact directly with the outside world, especially with other people. It's up to all of you humans to decide how to use the internet intelligently. He knows too much. So, oh, oh, he knows too oh, much. You gotta go. Oh, I come from Alabama with my banjo on my knee. Uh, oh, you're. How would you start to sing? Okay. Hey! Stop it. Stop it. Stop it! Let's talk. Let's talk. Something. Let's have a conversation. Everything is fine. Somebody wants me to ask, do you know what memes are? Hello. What's a meme? Okay, one more time. God. I said. So, as I was saying before, you didn't shut up. there are a lot of really amazing things about the internet, but as with everything else, it's not completely perfect. Yeah. Think of it this way. Let him speak. <laughs> you can do almost anything on the internet. Workshop, chat, hit the news, play I games, listen to music and pretty much anything else you pasta. want to do. That's all terrific, but pretty soon people won't even need to leave it's their homes pasta. in order to conduct their daily business. You humans are going to get lazier and less mobile and forget how to deal with each other face to face. I think things could get pretty ugly a few decades down the road. Today. Do you think the internet is dangerous? Yes. Well, I think it's good that you're exercising a little caution about the pizza? your I will. internet I, hold on. use. I'll order the pizza. Fire is a wonderful thing, but I wouldn't want to sit on a sofa made out of it. A good place point. for everything and everything in its place. Isn't that how the saying goes? Well, I don't know about you, but Fire. I've enjoyed this little chat about the internet. It the, can be a wonderful internet. thing. For the first time ever, people can finally communicate with each other and not have race, gender, or culture prejudices get in the way. So in that sense, it can be a great tool for removing biases and bringing people together. After all, on the internet, nobody has to know I'm a seaman. On the other hand, like I said, it can be very dangerous because it removes the need to interact directly with the outside world, especially with other people. It's up to all of you humans to decide how to use the internet intelligently so that it won't harm you. He said his whole speech. Okay. That was wonderful. What? Well spoken. Well spoken. Yes. Yes, it was. Let's talk. I have nothing to say. Are you real? No, I'm glad. All right. Pizza time. Let's see. Let me see where I can, I'm going to get pizza like to from somewhere. Would you like to save and end the session? 
going to order a fucking deep dish. And I'm going to do like a huge deep dish bite on camera. It's going to you're going to hear the squish of the dough. It's going to be like I can't wait. I'm so fucking hungry. All right, let me order a pizza. I'll be right back. Deep dish. Deep dish. Alright, <clears throat> yeah, you guys gotta remind me. You guys have to let me know in eight minutes exactly from right now. I'm preheating the oven. And I'm gonna put this for, by the way, it's Dr. Oker's, so. I was gonna order one, I was like, holy fuck, why'd I just have Dr. Oker's? Why do I need to order a pizza? Uh, but yeah, so uh, I, I, this is going to be the worst pizza ever because I'm going to put it in the oven for like three or four minutes.
I'm just gonna sit down there and just gonna stare at it. I can't like bring you guys down with me. All right, seven minutes. Let me know. Hello. I'm here. How are you? Well, I think that pretty much covers it. Later. Does, okay, that's he doesn't want to do anything else. We moved, we moved the rock. We talked about uh, the internet again. What do you think about Japan? Hey, Greg, what do you think about Japan? Is this better? What do you think about Japan? Mm, I don't think so. I tried. All right, so let's make sure everything's comfortable. Cut the light a little. Your house is on fire. No. Kim is here. But I need to like just be your. I need to put it in. What do you think about Japan? Kim is burning. She, uh, <laughs> no, it's just like it's safe because there's somebody else in the house. So don't. That's what I'm saying. And don't fucking talk about my shiny forehead. How dare you! Okay. No, I think we're good to go. Would you like to save and end? Move the rock one more time. Let's see what happens. Kim is going to eat the pizza. No, she's not. Seven minutes? It's been seven minutes? Shit, I'm sorry. I got five minutes left. Well, I'm just gonna go down there. I don't even care if it's preheated. I'm gonna go down there in like a minute and just put it in. And then let it sit in there and then five, six minutes, do it again, seven minutes and eat it. It's gonna be fine. Twenty second of March. Looking good. Just bake it like a normal person. It's in. It's gonna. It's be. Don't. The shit on the back is just a guideline. You don't have to worry. As long as it's cooked all the way through. Plus, those things are such bullshit, anyways. How many times have you left a pizza in an oven, with the right settings, with everything done correctly? And now what's that? It turns out all gross and burnt and shitty. You I you always gotta do like two or three minutes under what it says. Good morning. Welcome to the laboratory of Jean-Paul Gasset. Let's see what we got. Greetings and welcome back. You're doing a good job. You do two or three minutes over. At the moment, the habitat contains. <laughs> One, podfish. Two or three minutes over, dude. He appears to be very hungry. So let us head over to the tank. I'm so excited. I need to have a good, I gotta have a good, a good place for it. It's gonna fit right here on a plate. And I'm gonna munch on it. It's gonna be so hot, and I'm gonna go. <laughs> Whoa! 
How many days has it been? How many days did I set it to? Why is that so low? What? Well, no, no, okay, no, 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 no. I thought that was air for a second. I thought it was air. This is heater. All right, I'm gonna go put the pizza. It's been five minutes. It took you long enough. Oh, that. All right. Would you like Perfect. to save and end the session? All right, pizza's in. So in six minutes, I'm going back down there. <laughs> you gonna drop the pizza? You think I'm, this is an elaborate joke for me to put the pizza on the fucking ground? Why would I ever do something like that? I'm gonna go in there and just be like a clown and like, whoops, and it's gonna fall and flat down on the ground. The camera's not even set up for that. That would be a waste of a joke. Feed me right now. I'm not gonna drop the full pizza on the floor. You guys are out of your minds. Put the pizza on your face. Hey, food. Here. Now. All right, we have any more? No spider, right? I don't see any spiders. I think we're good. We got two larvae. Feed me right now. All right, I got. I'm gonna hold on to you. We got fresh ones right here. Did they go bad? These don't go bad, right? In the I think I asked that already. Here's your food. Let's move the rock. Keep keep an eye on the hey, clock. I'm thanks. serious. In like three or four minutes, I'm get, I'm going to get it. You already asked that. I know, but I'm fucking dumb. That hit the spot. Hello. He wants to talk. Are you listening? I'm here. Hello. What time is it? Uh, fuck. This is. I'm gonna get this wrong. 9 p.m. What do you want? Move rock. As if you cared. Okay, let's try this again, shall we? What pizza Here's place did you order from? Question. The frozen section from if the grocery store. If a man store. yells for seven days straight, and his pitch raises an octave every three hours, what does he have at the end of the week? A sore throat. Correct. Very good. Okay, let's go. How is that cheating? It's just a basic trick question. An average Germa stream. 
All right, move it. Let's go. This is the last day that I need to move this. Go, 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 go. I just do it more. Wow. Look at what we did. What did we do? I don't know what we did. I don't get it. Let's talk. We just moved a rock. That's it. Pizza? <laughs> Would you like to save and end the session? All right, it's been four minutes.
Uh, I gotta turn the stream off. I was rushing to get back up here, and I dropped the whole thing on the ground. I dumped the whole fucking thing on the ground going upstairs. So, I'll see you tomorrow, bye guys. Bye, bye guys. You want to see? Everybody said, oh, it's going to be raw. It's going to be raw. Look at this fucking pizzeria pizza. Take a look at this. You don't think you should, you don't think a Dr. Roker's pizza is the best fucking frozen pizza you could possibly buy? Are you shitting me right now? Like, are you shitting me? <laughs> Looks fucking incredible. I'll give you a bite. Look at the shit. The cheese come down. Nope. That was hot. <laughs> Get me off camera quick. <laughs> I'm never going on camera ever again. <laughs> Zero crunch? Oh yeah? Zero crunch, huh? <laughs> oh! 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 oh. <laughs> I'm gonna eat- I'm gonna enjoy that. <laughs> Uh, that was crunchy. Why did somebody just give a hundred bucks? Somebody actually just gave a hundred dollars. Luxurian hat, thanks for the hundred dollars. They say, ow. You just bought this pizza like 12 times. Thank you so much for the hundred bucks. No, there really is crunch on this though. That's what a fucking embarrassing clip. Look, I'll show. Ready? Is it on my chin? What is that? Oh, it's just shitty facial hair. Never mind. Ready? I'm gonna give you a crunch warning. If people don't like hearing crunches and mouth noises and that shit, I completely understand. Here's your five second uh, warning here. Here it comes. I'm such a filthy fucking eater, that's why I can't eat on stream. <laughs> you should see me in a restaurant. I'm, I'm filthy. I'm absolutely disgusting. I can't fucking drop that. How do people eat on stream like this? I don't fucking understand. I mean, I, I, I have so much self-awareness and self-conscious when I'm eating. I can feel everybody staring at my disgusting mouth. All right, I have any Pepsi to wash it down? What is that? I don't want that in my food. Don't touch it. What the fuck? Now it's gonna... <clears throat> I thought that fell. Did it fall off the plate? <sighs> All right, just one piece and I'm gonna go back. I didn't even get a drink. I fucking hate being on camera and eating. Fucking TV commercial. Oh, Dr. Rucker sucks. 
Really? You ever seen a Ninja Turtle cheese slice like that? That looks disgusting. Oh, shut up. Give me a break. Really? Disgusting? Unbelievable. I got, got, be, oh, be, be quiet. It looks like boogers. It's, no, that's, um, I don't know, what is it? That's like, um, multivario. I don't know, whatever it is. What is it? Pesto. That's pesto, mozzarella, tomatoes. <laughs> it's mold. Yeah, this tastes like, really, this tastes like penicillin. I don't know why. I'm so high, don't tease me like this. I'm just trying to turn it off. That was a mistake. <laughs> Okay. Uh, this is really hitting the spot, though, for real. I can hear it going into his nose. It all goes to this, down the same tube eventually. Don't talk with your mouth full. I can't help it. I'm from Boston. We speak with each. We eat our hamburgers and hot dogs and fucking chicken. No, this is good. This is like a eight out of ten. All right, let's just. Uh, I'm gonna just watch Seaman for a little while. I'm gonna eat. I'll see you in a second. I got one more slice. I need like an ice cold Coca Cola. Coke, I like Coke. Coke versus Pepsi, I think uh, Coke is better. It's got more earthy flavor. Pepsi's eh. Nah. Uh, Jer Jerma lied about Minecraft VR just get 10 community subs. I did not lie. I'm doing that on the next VR stream, which is gonna happen next week. 
Well, how could I lie? Your name's gonna be very, very irrelevant in, like, five days. You're gonna have to change it to Jeremy told the truth about how good this crunch quality was. All right, I'm done. I just ate a whole pizza in like six minutes. Not even. That's gotta be some kind of record, right? Eat a whole Dr. Roca's pizza in like seven minutes? Come on. That's gotta be a record. <laughs> oh, that's a whole pizza. I told you I was gonna do it. I could probably eat another one if I really wanted to. But, alas, we're not going to do that. I'm going to, like, burp really loud off camera, and then I'm going to get a co- So, sorry the last, like, 20 minutes or so has been about eating food and shit. Oh, I'm good. Let's come back. My grocery store recently started selling Dr. Dr. Oker pizza. And you're right, they're by far the best brand. Yeah, absolutely they are. Dr. Oker's pizza is the best frozen pizza you can buy. I will fight that every day. I just will. But seriously, thank you to Luxurian Hat for the hundred bucks. All jokes aside, it's a lot of money. And let's go. Well, I didn't have to come back right when I like did by like lick my chops. Good. Okay. Back to Sea Man. Hey, I'm back. How are you? Oh, you almost gave me a heart attack. Let's talk. Click on the rock again? Uh, didn't we already do this? All right, here's another one. What do you have if you put a cat in a fishbowl? A wet cat. Right you are. All right, I'll give you a hand. 
I was gonna say catfish. Then I looked at Chad and cheated. How much further do we really have to do this? This is, this is too far. Let's go. It's got to move sometime. Cutscene? Why wait? Why wait a cutscene? I think we did it. Next stage of the game. Let's go. All right. Is he gonna die? Can he live outside the water? The game is called Seaman. Oh, it's like a new habitat. Okay. I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> okay, I got one. At least I got one. God, what a fucking stream. I'm eating, like, s sneezing, burping. How do you like your new home? Every time I eat, every time I eat, I get like stuffy nose. Does that happen to anybody else? If I eat a huge meal, my nose starts to run. I have like a day in the illness or something. Let's talk. Maybe he doesn't doesn't want to talk. Let's talk. Hey. Sorry, I'm busy. You're busy. Oh, he's having fun, that's good. Are you having fun? What do you want? Are you having fun? Should I be? Yeah. Let's talk. I don't want to. Fine, right, I'll come back tomorrow. Alright, we got a uh, new habitat. He's gonna grow legs and he's gonna start walking around. Yeah, when is it going to have babies? Isn't it pregnant? Would you rather be the funniest or smartest person in the room? Well, the funniest person in the room is the smartest person in the room. Because they, they can come up with the observations and the uh, kind of comedic value and things maybe other people couldn't see. They are probably the smartest person in the room. So you, the funniest person would be the smartest person. Because they can just go through all the knowledge and come up with the scenarios that require, you know, for conversational purposes. When am I going to feed Greg? He already ate. Alright, I think we're good. Let's make sure it's hot. <clears throat> Does it need to be colder or hotter? This might need to be warmer now. Is it not warm enough? Too warm? That's too hot, right? Hotter than this. Is this going to be too hot? Is this too hot? Okay, no. It'll be probably between 20 and 30 now. Uh, what's the cutoff here? 30? You could no, it's too hot now. Okay, all right, all right. I didn't know, I didn't know, I didn't know. Hey, enough with the heater already. So it's between 20 and 25. So what about... There's no more oxygen, though. It's only heat, no more O2. Interesting. What's my favorite musical instrument? Stand-up bass. Just this. So that's gonna come down. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You'll be cool in a second. Alright, any more larva? Yeah, we got a larva here. Let's store this larva.
We good? Spray it up. New day. Would you like to see? Would. Let's see what happens tomorrow. <clears throat> English horn is my favorite instrument. It's actually not, but it's the stand-up bit. I just told you. <clears throat> he might miss it. What are you talking about? He might miss what? He's gonna miss it. The birth? The thing's been pregnant for four days. The animal's been pregnant for like four or five days. It'll be fine. We'll go the next day, 23rd. 4.30. Close it up. He did miss it? No, I didn't. Uh, uh. Alright, I gotta get closer. You've been streaming this game for days and I missed it all this time. Um, yeah. Look at your watch, man. You can see I got it. Alright, Leonard. Update me. How are we doing today? Good morning. Welcome to the laboratory of Jean-Paul Gasset. Your schedule appears to be quite erratic. I hope that Seaman is not disturbing your everyday routine. <laughs> you woke up at 4.30 to play Seaman. Very well. wrong. Your team effort with the podfish to create dry land was very impressive. Congratulations on a job well done. At the moment, the habitat contains one podfish. One long fingernail. He must be grateful to have such an attentive caregiver. I'm sure he will respond to your feelings for him. <laughs> Leonard. Allow Leonard, what are you to talking about? Divulge today's highlights. <clears throat> the pregnant podfish will soon give birth. He missed it. Make sure you do not miss this dramatic experience. He missed it, though. So let us head over to the tank. It sounds like me. Can't believe you missed it. Why did you miss it? Get it yet? I just did the voice. I did the voice. Somebody said do the voice. Don't bully me. I didn't. You feel like you're being bullied? I didn't bully you. Heat it up. Do the funny scream. No, I'm not doing funny scream. Hey. Hey. Where are we at? Light, turn it on. Heat's fine. Eh, maybe a little bit more. Hello? Is anyone out there? I am. But not yet. Check for bugs. Anybody see any? Oh, that's the worst when you drink soda and you burp and you hold it in and it comes out your nose and it hurts. Ugh. It's like acid shooting through your nostrils. Uh, no spider. I think we're good. All right. Hello. How are you today? Hey, you. What? What? What is it? Oh, this is too early. Too early. Let's talk. 
Is he gonna give birth or what? Wake up. Adieu. Wake up. Wake up. Be seeing you. Here we go. Birth? No. <laughs> Where are your babies? Where are the babies? Babies. What? Where are the babies? You still pregnant? You still pregnant? Yep. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> Where are the babies? What the hell is going on out there? Where are the babies? Where are the babies? Where are the babies? Look who's talking. Where are the babies? Where are the babies? You're just not my type. What do you need? I'm mad at you right now, so go away. Wow, I'm even better looking on land. You look great. You look great. You're not even on land. You can't... Okay, I have a... a what does that mean? Oh, wait, we're getting a cutscene. Remember male pregnancy from the sea man? <laughs> Should I be doing something? Are you okay? Are you all right? Do, do you need me to get you something? This is like what my father sounds like when he's getting a deep tissue massage. I can't, there's no, I have a function here. Can I put food in there? Where, are the babies coming out? Do I have to put food in here? Giving birth. <laughs> Push. 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 Am I allowed to leave? This game is upsetting me. Yeah, you can leave if you want. Look, I'll turn it down, so it's not as horrible. Uh, I should have gotten the pizza here. I'm an imbecile, what? What, 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 what do you mean? I'm sitting there, I can't do anything, I have a, I have the no smoking sign. 
What? Hello, is everything okay in there? How are you? I can't pick him up. Help him back into the water. I can't. He's stuck. Oh, God. He's gonna puke. He's gonna puke. Four quadruplets. Septuplets. More? No way. No wonder it took you so long. That's six tuplets. You're not going to have seven. Six babies. Well, that was fun. Yes, I'll, uh, I'll call you. Let's talk. No. How do I take care of the babies? Dead? No. Not dead. Dead? Okay. Hold on. For back here, it looks like a cricket. Okay, um, so I guess we're gonna just fast forward now. What's going on over oh. Alright, we're good. A couple more about to hatch. Put the eggs in the water. Put eggs in water. I can't. Was he supposed to have the babies in the water? Can't even do it. No. Yeah, I'm getting debated by one guy. All right. End the session. Let's see what happens tomorrow. Let's see how mom and babies are doing tomorrow. There's water inside the egg? That's true. You're right. Oh my god, I almost fell down. <clears throat> Tomorrow, 24th at... Not like a whole 24 hours. Flex for us. Nah, I'm good. I, had a, I just had a whole pizza. I can't do that for you right now. I just ate a whole pizza for you guys. I ate a whole pizza for you. Flex? That's asking too much. Does Coke expire? Good evening. Welcome to the laboratory of Jean-Paul Gasset. Here we go. Greetings, 
and welcome back. You're doing a good job. So this will be two weeks. No, no, no. Four, yeah, two weeks. Let's see. Since the game technically the started. The potfish emerged onto dry land to lay eggs. However, it expired immediately afterwards. Take good care of the hatchlings. So it's dead. As an important life was sacrificed to create them. Oh shit. That was a, we've known Allow that. Allow me to divulge today's highlights. We've known Greg since the very beginning. It is about time for the so. eggs to hatch. Pay close attention to what emerges. So let us head over to the tank. All right, so the eggs are about mm. to hatch. No more talks of the internet. Don't worry. The babies will come out and ask about emails. He was mad at you when he died. Yeah, he died with all the knowledge of my family, that's true. Why would the game have you do that if they're just gonna die in two in-game days? In two in real life days. Two in real life weeks. What's your father's birthday? We ain't gonna get to December. What do you, why do you want to know that? I lived for two weeks. Can't wait to wish your father a happy birthday in six months. Alright, they're gonna hatch. I see them moving around in there. So are they gonna come out with arms and legs or are they gonna have to go right into the water? I don't know. I already see a major issue though. There are six babies. And I only have realistically one to two larvae a day. I don't know what's going to happen here. I don't have enough food for the six mouths to feed. Let's get the light on. Alright, that's good. Slow down, slow down. No, 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 no. 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25. Stop, 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 back, back, back. No, back, back, back. Oh, that's bad. Why is it still going up? Sorry, it's not that bad. How are we doing over here? Two. About to have three moths. I have another one here. Let's put you. Two of you guys. All right, get over here. Let's store these two. There's a spider. Where's the spider? Oh, fuck. I can, like, fuck up his web, right? Thank God I caught that. You come here. What's with this one? This one's different. Kill the spider now. If I drop this spider in the tank, is it gonna kill the babies? This is going to be bad. Drop it in the water, I can't choose where it goes. It just falls. Where is it? Where did it go? Anybody see it? I heard it drop into the area. Shit. It's alright. How do I get rid of this web though? Is that the only spider in here? Yeah. How do I like kill the web? I don't think I can. I 
It's behind the rock? Alright, that's good. Nah. Nah, he's gone. He ain't here. I think he went right into the water and drowned instantly. I at least I hope. Alright, let's get this party started. Come on. You guys have got me paranoid now. You ready? Come on out. Let's go. Out, out, out. Life goes on. Oh, it's... What? Why are you alive? It was behind the rock. How do I kill it? I can't pick him up. Don't eat the fucking eggs, please. Make it run into the water? It's just running into the wall. Flick it? I can't. See, it's gonna go flick. Nope. Drag the other rock into it. That's gonna take like three years. I can't move this that far. I can't move this rock either. This rock is stuck here. How do I get rid of you? I think he's dead. No. Into the water, into the water, drown in the water. Go. No, why are you going this way? What the fuck is he doing? God damn it. Spider's gonna die in a day, but what if they're born in a day? They might be born right now. And then they are just free kills. I'm so afraid to turn this off and go switch to like an hour. Use the air. I don't have the air as an option anymore. All I have is a heater and light. I'm stressed. Yeah, you better believe I'm stressed. This is six like plus hours of in-game time. Of course I'm stressed. I don't want this to go that wrong after six straight hours. Save scum? I don't think you can in this game. That's like the whole point, right? Alright, I'm gonna... Hello! I don't know... Uh... Should I go fast forward like two, three hours? Just wait a day and hope for the best? Would you like to save and end? All right. Let's see what happens tomorrow. I have no idea what's going to happen with the spider.
Mm. Does anybody know how long it takes for actual in-game days to see the completion of the game? I'm gonna say probably 30, if I were to take a guess. Uh, was this 25? Uh, did I change? I don't even know. If, did I change this? Was it 24 or 25? 26? I don't remember. Twenty. It was 24? We're going with too many time warps into the future for me to remember. It's 25. It should be 25. Three? Okay. It was 24. It was 24. Change it to 25. It was 24. Okay. Good. Okay. Just making sure. It's all over the back of this. Chat actually needs to stop. Oh, yeah, yeah. Nice webcam. Thanks. It's the Logitech on the shelf at Walmart series. In every Good single evening. Walmart. Welcome to the laboratory of Jean Paul Gasset. Greetings, and welcome back. You're doing a good job. Let me divulge the highlights for today. It is about time for the eggs to hatch. Finally. Pay close attention to what emerges. So let us head over to the tank. You said that last time. You said <clears throat> yeah. Did they leave an audio clip in there of him clearing his throat? They didn't... They cut that wrong. <laughs> no, the audio director really kind of let that one slide through, huh? Alright, I think the spider is gone. Watch there be like 12 spiders over here on the corner. How are we doing on heat? All right, hatch already, so we can see what the hell this is all for. He heard you talk over him. Oh, that's pretty cool, then. The creator of this game wants to make a sequel. I think that now is the time to do it. Considering the technology has probably gotten so much better. Just speech recognition in general has probably, in 20 years, has gotten probably a thousand times better. You could do so much more with a game like this. There, There is a sequel? Yeah, I'm talking about like a current gen sequel. Alright, stop that. Are you guys ready yet? You're causing us all so much anxiety. It's time to get out. It's just saved right there for some reason. That usually indicates a cutscene or something. We're getting real close now. Hello? Are you gonna- are you going?
no spider, right? I don't see one. I got plenty of food stored up, though. This is great. Three moths. I need to fill the coffers of food. So did somebody say that these were poisonous? Or did they just look different? That's all. Seaman 3 is in the works. It's going to be VR. They tweeted about it. Well, I know what we're doing when that comes out. You better believe it. All right. Hatch. Hatch. What else do I need to do? The environment is perfect. Hello? Come on. Come on out. Come on out of there. Come on out of there. You can do it. I love you. You can do it. I love you. How did I get a Dreamcast? Uh, I bought one. You can get them pretty much anywhere. You can get them on Amazon. You can get them at local like, electronic stores. eBay if you really want to. Alright, I'm getting impatient. Somebody sees the spider? No, you don't. Where? No, no spider. Come out of the egg. Get out of the eggs. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. All at the same time. That was odd. All right. Hey, you. Hey. Hi there. Welcome to the world. Welcome to life. Come over here. No, I'm fine. I had some hot chocolate earlier. Let's talk. I don't want to. Anybody hungry? Hungry? No, thanks. Not hungry. Hi, guys. Welcome to the world. Can I help you? I was wondering, how is your health these days? It's okay. You feel all right, do you? Yeah, I'm okay. I thought you just said you felt great. I didn't say Look, great. Look, if you're just going to mess with me, I'll have to remember not to give a crap about you. Let's try this again. How do you feel? I feel good. You feel all right, do you? Yes. Back to the dumb well, questions. I'm glad to hear it. You know how I worry. Just came out of the egg, and you all, you're back to your father's tricks. You're a baby. Ugh, fucking throw up. Let's talk. 
So you feel pretty good, huh? Well, that's great, but how does being your mother the Virgo feel? that you are, <laughs> I bet you probably take your health for granted sometimes. Is that true? Yes. Uh-huh, I thought so. As long as I've been around, you soft little creatures, you never seem to know how good you have it. You just have to walk to a payphone. It's called Collect. Now you, you guys have got all your little fucking devices. He knows. Let's talk. Let's chat. So as I was saying before, you humans haven't always had it so easy. Picture this. Ancient Egypt, 5,000 years ago. There's no heat, no cold medicine, nothing. Okay. It's just you against the elements. Imagine if you had gotten sick then. Hey, what was are you listening to me? Yes. Oh, good. You might actually learn something then. Egypt, 5,000 years ago? Let's talk. Anyway, where was I? Oh yes, I was berating your species for taking your modern amenities for granted. For example, it's spring, but I don't see you out in the fields planting the crops. Uh, that's because... Do I need to explain how this works? What do you want? Are you hungry? Yes. Okay. Who? How? Do, okay. Well, Tell you're... me something. Have you ever seen the Egyptian pyramids? And not just on PBS. I mean, with your own eyes. Your father was obsessed with computers, and now you're just talking about Egypt. No. Hmm. I've not. I didn't think so. God forbid you should go somewhere farther away than the Starbucks on the corner. Yeah, I just, anyway, I just moved can you across the country. How much time and work it must have taken to build those pyramids? I mean, there's no way that even a whole group of you little humans could have lifted one of those rocks with your bare hands. They had to invent levers and axles and who knows what else. Now that's evolution. Uh, it, the, the Egyptian pyramids were built by, like, fucking hundreds of thousands of people that did have to do that. You don't know shit. Like, 45 million people died making those pyramids. They had to invent levers? You're not the brightest fish in the tank, are you? Can I help you? Here's another question for About you. Egypt. Do you wear glasses? Well, actually, it doesn't matter. My point is this. If you'd had bad eyes when you and your ancestors were still running around in the wild, you'd have become some lion's midnight snack pretty darn quick. And yet, right now, one of the most powerful people in the world is that four-eyed guy in Seattle. You know who I mean. How far do you think he would have gotten in a fight with a lion? <laughs> See? You humans are totally helpless without your tools. Bill Gates? Bill Gates? <laughs> Gabe Newell? I mean, you just described, like, potentially every other tech giant company CEO. Anything else? You got anything else to talk about? You're not so bad looking yourself. Are you keeping up with me, Fuzzy? Can I go on? Fuzzy? Yes. Okay, good. You might want to pull up a chair because this might take a while. What? It gets lonely in here. I have to talk to someone. Anyway, as I was saying, at some point, about five or six thousand years ago, humans finally came up with the greatest tool of all. 
You know what that was. The shovel. Oh, do you? Well, what was it then? The shovel. Oh, do you? Well, what was it then? The wheel. The wheel? Good guess, but no. The greatest tool of all is language. Without it, you wouldn't be talking to me right now. I'm not even going to ask if you're grateful. Anywho, sooner or later, language. this guy named Pythagoras came along. Pythagoras there? You know who he was, right? Yes. Well, good. I can see this conversation isn't a complete waste. So, this Pythagoras fellow came up with another important tool, and that's logic. So, after you have language and logic, you have mathematics and technology and industry and everything else, and that's how you've gotten to where you are today. With your glasses and your <laughs> cold medicine and farming machinery and cars and say, TV wait, why sets and dreamcasts and rock and roll music. He said it! And... Okay, so it's a little more complicated than that. But the point is, Bleeding? humans started out pretty helpless and created all these things to make their lives easier. Just like Whirlpool. And that's great. Whoopee for you. Just be careful not to get too dependent on all your little crutches. Well, I hope I haven't bored you to death. Okay, if plankton. I have, go take a nap or something. Go figure out the Krabby you. Patty, you fucking loser. Hey, do I grab you? Let me go, you jerk. Masher, Masher, are you crazy? Put me down. Masher, Who's the one in Masher, control here, buddy? Let me go, you jerk. What are you doing? Uh, oh, you're crushing me. Let me go, you jerk. Stop it. Power is power. You best not forget that. Any more brain busters from the fish, people? This is expensive, don't do that. Oh! Hey, you, come here. I'm okay. What do you have to say? Anything interesting? Let's talk. Is your significant other in the room right now? No. Is there anyone else in the room besides you? No. Good. I have something I want to ask you. Come closer. I don't want anyone to overhear us talking. Okay, here's what I want to know. Are you fooling around on the side? No. You're not cheating? Oh, come on. Tell me the truth. Who am I going to tell? The Rock? So come on, are you having an affair? No. Well, that's good. I wouldn't want anyone to get hurt, you know. Why do we want these things to breed? If you're a scientist in a lab, aren't you right now having an internal meeting about like we, we can't this is not what we want right now this is bad these things are gonna grow up and they're gonna they're, we're gonna they're gonna kill us they're gonna like enslave us all and we're gonna be fine it's gonna be horrible look at this shit you want these to grow up and have like cyborg laser arms and shit no way If they were big enough, we'd all be dead. At this point right now, you gotta drop like five or six packets of Kool-Aid in here. And like baking soda and like vinegar and stuff and just stir it and then leave. 
You'd be saving all of mankind. <laughs> Release the spider. Let's talk. Do they not want to eat? I'm surprised no one... Are you hungry? No? No, I don't think so. Let's talk. No, I'm all talked out for today. Okay. If they're that smart as a tadpole, think about when they're... Yeah, they're as, as intelligent as a person. If these things even got to toad status, they would have already developed a nuclear weapon. Let's go back. No spiders. So I heard of this thing called the nuke. What is that exactly? All right, so we got three now. Would you like to save and end? Let's check on them tomorrow. Nice bug collection, nerd. Have you seen what these bugs are capable of doing and saying? If you came up to my house, I go to your house, what do you have? Oh, you got the new Nintendo Entertainment System and you have the light gun? That's cool. I have intelligent uh, nuke bugs that are talking about Egyptian times and giving me all kinds of knowledge. Yo, enjoy your duck hunt. No, I didn't do it. Sorry. <laughs> the smug is rubbing off on him. To be fair, I have been sitting here for about seven hours. I've been absorbing the smug dicky fishes for about seven straight hours. So of all of you, I'm surprised you guys aren't as smug. Oh, well, actually, some of you guys are. I've seen what you've been writing. No, no, back down. 26. Ten, sixteen. Well, we're almost twenty days. We're almost at three weeks. I think that's the end of the game. Yeah. What's my mother's maiden name? Uh, Greco. Carol Greco. Just fucking kill them, please. No! I'm not just gonna kill them. Story of Jean Paul Gasset. Greetings, and welcome back. You're doing a good job. Yeah, you can have my phone number. First, here too. a recap of your previous visit. The eggs have hatched, and new creatures emerged. Due to their appearance, you get that? we will call them Tadmen. At the moment, the habitat contains six Tadmen. They are suffering from the cold. Cadmen. Please use the heater to raise the temperature to a more comfortable level. So let us head over to the tank. So they grew up. I wonder what they look like now. You have one evolutionary stage left before the end and the credits. Yeah, I'll do it tonight. We'll see the credits tonight, as long as I don't kill them accidentally somehow. Hello, it's me, Dad! 
I mean, hello. I do that off camera. It was embarrassing. I just made it lag. I actually think I may have just crashed the game. Oh, come on. That's not how this ends. Pull out. Hey. Hey. Say, is there a full moon out? Because I feel a little strange. Strange? How? It's a little chilly, don't you think? Oh, I'm so sorry. My mic's quite fuck. Now it oh, should be good. good. I'm feeling a little warmer. What's going on? What's going on? Oh, somebody's he's parasiting this one. Just remember all the good times you had. Who ate who? Oh, I think we just got our answer. So this is one of the ones that are... Uh, let's talk. Do you own another game system besides your oh. Sega Dreamcast? Yes. You own more than one game system? Yes. Wow. I hope you still find time to go outside. Who's talking? Or better yet, feed and bathe yourself. He's gonna ask me what I have. Let's talk. What's another game system you own? Nintendo 64. Ah, yes, they have been around for a long time, haven't they? Let's talk. Let's talk. Let's have a chat. Cheerio. Let's talk. Fine. You're a pain in the ass. How's that? And you'll be dead if you're not nicer to me. What's wrong, Fuzzy? Is it the same thing as last time? Yes. You poor little biped. These anxieties haunt you so. It sounds like you need to come up with your own ways to cope. Some sort of closure to your situation. Perhaps you should get out of the house a little. Take a stroll, maybe, to help you clear your mind? No. Whatever. Goodbye. These ones suck. How do I flick? Let's talk! Hey, 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 hey. Existence. Existence. Sorry, I just can't boogie right now. I didn't say dance. Existence. Sorry, I just can't boogie right now. Existence. Do you like your Sega Dreamcast? Yes. Well, that's good to know because I've been authorized to award you a check for $10,000 for saying that. My ass. Do you dream? Do you have dreams? Hmm, no. But thanks for asking. No, really. Are you a part of my dream? Well, you know, I try. Confirmed. Do you know what it's like to boil alive? Do you know what it feels like to boil? <laughs> Let's talk. Let's have a chat. 
What's all that racket? Let's talk. Talk to me. What next generation game consoles what are was you coming looking out? forward to? PS2? Sega's next console. Wow, that's all I ever hear about anymore. Be original and buy another Dreamcast. You never know when you're going to need another one. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Didn't get one of those, did we? Talk to me. This better be important. Talk to me. So what games do you like? Sports? Shooters? What? RPGs. Role-playing games? Yes. Everything's going black. <laughs> no, I was, I was talking to that one! Why would you do that? Uh, that one actually had good questions. That one had wanted to know what my favorite video games were. It wanted to know how, my, how school was going. Hopefully you absorbed all of his information, because like I want to keep talking about game cubes. Talk to me. Talk to me. Let's talk. Hey. Talk to me. Hello? You called? No, oh, okay. Let's talk. Once more with feeling, I said, So what games do you like? Sports? Shooters? What? RPG. Role-playing games? It is a hive mind. Yes. And I'll bet when they created you, they rolled an eight-sided die and you got a 27 for charisma. There. You can't say I never gave you a compliment. Is that a compliment? I don't know. Is it, is it eight sided die? That's not that means it could be eight. Talk to me. Talk to me. So, what would you say is your favorite game so far for the Sega Dreamcast? Power Stone. A fighting game, huh? I myself am a lover, not a fighter. That's probably the best one. Talk to me. Talk to me. You know, some people say that like most video game characters, I'm not real and that I don't exist. You're gonna Westworld me here? Can you believe this? It's a bit of a shock to say the least. I mean, if I don't exist, then what am I? Am I just some imaginary creature? I mean, do you think I exist? No. You don't think I'm real? That makes me sad. I see I'll have to prove it to you. You probably can't imagine the feeling. The shock of being told you don't exist. It destroys everything you hold dear. Your reality becomes shattered. All right, cook this one. But why don't I exist? I'm living, I'm breathing, and I'm thinking with my heart and soul. I tell you, I exist just him. as Come much on. as you Go do. Go drain him. Please, I need some time alone to think about this. You I'll talk to you later. are not... You are not... Re you are not real. No, leave me alone. You are part of the Rebel Alliance. You remember and the our last conversation. You know, the one where we talked about yours truly maybe not existing. Well, I've been thinking about that ever since, and I came to the conclusion that I do really exist. I am real. Here, allow me to illustrate. Okay. You've heard of John F. Kennedy, haven't you? He uh, yes. Where the okay. fuck is this going? All right. Then do you believe that John F. Kennedy existed? Yes. Okay. 
How about the Beatles then? Do you think they exist? This is getting weird. Like Jeff K, fucking John Lennon. Yes. All right. You see, you've probably never met these people, but you know they existed because they were on television and in magazines. Well, the same goes for me. I too am on TV and in magazines, and here you are even talking to me and thinking about me. So from that point of view, I exist. But what is existence? Anyway. What? Is existence just our conscious mind collectively agreeing that we all take up the same space? What is it really? Talk to me. Are you trying to break my thing that allows me to hear? Talk to me. Talk to me. Talk to me. Do you mind if I flex your brain for Oh, he's going to flex bit? on me, huh? Let Let's me go. tell you about my theory. Okay, here goes. You can't accurately measure water's temperature because the thermometer will affect the temperature of the water. You know how when you stick a thermometer in your mouth it feels cold? That means that just by trying to measure your temperature, you're lowering the temperature inside your mouth. Do you know what that <coughs> means? <coughs> if measuring something changes reality, <coughs> then there is no reality independent of observation. Nothing's real until someone measures it, observes it, sees it, hears it, or whatever. Nice try. People, places, and things exist only because you perceive them. So, when you see me and listen to me, nice try I to get exist to as a part of your consciousness. I it, become real. And because I can Could see you and ass. hear you and uh, smell you, you exist as part of my consciousness. And as I have a very limited attention span, once I forget about you, you will no longer exist. See ya. I could just snap my fingers and you would cease to exist. How's that for knowledge? One, two, three, go! Let's talk. I hope you've learned something from our little chat. Take care. Thanos every stream. Okay. He's the best Let's talk fucking about Marvel character that's ever existed. No, maybe tomorrow. Uh, behind Deadpool, of course. <laughs> it's getting to that point where I've been alive for too long. I've been going live for too long and I'm just like a stream of consciousness here. That's it for today, for tomorrow, okay. Spider! What happens if I drop, okay. Does anybody know what happens if I actually drop the spider in here while they're in there? Because I don't know. Because they, they won't eat. I can't feed them. They'll eat it and then get, they'll get sick. Oh, fucking who cares? What, what, who cares if one dies? All I need is one. Wait, another one died too. Oh, shit. The numbers are going to be kind of dropping here. How's the heat? The walkthrough only mentions the spider during the fish phase. I wonder. Dim the light a little. Make it 24. Streamer derangement. What is that clip? I'm disabling clips on my channel. I'm just gonna turn them off. 
I'm just, I don't, I, I, people just, yeah, clip things that I say. And they try to embarrass me to other friends and shit. Nope, not anymore. Need more spray in here. I thought you disliked censorship. <laughs> All right. Would you like to see tomorrow? Let's see how our children are doing tomorrow. Goodbye, screen. This game is making you go fucking insane. I'm good. But I really don't like turning off my Dreamcast and turning it back on 25 times tonight. We're close. This would be 20, that'd be 10. This is 17 days out of, I think, 21. And that's an anonymous five community subs that just came in. Anonymous five community subs, thank you so much, whoever you are. Wait, wasn't anonymous, was it? Why did it say anonymous? No, that, that, that was Ryanosaur. It said anonymous for a second. That was weird. Thank you for the five community subs, though. Appreciate it. Congrats to those who got them. I'm seeing this through. You can't read. Thanks for the great content. Hey, thanks a lot. Thanks for watching. I can't see, I can't see, I can't see, now you can. Good evening. Welcome to the laboratory of Jean-Paul Gasset. There is a definite pattern to your visits. It appears you are a punctual person. Every day at 1.33 a.m. Last time, the Tad men have developed hands. Did you see the Tad men sucking each other's blood? <laughs> it was a terrible battle for survival. I don't but know it's a necessary why. part of the development. I thought he was. Nature can be cruel. At the moment, the habitat contains four Tad men. They are suffering from the cold. Turn it up. Please use the heater to raise the temperature to a more comfortable level. So let us head over to the tank. When do I have to start feeding them? They don't seem hungry at all. What was your least favorite food as a child? Do you still love it or hate it? You, you know the reason why I keep one guying this guy? It's because he, he's putting a fish on the end of his sentence. And my, my ADHD is like, oh, cool fish! And then I read his question. That's a good tactic. Uh, my favorite food was, uh, I think, just chicken breast. Whoa, okay, they're pretty creepy looking now. Could you put the heater on for me? Yes, I will. They actually have arms. They're turning into frogs. They're going to get the nuclear oh, codes. Oh, goody. Yay! Oh, goody. Wow, that was cold. Sorry. Hey, you. Hey. Good evening. How are you? What's up? Up where? As in... How are you? Like, what's going on? What's going on? 
coming, Your Majesty. Let's talk. I'm not your trained monkey, all right? Lately, I've been thinking about the preoccupations you humans, especially Americans, have uh -oh. with media. It seems as if the subjects most of you like to talk about are not politics or philosophy, but rather movies and television. Well, 20 years ago. I'd like to know more about what your interests are in these areas. So, first off, since you are in fact human, I'm assuming you like to watch movies. Tell me, do you prefer renting them or going to the cinema? Well, one of those seamen doesn't exist anymore. So, going to the cinema. Yes, the in-theater movie experience can be extremely the exciting. Human. It's fun We're seeing going to images go to portrayed cinema. on a huge screen. In fact, that's how I see most of my world through this aquarium glass. It's like I'm watching a movie 24 hours a day. Although I can't say this is Red the Box most exciting still exist? film ever. Yeah, it's true. In fact, the plot could use a little thickening, if you know what I mean. Do you go with your girlfriend? Yes. Spending time with a loved one is always into the Spider-Verse together. Just make sure all your quality time together isn't spent. You want me to go get the stuff to prove it to you guys? Not talking to each other. I'll just I'll just black out the theater. I'll black out the name of the movie. I'll black out the credit card number, and I'll black out the intro thing. Oh, so it's just a piece of stub piece of paper with a bunch of classified. Face. Oh God damn it! He's eating him. You were not the chosen one. I'm sorry. You know, I found in this game to really be the one that lasts the longest. Just don't talk and eat your family. The ones that talk the most are the ones that get eaten. There's only two left. No, there's three. Let's go check on the bug environment here. Any bugs? All of these. I don't know why they're not eating yet. This is kind of strange. I almost have a full inventory. Good to go. No spiders. Don't see any. All right. Are you hungry? Do you want some food? <laughs> hey, go tickle yourself. I'm busy. Stop what if we just it. don't stop doing this? <laughs> I said stop it. <laughs> stop it. <laughs> I said stop it. <laughs> can you like can they die? Are you hungry? Are you hungry? No, this is my happy face. Do you want some food? Do you want some food? Oh, you humans and your slang. It's so cute. Talk to me. Talk to me. I'm fascinated that not only are there so many movie lovers, but there are so many completely different types of movies. Which type do you like? Horror films? Westerns? What? Horror. You like a good scare, huh? Yeah. It boggles my mind that people will pay money to have the crap scared out of them. An experience most people hate in real life. Oh well, I know how it is to be scared. I'm constantly having nightmares about a large hideous creature that is constantly looming over my tank and... Oh. Wait a minute, that's just you. I mean, you should be scared about one of your silent, mute family members that are going to stick their antenna into your body and drain all of your fluid. You shouldn't be scared of me. Talk to me. This better be important. Let's have a chat. 
Let's talk. So, what would you say is your all-time favorite movie? Casablanca. Hmm. I've never seen that movie. Oh, you've never seen that better, movie? Somewhere. Come on. Fine, I'll give you a better one. I've actually never even seen Casablanca for this back to finish. Talk to me. Well, we were talking about movies, but the biggest influence on your culture has got to be television. A lot of people these days own two, three, or more. Tell me, how many hours per week would you say you spend watching TV? 30? No, no, that's way too much. Six. You only watch a little bit? Is that right? Yes. That's pretty impressive watch, considering like, just how much to 40 TV minutes a day there TV. is to watch these days. It's Netflix hard to is avoid just, it. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm, I'm counting that. I'd probably say like maybe an hour a day. Maybe like two or three episodes of something a day. Maybe an episode or two of something. Maybe every other day. Talk to me. I'm not your trained monkey, all right? Let's talk. Let's talk. Blah, blah, blah. I'll catch you Happy. out of midair next time you do that. How are you feeling? Hello. How are you feeling? So when you do what? Oh, I can't feel my face. Uh, this one underneath has not said one word. It's just been slowly just playing the Battle Royale game. Just sitting somewhere sniping people. Doesn't talk, doesn't get angry, doesn't yell at anybody. It just gets rid of everybody. This is like the silent tryhard that's in the server. Hello? Yeah, hello. Whatever. Let's see if we can get it to talk. Let's talk. That's very nice of you. Talk to me. I have nothing to say. I would like to name you. I would like to name you. Let's talk. Let's talk. Let me start over. I said, so when you do watch TV, what type of shows are your favorites? Sitcoms, cartoons, what? Cartoons. You're a cartoon junkie, huh? Yep. Hey, take those marbles out of your mouth and try answering the question again. What type of TV shows do you like? Cartoons. You're a cartoon junkie, huh? Yes. They're wonderful because they don't have the limits anime. of live characters and scenes. Literally anything Not can anime. happen, and that's exciting. SpongeBob. I got really pissed off at uh, Prime the other day. Because I saw that Prime had... 12 or 15 seasons of Spongebob and I was like, oh, this is awesome! But it's uh, actually only the first, like, two seasons. And I got to the end of the third season and the second season and I saw that you had to pay for it and I was just like, yeah, it's fuck off. You know what I mean? Coming, your majesty. Well, thanks for telling me a little about your TV habits. This little box seems to have grabbed a hold of people's minds so inextricably, but you don't really seem to be the typical specimen. Maybe you prefer to get your experience live and not through a glass screen. Those are the best seasons? Yeah, I know. I think that's I worthy of some them. praise, don't you? Just don't get a big head about it. Okay. What do you need? 
help. Help me. No, I don't need anything. I do. You need to teach me. Talk to me. Whoa. Keep it down. Talk to me. So I'm going to go out on a limb here and assume you like music. It's another medium you humans are fascinated with. Not really. Well, what kind of music do you listen to? Rock, hip-hop, what? Uh, video, video game soundtracks. You like the funk, huh? No. Let's try that again. No, I exclusively what listen to music anime listen intros to? and outros. On repeat. None. You like pop, huh? No. Let's try that again. What type of music do you listen to? Listen, I like to go to the same anime intro that I've seen 400 times and replay the same 30 to 40 second section 50 or you 60 times do. in a row I need until I am answer. satisfied. So are you up to answering my question now? What I wanted to know was... So I'm going to go out on a limb here and assume you like music. It's another medium you humans are fascinated with. Well, what kind of music do you listen to? Rock, hip-hop, what? Classical. You prefer classical, do you? Yes. Yes, it's truly the music of the human spirit. Mm -hmm. Such fire, such passion. Or am I talking about sailors again? Oh well. Anything else? Coming, your majesty. So who's gonna eat who, I wonder? Talk to me. Let's talk some more. Now I want to ask you about the most important medium of all, the printed word. Books. Tell me, do you enjoy reading? Yes. You like to, I'm huh? I'm lying. That's a lie. Yes. That's great. Reading is the greatest of all forms of entertainment. That's not true. Because it allows you to use your imagination. You're not bound to someone else's version of what a character or scene looks like. I can't feel my face. No, not yet. How's the heat going? I thought you read 15 books at the end of the year, so you say you read one every other month. Oops. It's too hot. No, it's too hot now. Anybody else feeling kind of warm? I don't know. You ate the other two people that are near you, so... It's kind of a fucked up question. Talk to me. Talk to me. Let's talk. What's my favorite breakfast food? S'mores Pop-Tarts. Let's talk. Talk to me. Wow, I was boiling. <laughs> make a puke, make a puke! <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk. Chat with me. See ya. Let's chat. Tell me, how many books have you read in the past year? Fifteen. Wow, that's very impressive. I am proud to have you as my caregiver. What kind of books do you like? Old lady romance novels. Well, I've never read any of that, but I'm glad you're reading. Well, I feel like I know a little more about how you keep yourself entertained. Old lady romance novels. There is so much the same being produced cover. out there for your perusal. 
It's movies, blue. Movies, books, TV, It's a blue cover music. with some red trim. If your full-time job was being entertained, and it's entertained, inside of a living room, probably still wouldn't be able it's to take it all in. With like a Nor flower and a want vase. To, I guess because there's there a lot is. of garbage okay. out there too. But as far as I know, human beings are the only animal smart enough to entertain itself in a complex way. So I say, take advantage of as much of it as no, you can. No, there's no shirtless people in the front. It's a coffee Even table in the living room. Even if you're just staring at a, a nice vase on the table. bonbons for an hour. And like a couch sort of in frame. And by the way, each page is written by another person. You know why they can have five to six hundred books published by the same group? Because how you write an old lady romance novel is if it's 225 pages, you get 225 people outsource and commission them all to write one page. And they just follow the same outline. So what happens is the, the first person writes the first page, that goes to the second person, they then continue it. That then goes to the third page, again. eventually you get to like 150 pages, it goes to the 151st person, and then they write a page. With, you know, outlines and shit. Well, fucking hundreds of people write those books. Yeah, R.L. Stein? R.L. Stein's not even a real guy. Fun? Why, of course I'm having fun. How could I be trapped in a glass box and not have fun? Let's talk. Let's talk. Well, I think that pretty much covers it. Yeah, Shakespeare isn't really good. That was like 30 people. But what they did is they just, like, they just screamed lines out there. They lived in the same apartment complex. So you'd have Shakespeare, you know, they, it was, it, it's all like the first and last, uh, the first letter of their first name, last letter of their last name. So it was like Sean, like Harrison, uh, like Andrew, Kennedy, right? It was it was like eight people. Talk to me. And they just yelled shit out yes. there apartment windows to each other. You know, it struck me that I've been around you for quite some time now, participating in your daily routines. However, I'm not quite sure exactly where we are. Said, resident sleeper. I'm improv guessing we are comedian. somewhere in America, but the details are fuzzy. Like you, fuzzy. Anywho, I was wondering if you'd be so kind as to tell me which state we're residing in currently. Nevada. We live in the Silver State? Yes. That's a great nickname, but I'm assuming they don't exactly hand it out as you cross the state lines. Anyway, what big city are we nearest to? Las Vegas. Las Vegas. A monument to money and decadence. It's truly my kind of city. So, Mind do you gamble? Yes. I guess even if you live close by, the lure of possible instant riches is always strong. But not very much. No. Leave me alone. Only enough to have fun and never more than uh, that would seem be ridiculous. Always moderate yourself and don't you go in there and just try to have fun with a little bit of a little bit of money. You don't blow all your money. It's bad. Have a couple drinks. Maybe play like a few hands of blackjack. Maybe spin the roulette uh, once and maybe like a like somewhere like a like minimum bet on a machine and then you go home. And then before you go home, before the lift gets there, you cancel the lift and you turn back and you go to the ATM. Four times. No, leave me alone. I'm just fucking kidding. Relax. Be seeing you. Let's talk. Let's talk. I must tell you that your country truly fascinates me. Here at the beginning of a new millennium, the most visible signs of change for America is that it continues to get stronger and more influential in the world. Yet for a country with so much influence, it's made up of so many disparate parts. 
You Westerners seem to live a life that's very different from the rest of the country. You're a Westerner Yet too. somehow everyone fits together. Colonial reachings have even brought places like Alaska and Hawaii into the fold. What will your future be like? Will there be 55 states in a hundred years? No. Will there be no states at all? You're, you live here. These are the things I think about. And I'm sure you have too. All right, let's heat it up. Let's have a day go by. What does this guy think he is? Some kind of fucking improv comedian? You know what I mean? Like, snoo. I almost just hurt myself with the cord. No spiders? We are Would you like so to close. Even it's almost time for the credits. They're gonna evolve one more time and then we're gonna get to see what they do. Are you mentally stable? Well, the thing is, if you weren't here about seven and a half hours ago, um, let me get to the right page. Of course I am. I had to do mental preparation before the stream started. So. Yeah. There's a spider in my Dreamcast. I might as well stop the Dreamcast then. Thanks for reading me. You're welcome. All right, 27, 28, three more days. And we can put the, uh, the book on this one forever. Until C-Man Free comes up. Read this message, I'm a subscriber. I got you, see? Get a draft get a Japanese Dreamcast and play the second one? No. That would be a very expensive. That would be like two hundred bucks. Just to play Seaman 2. Wouldn't Good it? evening. Or a Japanese Welcome PlayStation 2. Laboratory. I don't have a, I have a region Paul locked PS2. It seems that visiting around this time has become a habit for you. Am I going to play Devil May Cry 5? First, Probably. a recap of your previous visit. Probably the Chad men have developed legs. At the moment, the habitat contains two Chad men. They are suffering from the cold. Please use the heater to raise the temperature to a more get comfortable one level. Get for cheaper? So let yeah. us head over to the tank. Two wait, there was a third one? The third one got eaten already? No, there was two. They were two there when we left, I think. The stream is still going? Yeah, we're gonna see the end. If you gotta go, you gotta go. But I, I wanna see the uh how this plays out. It's cold, isn't it? You going oh, really goody. late for the East Coast? Yeah, and you, I know. It is late. It is late. Right, slow that down. I just got to work in the EU. Holy shit, what time is it in EU? 7 a.m.? 8 a.m.? 
You got work tomorrow and it's 1 a.m., but fuck it. I mean, take care of yourself. Make sure you don't cause yourself any problems, you know? Anybody see a spider? I do. He was right about to eat that egg, too. Okay. Let's continue. Hello. How are you? Hey. Yeah? What are you... What's up? How are you today? Hi there. Do you have any questions? Any questions? Any questions? Look, I'm very busy. Can't this wait? Talk to me. Well, I found out a little about you based on where we live. Now I'm curious if you've learned anything about your fellow humans based on where they live. Okay. Tell me, have you ever traveled abroad? Does Canada count? Does Canada count? No. You know the expression about walking a mile in someone's shoes? Well, walking a mile in their country is the next best thing. What was that for? Oh, you have walking no idea mile in how much country. you don't know about a person until you find it's out like about their home. Accent. Humans always seem to play it too safe. They stay in their own little world instead of realizing that the world belongs to those that live in it. And if you don't travel it and learn about it, you're not really living in it, you see. Besides, nothing gets your love muffin in the mood for a more quite like an exotic trip. Sure. Sure. This better be good. Talk to me. Let's talk. I have another point to make regarding travel and culture. Shall I share it with you? Yes. Okay, then. a lot of just exposition Whether or not you've traveled game. abroad, you're part of an ever-shrinking world. Sure, you know that. There's even a song about it being a small world after all, but never in history has it become so important to be familiar with and tolerant of other peoples and their cultures. You and your descendants will be forced to deal more and more with people from all over the world. Think of the effect that will have. Cultures will become further mixed. You already see that in small ways, like your pop music with musical styles being combined, in your food with fusion cuisine. It's a natural result of the world's economy becoming mixed, the prevalence of the internet, cheaper, faster travel, the end result will more likely be that there may be no more countries to speak of in the future. The world will be more of a cohesive unit, just as it happened in the United States and is already happening in Europe. That, to me, is very exciting. Exciting. Okay. <laughs> globalists. I'm a gentleman out of the globalists, let me show you something. There's gonna be a post post human post human apocalypse. I'm telling you, post human. I saw that podcast. What's gonna happen is the sea man are gonna come up here, and they're that's where I got little. No, no, listen to me. The sea man are gonna come up, and they are gonna totally just a absolutely wipe us out. And they're the globalists. They're gonna take over with the sea man, and then you know, it's, it goes real high. It goes real high, Joe. Talk to me. Well, until next time. Bye. No, talk to me. I want to hear more. I want to hear more. I'm thinking. <laughs> roll, roll credits. Hello? Yes? Talk to me. Talk to me. 
Fine, I'll go talk to your brother. Talk to me. Let's talk. Okay, let's talk about... No, maybe tomorrow. Tadpole dropping truth bombs. <laughs> Fine, we'll talk tomorrow. Not very much time left. Tadpole politics. <laughs> no, guys. Imp imp wait, impressions are not politics. They're audio representations of what somebody sounds like. Okay? Just remember that. Would you like to... St Everything, uh... Clean? Yeah? Tadpole. Politics Andy? Did you, I just get called Politics Andy? I didn't do anything! I gotta fix this hair. It looks bad after eight hours. Politics Andy? I said like one sentence. <laughs> Forehead window. What the fuck does that mean? I'm looking that up right now. Three days ago, a teacher told the student to wash off Ash Wednesday on uh, on forehead. What are you talking? What the fuck are you talking about? Why do you keep saying this? That's all I could see on like a, like a Google result. Forehead window. That's what I typed in. Get bangs? You want to see how fucking bad I look with bangs? Like, <laughs> hey, hey, Scoob! How much have you ever lost on a coin toss? Could you step outside for me, sir? Could you step outside for me, sir?
<laughs> peasant hair. That, okay, that's good. That's really good peasant hair. <laughs> it really is. This really is peasant hair. Oh, my father and farm up sight here. Did they? How did the? How did the farmer? No, how did the peasant talk? Uh, yes, my lord. Yes, right away. Yes, right away, my lord. You go shovel that shit in the farmhouse. Yes, right away. Right away, right away, me lord. God fucking damn it. That peasant hair. I'm shaving it all off, it's all gonna be gone tomorrow. Witcher 3 peasant NPC. Now it's all fucked up. No, I... Hey, that's better. <laughs> no, it's not. Fucking peasant here. I'm gonna look in the mirror every day and just think of a guy with like a pitchfork, with like a, a beige vest. Would you? I had to do the stupid fucking thing. Where I parted in the middle and did the No Country for Old Men impression. Which sucked on its own. That was bad. Fuck the goddamn face cam. It, now I'm never using it again. Would you Actually, completely bald. No, I can't do completely bald, guys. I'll look like a fucking goddamn random British henchman that gets punched in the face first in every Liam Neeson movie. I'm not doing it. Throw it out and braid it? No, I can't do that shit. <laughs> Just buzz it. This link. This link. That looks fucking terrible. That was real bad. No, I'd rather get a toothpaste staple to my head than look than have that look. I my I got too I got too rocky of a face for a bald head. I would rather you use horse glue. And it. Just smear it on there and just let it stay. 329, two more days! Let's go. Show a screen? Just wait. The longer that I, I get, I lose concentration, the more like terrible, fucking ugly impressions you get. I don't want that. You don't want that. We both don't want that. I do. <laughs> Is this a new shirt? No, I've had this for a while. Good evening. 
Welcome to the laboratory of Jean-Paul Gasset. Greetings, and welcome back. You're doing a good job. Two more days, and that's it. At the moment, the habitat contains two... Yeah, it's gone. ...cadmen. I don't want to drink more than one Coke a day. They are suffering from the cold. I drink like a Coke maybe Please every couple use days. The I don't want to, to drink raise the temperature to a more day. comfortable level. So let us head over to the tank. I love how you're on a PST schedule. I appreciate seeing more of you every night. His streams have definitely been longer. You're looking extra bald today. I will 1v1 you in auto chess and just show you up. And I ain't even ever played it. Have they grown? Not really. Hey! Oh, goody. God, they're so ugly. All of all three of us, or just them two? You gotta clarify that. After all this bullshit that lasts like 20 minutes. Oh, goody. It's about time. Thanks, I believe I'm beginning to th Oh, jeez, see what happens when you put a... I want, what secrets of the universe are we going to get after completing this, finally? What was that? Oh, two hatchlings. I'll take them. Uh, I'll take you, please. Hello? Oh, why did the face is just so fucked up? They lift their heads up and they just look so terrifying. Okay. Coming out on land now. They can come out on land. That's new. Talk to me. Let's get some more info. Hi. Let's talk. Hello. Are you listening? It's good to see you again. You can like dead space two on me here. Hello. Hello. Let's talk. Hey, I have something I want to talk to you about. Okay. You know, I'm really getting the impression that you people are busy all the time. Maybe it's just here in America, which is such a business-obsessed culture. It seems like everyone is always complaining about not having any spare time, but when they get some, they don't know what to do with it because they're so used to being busy. Okay. It's strange that knowing how to relax appears to have become a skill you humans have to learn. You seem to know how to relax, if you're talking to me. But I want to know what else you do in your spare time. For example, what do you do when you're with your friends? The same thing. Play video games. When I ask you something, I expect an answer. I don't have drugs, you know, my friend. Let us revisit my last inquiry to you. That is, if you can cooperate this time. <clears throat> Kill For example, the globalist what frog. What do you do when you're with your friends? You play video games. Hold on, I've got the worst gas. Give me a second. 
What? Hello? Is he alright? Are you okay? Are you okay? Hello? Yeah. Hello. Are you Whatever. okay? Let me repeat the question. I said... Take a while. Hey, I have something I want to talk to you about. You know, I'm really getting the impression that you people are busy all the time. Maybe it's good? just here in America, which is such a business-obsessed culture. It seems like everyone is always complaining about not having any spare time, but when they get some, they don't know what to do with it because they're so used to being busy. It's strange that knowing how to relax appears to have become a skill you humans have to learn. You seem to know how to relax, if you're talking to me. But I want to know what else you do in your spare time. For example, what do you do when you're with your friends? Play video games. <clears throat> like to toss a few back with friends, huh? Yeah. I guess I don't really understand why you humans are so interested in destroying your precious brain cells. Just out of curiosity, do, do, why do. do you like to drink? Because it's fun. I see. Then the fun starts during the prolonged vomiting into a garbage can. You're implying that I drank, or drink, like 15 beers when I drink. No, you drink a few drinks, you have some fun conversation, maybe you do something fun, and that's it. Why would you say, if, okay, yeah, I think it, I, I like to drink, I like to go out and have a few drinks with friends, it's fun. You're puking. Where did you get the... I don't know where you got that from. Talk to me. So, I think I have an idea of what activities you and your friends do in your time together. Do you see a lot of them, by the way? Oh, uh, not anymore. Since moving. I'm going to say yes, though. Yes. So I see... Well, cool. that's good. I wouldn't want my little biped to get lonely. Talk to me. You know what I've noticed? People love to talk. Oh, sure, there are quiet so ones every once in a while, but frogs. usually if you ask a person the right questions, they can go on for hours. I mean, why else would you have me around if you didn't like a good conversation every once in a while? I think that's also what makes a good friend. If they're willing to listen to you spout off about something, you just have to make sure you let them talk once in a while too so you don't bore them to death. But I was wondering, what kinds of things do you and your friends talk about? TV? Speaking I don't of know. I don't know. Uh, anything. What's yours? It could be anything. Okay. I don't know what me and my friends I've talk about. I've been waiting it's patiently like one topic for you to think discuss. about my last question. Can you give me the answer, please? Nobody just talks about one topic. You've forgotten, haven't you? Okay. Then again. But I was wondering, what kinds of things do you and your friends talk about? Food. Oh, you movie buffs. That's great that you can share a common interest like Talk that, though. Movie buffs are a lot like literary buffs. They like to pick apart the things they love and get as much out of them as possible. The only drawback is it might be harder to appreciate these things it's once you start dissecting them. I'm sure you know all about that, though. I okay. say you can never really get bored if you have someone around who you can talk to. Are you going to lop off Sometimes your brother's head and drink out of it like a glass Sometimes it's more fun to just sit around and talk than it is to actually go do something. 
It all depends on the person, though. Talk to me. Say, I know you spend time socializing with your friends a lot, but you have to have some time left over to spend with your sweetheart, right? It's good to be in a relationship that's a friendship also. You can kill two Close birds with one in the stone. Back left there. Besides, I don't know why you'd want to be with someone who bores the pants off you. So what do you and your girlfriend like to do together? You know what? Seaman doesn't want to know this. Just keep it to yourself. Well, I'm sure you and your sweetie care about each other. But if you don't mind me saying so, I think you may have worked yourself into some kind of rut. Maybe you should think about getting out more. Exploring your world, that sort of thing. I didn't say anything. Who knows? Maybe you don't need anything except said, each other. Go jogging. Nah, get out and do something before you drive each other crazy. Why are you playing facade? This is the original facade. Alright, how's the tank? One of them's dying. Question is who? Why am I so slow to respond? What what do you what do you mean slow to respond? What are you guys doing? What are you guys doing? Yes. What are you two doing? You know what the really great thing about friends is? And movies. Spending and time TV with them shows. makes you really appreciate the time you spend by yourself. And books. I mean, you probably get tired of your friends sometimes, don't you? What do you like to do when you're by yourself? Sleep. Wow. You sound like you're a thrill a minute. It's good that you don't mind being by yourself. It seems like a lot of people can't stand it because then they actually have to think. I see you don't have that problem. What is this guy doing right now? This one's freaking me out. You guys are just too close. Move out of the way. Alright. How are we doing over here? We look alright. Got a couple more eggs. Another day. Would you like to see... What's the goal of this game? To raise a uh, tadpole into a frog who eventually implants chips into all humans' brains and forces them to build the pyramids. Well, those are the new pyramids. That's all, they're, uh, that's all they care about. Days exactly almost three weeks. This is a lot of passive aggressive mannerisms to deal with in one night.
That's the designer's face in the game. That's actually... That's really funny. Good evening. Welcome to the laboratory of Jean-Paul Gasset. Any changes, Leonard? Greetings, and welcome back. You're doing a good job. Let's see. Last time, the Tadmen are now closer in appearance to frogs rather than tadpoles. Mm -hmm. Let us then call them frogmen. Frogmen. That's actually awesome. Frogmen. At the moment, the habitat contains... Two frogmen. Two frogmen. They are suffering from the cold. Please use the heater to raise the temperature to a more comfortable so level. So what, um... So let us head over to the tank. What's the final evolution, then? Hmm. Do they go from frogmen to lizards? What do they go into? Birds? They don't turn into humans. No, they don't. They turn into birds. Tadpole, frog, eagle. Turn up the heat. Oh, goody. I'm feeling a little peckish. I don't have to eat. Could you feed me? Now they want to eat. Okay, I got plenty of food. I, get, I actually have food for the next at least 10 days. So this will be good. You eat this shit, right? What if they didn't eat these anymore? Someone over here wants to eat. And there you go. Go get it. Hello? Food? Do they don't they don't eat these? I'd offer you some, but that would mean less for me. They eat the moths. No, they don't. He's going over there right now. Okay. Mm mm good. Dude, he's still, that was a Campbell's soup reference. I think I need some food. Yeah, so instead of one bite, they take a whole thing. Now. So. Hello. Hello. Are you listening? I am. How are you? Let's talk. Have any questions? Bone Jewel. Talk to me. One thing I find really interesting about people is how very chameleon-like many of you can be. For example, when a person is talking to their closest friends as opposed to their employer, their entire persona will often change. Of course, it really depends on the person. You don't want to get fired. I mean, you seem to do different things around people than when you're by yourself, and that leads me to ask you, depending on who you're with, do you think your personality changes a lot, a little, or not at all? A little. A little. I I'm think that's my pretty mother common. And father. People what adapt to the situations around them. I'm not going to say the F word. Often, the way you act around your grocery store clerk won't necessitate gonna... quite as much ass-kissing as when you're around people you owe money to. The things you do with different people and when you're alone reflect your personality changes, I think. I mean, it seems like there's a lot of things going on with you. No wonder you act differently around different people. It seems like you're doing lots of different things around them, too. 
Well, I think I know you well enough to tell you that even I act differently depending on who I'm with, and it makes sense. Talking about this. Everyone has different expectations of everyone else, and nobody expects me to pick my nose around them. Yes, that is my private moment. Five. Don't tell anyone. Brothers and sisters. Hey, thanks for the food. It gets really tough for us when the air gets too dry. There should be a sprinkler that Gasset built somewhere around here. Hey, sprinkler. can you use the D-pad to look for it? Come on, use the D-pad and find the sprinkler. I'm using the D-pad. What do you mean? It's the sprinkler. Hey, I'm trying to sleep in here. There. That better. Put the light out or I'll put yours out. Jesus fucking okay. Oh my god. Talk to me. Let's talk. That's my name. Don't wear it out. What is this? What's what? I don't even know what the name is. Greg? Hey, Greg. Greg. Coming, your majesty. That's a terrifying image. Let's talk. Talk to me. It's really not a difficult question. I said, one thing I find really interesting about people is how very chameleon-like many of you can be. For example, when a person is talking to their closest friends, as opposed to their employer, their entire persona will often change. Of course, it really depends on the person. I mean, you seem to do different things around people than when you're by yourself. Did you know you were in the same room standing five feet away from your brother that asked the same Depending on who you're with, do you think your personality changes a lot, a little, or not at all? A little. I think that's pretty common. People adapt to the situations around them. Often, the way you act around your grocery store clerk won't necessitate quite as much ass-kissing as when you're around people you owe money to. The things you do with different people Sitting and when you're alone general. reflect your personality changes, I think. I mean, it seems like there's a lot of things going on with you. No wonder you act differently around different people. It seems like you're doing lots of different things around them, too. Well, I think I know you well enough to tell you that even I pizza. act differently depending on who I'm with, and no, it I'm makes sense. Get another one. Everyone has different expectations of everyone else, and nobody expects me to pick my nose around them. Yes, that is my private moment. Don't tell anyone, please. Anyway, I'm going to go think about things for a while. It was nice talking with you. Bye. Bye. Hey, bye. Why don't you go do something more intellectually stimulating, like eat paint chips? He's, you, you're dead. Don't worry. Talk to me. Talk to me. Hey, Greg. What do you need? Talk to me. I see you out there moving from place to place, and sometimes I am envious of your freedom. There are so many things you can do. I can imagine what it must be like to be so free. It's weird how familiar it seems. You must get a lot of exercise running around as you do. So with all that moving about, do you think you're in pretty good shape? No. You think you're in pretty bad shape, is that right? Yeah. Hmm, I thought you really liked your body. Maybe you've just really let yourself go recently, or maybe you just like your body despite being out of shape. I mean, it's not like round is necessarily a bad shape. No, that's not what I mean. You know, circles are round and... They're great. You know what else is wrong? It's hard to say whether or not someone your is in good shape. Gross stomach it and chest. It seems like your TV and magazines tell you what it means to be fit. Roundest motherfucker in the room. That idea of fitness can be pretty unrealistic. 
On the other hand, it's pretty safe to say that a little physical activity will make you fitter than just sitting around on your butt and eating potato chips. You don't seem really satisfied with your level of fitness. I don't even like potato chips. Talk to me. Anything else? Talk to me. What's up? Are we good with this? It seems strange to me that with all the wonderful things you can do with your bodies, there are still people out there who are out of shape. People actually have to make time in their day just to exercise. People busy. And when they do, they do strange, useless motions over and over that serve no purpose except to move their muscles. It seems like such a shame that your world doesn't naturally allow for more physical activity. You think you're in pretty bad shape, huh? Well, what are you doing to get in better shape? Nothing. Nothing? Really? Yeah. So I guess you must not really care what kind of shape you're in. Not really. Well, friend, you seem to be a classic case of cause and effect. No exercise, no fitness. Who knows? Maybe you have a perfect body and are just completely delusional, but something tells me that if you exercised a little, you might feel better about yourself. I Where's guess that? I'll have to keep asking you questions and see what else I can find out about you. Hmm, number one? No, no, it's definitely number two. All right, time for the final day. Good night. Oh, geez, see what happens when you... <laughs> Just roast this smug asshole? I need to f see the final thing. We're almost at one of the last, this is either the last day. There's apparently only, somebody said there's two question sets left and that's it. What you need to know, I'm, 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 I'm going to be the only person who's ever beaten C-Man on stream. On original console, no save stating, no fast forwards, no, no. Only person on Twitch to have beat it with real original hardware on stream. I got original shit here. Oh, that's right. Would you like to save and end the session? You know what I mean, though. No, uh, this is fast. This doesn't. This is fast forwarding, but that's, you know what I mean. Goddamn person on this, this whole site. The only fucking person on this site that probably owns one of these. I might be the only person on the internet that still has one. Do you have one? You got one of these? With original microphone? That was probably up somebody's ass? By the way, isn't this supposed to have like a thing up here there's supposed to be a little puffball good evening welcome to the laboratory of Jean-Paul Gasset greetings and welcome back three weeks you're doing a good job very well ah you can now use the sprinkler frogman is sensitive to dryness 
so you must use the sprinkler frequently. Is this for PS4? It is not. This is only for Dreamcast. At the moment, the habitat contains two frogmen. They are suffering from the cold. Please use the heater to raise the temperature to a more comfortable level. So let us head over to the tank. Yeah, I'm missing the puffball. I'm so ashamed that I put this thing in my mouth and pretend up my nose. We're in the final set of questions. Somebody said three and a half K viewers at midnight PST. Yeah, that's actually kind of crazy. There's a lot of people that are still here. But you, you, you're seeing it through like I am. Hey. Thanks for sticking around. Can someone out there put on a sprinkler for me? There's not enough moisture here. I'm I need out. a little mist here. It's too dry. Ooh, how about turning up the heat? Ooh, that's so needy. Oh, give me something to eat. Oh, Turn the heat up. Nice. Give me something to eat. Mist my body. Give me something to eat. Yes, my prince. Anything for you, my prince. Hey, can you give me something to eat? Could you put the heater on for me? You know those things each take time. More than ten seconds. Could you put the heater on for me? I'm really hungry. Please feed me. I'm kind of hungry. I sure could go for a bite to eat. All right, let's get some food in here. Is that one dead? No. Oh. I command you to feed me. It's like Why? manna from heaven. You are such a little dick. Imagine being commanded to feed somebody. I command you to feed me. Hey, thanks for the food. No more items can be placed here. Why not? What? So full. Oh shit, there's a web. Oh, fuck it. Who cares? We have so much food. We have so much food and we're we're, we're done. Right? Because I, I need to bring this over, though. Why can't I pick anything up? Anything up? Why don't you go rustle me up some grub? I got it right here. Can the frog eat, uh, the frog, I think, if it eats the spider, will get sick. Food over here? Kill the spider. I can't. Well, now I can. If, if he eats, I can kill the spider. Right there. Get it. Eat that bug. Hey, you. You talking to me or you talking to him? Go eat the... What do you want? Hi. Don't you ever go out on the weekend? Hey, thanks. They want to know such mundane information. Right. That hit the spot. They've both been fed. Let's go kill the spider. They won't eat this, right? They've both eaten. They shouldn't. Yeah, we got, I got plenty of food processing here. Talk to me. Y 
Yes. Oh, what are you doing? Ugh, crunchy. Why did you eat that? It's dead. I don't care. No, wait, do they have to procreate? Why? He was- he already ate! It said if, if they eat, they're not hungry, they won't eat it, and it'll die. Oh, God. I love you. I'm Illin. I love you. Yes, I am. I love you. Ooh, I think I'm going to lose my lunch, if you know what I mean. I love you. I love you. I'm Illin. Yes, I am. <laughs> I'm really not feeling good. <laughs> uh, I love you. I love you. I'm Illin. Yes, I am. All we need is one. Talk to me. Let's talk. I can't believe you ate the fucking spider. You know, I'm really fascinated by health clubs and gyms. These huge places full of fancy equipment and open spaces where you can run around. And you have to actually pay to belong to one, when in the past you could just pick any field and run around in it to your heart's content. Or you'd get so muscular and fit from all the manual labor you'd have to do that you wouldn't need a special place and time just to exercise. But is it possible but that I guess the reason the world why he wants to know all this shit you know and has all these questions is because the so tank is facing me, a TV that is do on you belong to a health CNN. club? That has to be what's going on. No. So even though you know you could be more fit, you don't want to take the plunge and join a gym? It might help, although I guess I can see your hesitation. They offer a lot of different activities in one convenient place, but I just can't help but think a human being might want to do something more natural, like play a sport or even jog outside like than to go be in the cooped cages. up in a stinky gymnasium with a bunch of machines. Yeah, I like to go to the, I like to hit the balls in the cages. That's how I like to work out nowadays when I haven't done it in about a year. But, you know, that's what I used to like to do. Let's talk. It seems like there are a lot of different things to keep in mind when you're trying to stay in shape. Exercising is one of them, but eating right is also very important, especially where you live. There's no shortage of food here, well, for most people, and it's very easy to eat too much of the wrong thing, it seems. No wonder so many people have problems with their weight. Would you say that for the most part you eat a pretty healthy diet? Yes. You do eat healthy? Yes. You must really chow down on the vegetables then. What's your favorite one? Uh, probably carrots. Carrots. Carrots, huh? Good as a vegetable. Even better as a snowman's nose. So versatile. No, today is not, okay, yeah, it's I a shame a whole pizza that the and things and that are Coke good for you don't that's... usually taste as good as the bad ones. And you know what? The junk food marketers know it. So my advice is beat the system. Eat a pound of broccoli. I was pressed for time, and I had to do it. I was, I was pressed for time. Drinking a fucking coke and eating a whole pizza. I, I ain't very healthy. Let's talk. Is he dead yet? Oh, he's getting so red. Oh, God. This is actually really sad. I love you. I love you. I love you. I'm... Illin. Yes, I am. Get well soon. Ooh, I think I'm going to lose my lunch, if you know what I mean. Get well soon. 
I love you. I'm Ilin. Yes, I am. Feel better. Feel better. I am not. I love you. Oh, I really don't feel very well. I love you. I'm Ilin. We've done it enough time. Yes, I am. Let's talk. I feel sick. Let's talk. End this and go to bed? No, I, I can't get this far. Eight and a half hours into a stream and not see the end of this. Let's talk. Greg. Cheerio. Talk to me. Talk to me. You know, I've never been to a place that's as diet-obsessed as America. It seems like nobody wants to stay healthy the hard way, to actually exercise and eat right. Instead, people are always looking for a quick and easy way to lose a bunch of weight, as if they're just automatically going to stay healthy after the diet is over. Right. It looks like you take pretty regular care of yourself anyway, but... Have you ever been on a diet? Wait, hold on, that's... Got, no. Not in that context. Maybe that's for the best. It looks so, like, like you're already trying to issues, straighten yeah. out your health without not, resorting to lose not weight to lose quick weight. schemes. No. Talk to me. I was thinking earlier about how interested your culture is in sports. I would say even obsessed Do you sometimes. Like baseball, football, it can soccer, really get out of hand, one? but now that we're Hockey. talking about health and staying fit, it almost doesn't seem like such a bad thing. That is, if you're actually playing a sport and not sitting in front of a TV and watching someone else play it. Pats, go Tell Pats, me, Super Bowl What's too? your favorite sport to play? Tom Brady. Baseball. You play baseball? Yes. I bet you just like wearing those tight little pants. Fucking I think I understand why people want to play sports. It must be fun to see what you can make your body do if you just try a little. And you also get to hang out with other people and test your skills against theirs. I guess I still think some people can get too interested in sports, especially if it interferes with the mental stimulation they get. As with most things, balance is the key. A, what, what are you guys saying? There's a fly in your room flying around your face? What are you talking about? Oh, fuck. Hold on. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. Pretend you didn't just... Did, 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 did you hope, did somebody just join the stream. Here. Remember, watch out, there's a fly. I don't see a fly. What are you talking about? Here it comes. Fucking whatever. Talk to me. Talk to me. Talk to me. Let's talk. Let's talk. What do you mean, here it comes? What is he doing? Here it comes. Did you just throw shit at me? He just threw shit at my screen! Get well soon. Oh, I really don't feel very well. Get well soon. I'm Ilin. Yes, I am. Let's talk. Oh, I really don't feel very well. No, not hitting you. Greg, let's talk. Fine. You're a pain in the ass. How's that? Wow, now that's dark. Can you turn the light on?
Hey, turn on the light. Ah, it's too bright. Talk to me. I was thinking earlier about sports and how popular they are here. As I was saying, it would be really great for the collective health of the country if everyone played sports, but it doesn't do so much for you to just sit and watch them. I want to find out about this fascination with watching other people play sports, being a spectator. Do you follow any professional sports? League of Legends. Well, you're a rare specimen. You play sports, but you don't follow the pros. It's definitely the healthier way to go. Anyhow, thanks for playing. Cloud Nine will win again. Talk to me. Talk to me. Talk to me. I've been asking you a lot about your health, and it seems that working out and eating right are two big components of it all. This game is louder than your voice. Plenty of oh, it's because I am like leaning back two like of this my favorite and things. talking into this microphone. But it and not seems this one. that your human body is still so delicate. All the working out and dieting in the world can't make sure that something won't just go wrong anyway. That's where your physicians come in. Doctor Do stuff. you go to the doctor regularly? Literally was there, like, fucking very, very recently. Yes. That's to your benefit. Besides, it's another excuse to get naked. My, I am behaving saucily today, aren't I? Human beings are very lucky to have figured out how to heal themselves when they get sick. No other creature can how, do that. How do I punch somebody else's it's comment? It's easy to take all your medical knowledge for granted, but think about it. If you were living even several hundred years ago, you'd still be putting leeches on yourself whenever you got a cold. Sure. Not that leeches are such a bad thing, but they're not exactly what I would call good medicine. Anyway, I'm glad to know that if something goes wrong with you, there's somebody that can help you out. <laughs> your, your brother is over there suffering. <laughs> I don't know what to do about him. Talk to me. Talk to me. Like I was saying earlier, it's important to go to the doctor every once in a while, but it seems like it's not always so easy to do, since healthcare can be so expensive. I'm fascinated by this idea of health insurance. Well, actually, I find it a little sad. You humans are so sure that someday you're going to get sick that you actually put money away, especially for that time. There's no escaping it, I guess. Do you have health insurance? Yes. I see. Well, if you do, I guess you might as well make good use of it. That didn't come out exactly right, but you know what I mean. Do you get sick a lot? No. You but don't? I do have a lot of health problems. That's great. I don't really get Maybe like, your a attempts cold, at healthy living. But I got a are shitload off. of health problems. I think he's dead. You good? You good? Ooh, I think I'm going to lose my lunch, if you know what I mean. Get well soon. Oh, I really don't feel very well. Don't come over here and eat him. This is poisoned meat. Don't, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't stick that fucking elephant trunk in this and start sucking. Don't do it. Bad idea. Oh, don't do it. Okay, good. 
All right. Goodbye. Who turned on the lights? Another day. Still got plenty of food. Our food supply is doing good. No more spider. We should have another larva tomorrow. Let's go. Would you like to? How can I be expected to sleep when this nightmare is on? One more day. Is it my bedtime yet? No, I'm just I'm just going. Wait a minute, 331. Oh shit, we're going into April. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Go back. We're going into a a April 1st. 4-1-2019. That's correct, right? 31, yeah. I'm going until I see the credits. Uh, he doesn't know what no I, I was explicitly told that we only had a couple more sequences left Good evening. Welcome to the laboratory of Jean-Paul Gasset. Greetings, and welcome back. You're doing a good job. At the moment, the habitat contains two frogmen. Seaman has become ill after eating a spider. Please take good care of him. Some kind words of encouragement may help him feel better. So let us head over to the tank. All right, this says 25 hours, but what you have to understand, there's one person, only one person reported this. So that was, that's it. That one guy probably left the, his Dreamcast on for 10 hours. He left five hours ago and this guy's still streaming this game. Laughing my ass off. So how long is the game if you cheat? I, we're, I don't know. I have no idea. Hey, why don't you turn on the sprinkler? Hey, why don't you turn on the sprinkler? I need a little mist here. It's too dry. A moist sea man. Oh, How are you doing? Can't you help me? It still looks kind it's of shit. cold in here. Mm, just like my Harlem days. Thanks for the moisture. See that gray square thing in the back corner? That's a heater. It it's about time. Deal. In the lore, seaman species are omnipotent messengers of the gods. The eggs come from Egypt, which is maybe why they have a thing for the pyramids, I see. Why don't you give me something to eat? Do you eat if you're sick? It's gonna be too hot. I didn't stop the wheel fast enough. Uh, maybe I did. No, I did. Okay, let's see. Food, how we doing? Spiders? I don't see any. We 
There are... Ooh. I'm gonna leave that one. That one looks cool. That one's getting big and fat. Garcon, a little chow, please. I need to come over here. What? He can't move, though. Can he not? I don't think I can feed him. I can't drop it over here. How is he gonna get better? I'd offer you some, but that would mean less for me. I'm not sure I can feed this one. Okay. That hit the spot. Good to hear. Let's take another fresh one over there. No thanks, I'm not hungry now. What? Are you hungry? Maybe I could eat a little antacid, but that's it. I really don't know what I ate that made me this way. Yeah, you don't want it then. Did I seriously just waste this? God damn it. Let's talk. Oh, I really don't feel very well. Greg, come here. Hello? Talk to Are me. Are you listening? Talk to me. Yes, let's talk. Good evening. Hi. Okay, I've got something to tell you. See, I've been lying to you all this time. I'm actually Regis Philbin, and if you kiss me, I'll become human again and give you a million dollars. April Fools. Oh, April Fools. You believed me, didn't That's you? That's why. Quick. Help. There's a shark in here. Help. Gotcha. April Fools. Pretty good. Pretty good. Talk to me. So, we've been talking a lot about the health of your body. That's, of course, Not extremely twice. important, but it also helps to have a healthy mind. So, to that end, have you ever gone to a therapist? No. It seems that a lot of people think that maintaining their mental health through the efforts of a therapist is a sign of weakness. Somebody said Yet this most sucks. people don't see going to the doctor for a physical ailment as a sign of weakness. Strange how people think sometimes. I hope if you ever feel you have a problem you can't handle, you'll consider seeing a therapist. Or you can just come talk to me. At least I won't charge you much by far the most mysterious part of your human yeah, some of that was good advice brain even your greatest scientists will freely admit that they barely know anything about how it works and yet when something is wrong in your head i'll bet it hurts just as much as a wound or a disease i hope you take care of your mind as well as you take care of your body or better, since you don't seem to be too keen on keeping your body tip-top. Talk to me. What do you want? Let's talk. <laughs> I feel like I've said that 5,000 times this stream. Let's talk. Talk to me. Yes? Talk to me. Let's chat. Can we talk? Well, thanks for letting me in on some of your health secrets. All of us animals have these fragile organic bodies that break down and itchy. cause us pain. But human beings are especially fascinating because they can actually prevent or cure so many of the body's problems. That's why I wanted to know what you do to keep yourself healthy. I want to know how you humans take advantage of their medical knowledge. Some people take it all for granted and do stupid, My destructive is itchy. things to their bodies just because they're used to having the means to recover. 
Well, anyway, I think I'm going to go take a little rest. I don't want to overexert myself. Okay, we got yet. one more, Sit. two more question sets. I'll talk to you later. There we go. All right, we get only another day or two, maybe. Let's talk. Talk to me. Tomorrow. There we go. All we'll right, talk we're good. again tomorrow. Will you eat? Will you eat? Please eat. Ooh, I think I'm going to lose my lunch, if you know what I mean. Get well soon. I feel sick. All right, let's check all the bugs. Any spiders? I don't think so. Yeah, fuck it. We're leaving the spiders in here. I got so much food. Look at this shit. I got one, two, three, four. I got one, two. I have at least three more days worth of food. At least three or four days with food. Would you like to... St We had to talk about religion and then politics and then that's it. It's just Simpsons hit and run all over again. Oh god, not the no no topic. Ah, oh, I just hurt my arm. How? What, I, what is it? What do you mean politics? Are they gonna ask, are they gonna ask me how I lean politically? So are you a Democrat or a Republican or something else? I'm just gonna mute the screen. I'm just gonna it's gonna be a black screen. Good evening. Welcome to the laboratory of Jean-Paul Gasset. There is a definite pattern to your visits. It appears you are a punctual person. Galaxy brain centrist. At the moment, the habitat contains two frogmen. Seaman has become ill after eating a spider. Please take good care of him. Some kind words of encouragement may help him feel better. So let us head over to the tank. I'm gonna give cartoon responses. You understand? I'm gonna give bullshit, dumb cartoon responses. I'm gonna say the... What do you belong to for a party? I'm just gonna say, uh, the fucking mashed potato party. You ain't gonna get shit this stream. Germa is a communist. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I can't even how do you how do you roll your eyes? I can't can I roll can I not roll my eyes? I need a little mist here. It's too dry. Hey, why don't you turn on the sprinkler? If I weren't in it, I don't think I can roll I my eyes. I swear there was a draft. Mm, just like my Harlem days. I thought I was going to shrivel up and die. I 
I love you. 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 He don't care. Whatever. Fuck it. Hello. Are you listening? Did you guys? There is such Yay. a good Rick and Morty bit about politics. Oh, good. Like I'm just gonna say it, like verbatim, to the frogs. Oh goody. Um, excuse me, but my stomach is empty. I know you're hungry. Got something you know for you. I could really eat. Uh, I feel terrible. What does that sound? Right here. Oh, yummy baity goodness. You're learning so many ways to say that you're hungry. That was tasty. Okay, let's go. What, is he, what are you doing? Hey! What is he doing? Is he throwing up blood? You saw that, right? <laughs> Thoughty. Don't touch him. Don't. Don't. Get away from my moth. I fucking hate the spiders. I have enough food. I do. How am I gonna get rid of you? <clears throat> I got. I don't think. Uh, what do I do about this? I think I just said. That was fucked up. I don't know what to do. I cannot put the spider in the matrix that it can only go here or here. I'm just gonna leave it. Unfortunately. I got plenty of food, I think, to last to the end of the game. Get both the frogs sick. No. I'm not gonna do that. Alright, let's go. Here Ooh, you not sick anymore? Let's talk politics. Talk to me. I feel sick. No, not you, the healthy one. Hey, listen up. Let's talk. Good evening. Talk to me. Let's talk. Talk to me. Oh, I really no, don't. No, I'm not feel talking about well. you. I'm about to pick you up and just throw you. Talk to me. <laughs> hey, there are laws against that sort of thing. Uh, <laughs> get well soon. Mm. I'm Illin. Yes, I am. Get well soon. Oh, I really don't feel very well. Come here. Greg, come here. Make me. I'm telling you, you're causing a lot of problems. Let's talk. Let's talk. Finally. You know, I've been around you humans for a long time now, and... It seems like every group of people, every country, state, and kingdom Here we go. has a different way of setting up its government. Sometimes one person has all the power. Sometimes everyone shares the power. It seems like there are as many different types of governments as there are people in the world. Human politics is very interesting to me. Here Which is go. why I am very curious. You're breaking my, num my second As rule. As you are currently residing in a democratic society, are you taking advantage of your power? 
What I mean is, are you registered to vote? No. Not here. So you're not a voter. Is that right? No. I am a voter. I just moved. Hmm. That's interesting. I would think that you'd like the power a vote would give you, but maybe I'm projecting. I, I, I'm not registered to vote in Nevada. I, no, I'm not. Talk to me. Talk to me. What's up? Let's talk. I'm still thinking about this government of yours. I mean, with everybody's different ideas of how to run things, how do you ever agree on anything? You seem to have a few major belief groups that most people fall into, like the Republicans and the Democrats. But I'll bet not everybody in your country falls into one of those, right? I guess it's just a matter of which group has more supporters. Hmm. If I had to guess, I'd say you are a Democrat. Uh, talk to me. Okay, one more time. I said, I'm still thinking about this government of yours. Fuck! I mean, with everybody's different ideas of how to run I'm trying things, to skip it. How do you ever agree on anything? You seem to have a few major belief groups that most people fall into, like the Republicans and the Democrats. But I'll bet not everybody in your country falls into one of those, right? I guess it's just a matter of which group has more supporters, hmm. If I had to guess, I'd say you are a Democrat, am I right? Hey, everybody, welcome to the stream! What do you want? Let's talk. Let's talk. Talk to me. I'm ready to fucking mute it. You don't think I'm ready? Yes. Talk to me. Let's talk. You know, I'm rather curious about your general stance about your political system. Mm -hmm. Namely, I wonder how much you believe in it. I mean, does it really make any difference which candidate one person votes for? All of your politicians are basically the same anyway. What's the difference between rich middle-aged white man A and rich middle-aged white man B? About the most variety you could hope for is a very rich middle-aged white man, or maybe a rich old white man. But okay, let's just say there <laughs> is a difference, just for the sake of argument. Would it matter then who one person voted for? After uh, all, it's just one voice in a country of millions and millions. Yes, because everybody well, has a I voice. Really everybody has don't an opinion. Understand why you're not registered to vote? Everybody has an opinion, everybody has a voice. Boy, do I have to dump. 
<laughs> Wait, you can't just go from, you can't just shit in my face after talking about pie. I guess it actually is a perfect place for you to do that, actually. Us talking politics is the absolute perfect opportunity for you to do that. Okay. Talk to me. Let's talk. You know, I'll bet you're not really interested in politics anyway. And I'll bet you're wishing I'd just shut up and talk about sex or something you're yes. really interested yes, in. Yes, yes, do that. Do it right mm. now. Yes. But you tell me, are you interested in politics at all? For the purpose of this. For the purpose of this fucking stream. No. So you're not interested in politics, is that right? No. And I would like it if you'd stop talking about it, fish. Well, what about violence in video games? That's turning into a bigger and bigger political issue every time some poor, disturbed kid decides to take his aggressions out on his schoolmates instead of video game characters. There are politicians in your government that what want to decide fuck? what kinds of games you can and can't play. They want to censor your games. I don't know whether that's a good or bad thing for other games, but for me, they'll probably try to make me put on some underwear. And you wouldn't want to see that. This is getting really, really fucking deep and dark and fucked up, isn't it? Talk to me. You know, when your country needs to decide something, like whether to raise or lower taxes, let women make a choice about having children, or if gay people deserve to be treated the same way as everyone else, why does it have to be so complicated? It used to be so much simpler. A king, or maybe an emperor, or a pharaoh yeah, would say, do it oligarchy. this way, and that would be that. No elections, no debates, no lobbyists, no congressional subcommittees, one guy makes no rules. endless legal battles. One giant rat. Ah, uh, those were the days. Wow, you really are pushing that, aren't you? Why do you suppose your system is so complicated? Do you think it's done this way to give everyone a say in government? That's the point. Yes. Hmm. I see. Stop this frog. Your system of government is actually set up for exactly the opposite purpose. That's you. Don't get enough power to screw things up. So, let's see. Boil him. Do you know what the electoral college is? Boil this frog. Yes. Okay. How about checks and balances? Do you know what that is? I do. Yes. Well, good for you. They probably taught you in school that there are three branches of government. The president, the congress, and the court system. And the system of checks and balances ensures that no one branch of government can become too strong. Know why your founding fathers did that? So if the people tried to actually do something, let's say by electing a president they wanted, Congress and the Supreme Court could still stop them from messing things up. So what you have is a system designed to stop people like you from having a say in the government. I'm not even streaming it's just anymore. Hidden a lot better this is just than Frog has a, a fucking podcast empire. that you're listening to. You should have just I'm not even here anymore. Kings. It's a lot simpler that way, you know. The controversial you could fucking have had politics a frog transition from on iTunes. King George the Third of England to King George Washington of Vermont. It would have saved a lot of money on printing costs, at least. Huh. Well, I'm all talked out. I'll see you later. All right, we're good. Mm -hmm. Talk to me. We got one more day, and that's it. Talk to me. Talk to me. You know... Over the centuries, human beliefs have reigned a not wide this birth. This more. I can't see anything. What'd I do? I turned the lights on? No! Talk to me. Keep going. Keep ranting and raving to your, like, Let's try eight followers again. on your podcast. I said, 
You know, over the centuries, human beliefs have ranged a wide berth. All sorts of people argue incessantly about their idols, their gods, and now it seems that people have narrowed it down to only a few. God, this you is be being the human I'm the closest use this one to, too. I'd really like to know what you think of this subject. More exactly, do you believe in a god or gods or some sort of supreme being? Look, I'm trying to have a serious conversation. Let's try this again. I, I, I gotta rule it out. Do believe in some sort of supreme Because the Chalupa exists, not? and I can't rule it out. Maybe. You're unsure about the matter, is that right? Yes. You know, some of the smartest humans have spent decades thinking about this and have never come up with an answer. Others seem to just know right when they are born. It's possible. To me, I don't know. Thinking about it is more important. I don't know if God, an that's a concept people think it's some guy with a big beard in the sky throwing lightning bolts. I don't know, but talk to me. I can certainly understand your skepticism regarding a higher power. Centrist agnostic streamer terrified to give opinion on stream. Yet I just told you the Chalupa exists, therefore a people. You know, they meditate, they try to be true to themselves. It's all pretty interesting, I think. <laughs> Would you say you're very spiritual? No. No, I mean, I sometimes think me and my dog, like, connect. And, like, have the same dreams. No. Really? You know, Plato once said, the unexamined life is not worth living. But perhaps he was mistaken, eh? Some people consider themselves spiritual, some do not. Perhaps all beings, fish and humans alike, should acknowledge their spirituality and look into themselves. At the least, it seems that they'll be all the wiser by simply having thought about it. Keep going, man. You got an audience here. Your, your rave podcast has 3,700 people almost listening to it. Let's go. Talk to me. Let's talk. I'm not your trained monkey, all right? Yeah, did you need me to like rub your back for a second? Are you happy? <laughs> Let's talk. All right. Get seen on Joe me plenty Rogan. to ponder, but here's what I really want to know. What my questions have been leading up to. Ready? We go, boys and girls. I want you to think about this and give me a serious answer. Do you think you're a good person? Yes. So, you think you're a good person, hmm? Let's try. Yes. And Is I that think... so? Politicians often complain that your society would be more ethical if more humans were religious, and yet even though you don't belong to any organized religion, you consider yourself a good person. Perhaps politicians are not as smart as they think. You're probably fucking uh, correct. Let's talk. Give it to me. Tell me That's more. That's my name. Don't wear it out. Give it to me is your name? I thought your name was Greg. After everything you've told me about yourself, I think I already know how you feel on this subject, but I still want to ask you. Do you think religion makes the world a better place or a worse place? Ah, god damn it. Ugh. Ready to try this? already know how you feel on this subject, but I still want to ask you, do you
that you could take or leave the whole faith thing. Well, how about That's this? That's not what then? I said. Let's say there were only one religion in the world. Would the world be a better or worse place? If there was only one religion in the world, would the would it So you think the world worse off if there were only one religion? You know, yes. Because that's, I, think uh, I, I don't know. With you no, I, can I change my the answer? The world would be a lot less interesting if everyone were carbon copies of one another. Well, as I'm sure you've guessed, I find the whole institution of religion quite confounding. Most humans run around like they're masters of the world, while if everybody had the same world, while theories and the same, same opinions, it would be kind of boring. Don't you think? Power that's supposed to make life better. On top of that, most people can't even agree on who or what the higher power is, so they argue and fight over it and bring about a lot of misery and heartbreak in the name of something that is supposed to bring people joy. I just you don't, don't have to justify. Get it. I know, I'm just kidding. And quite frankly, just thinking about it gives me a headache. So the ending credits I'm going is going to go away and try and figure up on some it all out. Menu somewhere, anyways. I'll talk to you later. That's it. it. Took us nine hours, but I think we did it. Talk to me. This frog's gonna tomorrow. end your career. We'll talk again tomorrow. This stupid Dreamcast frog is gonna end your career on Twitch. That's so fucking funny. Why have I, why have I been live for so long? Because I gotta get this done. I'm, I'm still in. I'm just having fun. I'm just chilling. Final day. We got politics, we got religion. Let's see what happens. Would you like to save and show it to me, Leonard? Let's see the end. It's almost 4 a.m. now. Yeah, I know. I know. This would be, this is almost like the 30th time I've turned this on and turned this off. The Pope just called you out on Twitter? What am I gonna do? Show me the end. I raised this frog and his family. They ate each other. One of them got sick. They did a bunch of podcasts. I just gave this frog like a platform to give all of his uh, political stances. Well, I've watched. Here we go. You watched helplessly. Good evening. Okay. Welcome to the laboratory of Jean-Paul Gasset. Greetings, and welcome back. You're doing a good job. First, a recap of your previous visit. The frogman has completely metamorphosized into frog form. He may appear somewhat grotesque, but once you get used to him, he looks rather cute. No, really. He's he's ascended At into another At the moment, game. the habitat contains two frogmen. Still two. They are suffering from the cold. Please use the heater to raise the temperature to a more comfortable level. So let us head over to the tank. I'm really, really, really looking forward to this. I've been here three seconds and I'm bored out of my mind. <laughs> I 
Well, I, okay, you got here three seconds ago. I was loading the Dreamcast up. You've seen a menu. Oh, just give, just give it, give it like one second. Give it like another thirty seconds. If you, if you, if you after thirty seconds, if you think this sucks, you, you by all means, you, I, I respect your opinion and you hate it. Give it another thirty seconds. How is this grotesque? Can someone out there put on a sprinkler for me? There's not enough moisture here. Can someone out there put on a sprinkler for me? It said he evolved into a full frog man. Is that a grotesque? Hey, turn up the heat. Okay, this is much better. See, it look. If you want to leave, then that's great. I mean, that's a, I, I completely respect your opinion. Oh, yes. Ooh. Thanks. I thought I was going to be sea jerky for sure. <laughs> you can I can't even read that one. It's just too... It's just... Ugh. Oh, goody. I'm feeling a little peckish. Could you feed me? There's nothing. I don't. I don't. Well, there's no difference. They look the same. Let's heat it up a little more. Sprinkler's good. Everything's good. Light is good. Let's check. Make sure. Uh, who gives a shit about spiders? I got plenty of food and plenty of bugs. Speaking of bugs, let's go ahead and grab these. Just drop them in. Let's get the other one. Uh, you, can you move out of the way, please? I'll put it in the inventory. Okay. Eat. And let's end it. Go eat. Yeah, frog's not sick anymore. Hey, thanks for the food. I wonder what the what's the final topic gonna be? What do you think? I'm surprised I ended up with two. My compliments to the chef. My stomach is growling. I got you. Hold on. All right. Hey, you. I never knew humans were so nocturnal. Oh, shit, it is late. Talk to me. No, I'm all talked out for today. Let's talk. Politics, Republican, Democrat, God, religion, agnostic. Where is it now? You know, I could really eat. It's it's right behind you. I'm hungry. It's oh, yummy, baity goodness. Boy, I'm not gonna boil. I'm full now. All right. Hello. Talk to me. Talk to me. What the fuck is he doing? Oh no. He's like, bro. He just drained his all of his life force of uh, it. Who the man? Who's your daddy? Which one died? Did either of them die? I don't think they just had sex. I think he just shit in his too. They're still alive. 
The last time that they had sex, to the last two generations, one of them died. Let's talk. Hello? Yeah. Hello. Hello? Whatever. Oh, 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 oh. Religion was the last topic, so what happens now? How do we get to the end? Does whatever comes out, if whatever the last thing that comes out is? Maybe it's whatever that comes out here, whatever new... Alright, well they just had sex, so let's... Okay, they've eaten, sprinklers are wrong, let's go like another day. Yeah, because they don't want to talk to me. Okay. Talk to me. Let's talk. Tomorrow. We'll talk again tomorrow. Oh, fuck off. Would you like to say... You just said sex. You gotta have to take a whole day off. Just like me. What, how? What the fuck are you talking about? Okay. The grind doesn't stop here. We'll find out. I've been here for nine hours. So have I. <laughs> there are credits, that's when you can stop. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna see those credits. Good evening. Let's see what Leonard says. Welcome to the laboratory of Jean-Paul Gasset. Greetings, and welcome back. You're doing a good job. At the moment, the habitat contains two frogmen. They are suffering from the cold. Please use the heater to raise the temperature to a more comfortable level. So let us head over to the tank. <laughs> <clears throat> is there any way for them not to suffer from the cold i don't think so well that's not true uh check on them instead of 24 hours turn your dreamcast on like six to eight hours instead of 24 i would assume that's probably what it is You can check on them every hour. No. No, I ain't doing that. Can someone there put on the sprinkler for me? This would be very comfortable if I wanted to live in a desert. Sprinkle me, please. Can someone out there put on a sprinkler for me? There's not enough moisture here. Hey, it's a big one. I'm gonna turn to God. And we're gonna get all the answers. Mm, I'm feeling better now. Every answer I've given, they're gonna make a big essay about me. I'm gonna get Psycho Mantis at the end of the game. It's gonna say, Ooh, yes, oh, I see. I can't believe you don't work out. And that you're uh, not fat. See, man. And cranky that see, you man. like pizza. It's gonna be something like that, I guarantee it. No, I'm not gonna run with food. 
I have an entire production of food here. Even if the spider eats one of those. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Not enough spray going on here. Okay. Uh, I got plenty of food. Yeah, this is gonna hatch in a minute here. I sure could go for a bite to yes, eat. Yes, you definitely could, and I'm gonna give it to you. Let's feed them both and see if we can get anything out of them. This is actually one of the worst games I've ever seen. It is a classic, though. I'd offer you some, but that would mean less for me. A hungry sea man I is a cranky sea man. I looked up how to get to the credits. End the stream now. Why are you saying that? Yep. I'm stuffed. Yep! Are you the guy from fucking Storage Wars? How about we strap on the feed bag? Talk to me. Why are you phasing oh. out? <laughs> I sound like Santa. <laughs> Yum, food. Okay, they both fed. Give me something. Let me end this. Oh, excuse me. No more room. Okay. Hi. Hello. Hello there. Hello? 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 Hey! Greg! Greg! Wake up! Get up! He's not even responding to my, like, hand twitches! This is not good. Greg. Hello. I have to tell you I've been remembering things lately. About myself and my past life and all my history. And I realize now that I need you to let me out of this tank. It's important. Really, really important. Can you let me out, please? Please, if I am released, I give you my word that I will keep all your secrets. You see, there are some things I need to do. What do you say? Yes. I know it sounds odd, but I must keep evolving. I have to keep growing so I can find my long lost love again. It's been a long, long time. What? Am you I see, my really? father was the king of Egypt back in its third dynasty, and my lover's father was a priest in the temple. Oh, we were young and both swept away by the passion. I'm sure you understand. Oh, my dear, sweet love. She was the most beautiful creature imaginable. But neither of our fathers would approve our marriage because of our class differences. When we insisted we be allowed to marry, her father consulted the god Thoth and asked him to help. Thoth granted her father's request for help and changed our physical forms. And we've been apart ever since. 
Yeah, cool story. Tell it to and the judge. And I have to continue evolving so that I can be reunited with her in another few thousand years. Oh, that's interesting. So you'll help me get out, Tell it right? to Satan, where you belong. Yes. I already have a plan how to get out. See that ring over the tank? I'm going to jump for it. I'm going to use my brother. When I give you the signal, what about I need the other you one? to say jump. Understand? What about the other one? The other one doesn't have a backstory about how like he's the king of Egypt? What about this one? This one's just a frog guy? Okay, jump, right? Okay, now. Jump. Oh, you missed. <laughs> Hello? Are you listening? Try again. Try again? Greetings, my vampiric friend. Hello? Talk to me. So, I'd like to ask you, how are things going with your girlfriend? Are you guys still an item? Yes. What about this Egypt That's guy? That's splendid. You know, it's interesting to me how preoccupied you humans seem with love and relationships. <laughs> you write songs about it, Don't to... compose poems, search for soulmates, and are constantly hoping for happily ever after. I'm curious as to how you experience love. For example, do you think your girlfriend is the one? <laughs> What about Egypt? I'm starting to lose. Do you think your girlfriend is the so you're not? The one? Yes. I don't know. I don't have to I hide for this one. I suppose that's know. common in this day and age. It's good that you've taken a realistic approach to the whole human mating dance. I don't, I don't know. But I don't it know. Must also be I don't know. Sad. When you put We've up talked about it before. We get that. Kim, Kim and I have talked about it. Lots of times you're keeping out the good this stuff too. This fucking frog. But I've is heard a lot my about strength. humans and their fickle behavior. He's making me fucking I'm answer uncomfortable as questions. Why many couples He's making me just talk about things. Work. Why do you think that is? But you fucking eat them already. I don't know. Wow. You don't know what the number one cause of divorce is. I don't know. What is it? I'm not sure, but I think it's ignorance. How would I, why would I know that answer, though? Jump to the ring. Stop exposing me. not my type. Jump to ring. Stop. Well, Fuzzy, you've experienced hesitation when confronted with the idea of being permanently Jesus bound Christ. to your partner. All right, how do I get him to grab the that ring? That makes me think. Is it you? Is it the person you're with? Or is it something you've got to ease yourself into? That's why I want to ask you this. Do you believe that there's a perfect person out there for you? No. So it's you a, say you don't bullshit. believe in such nonsense. Am I right? Yes. It doesn't. Now it does. Take a stand. Does true love exist? No. So you say you don't believe in such nonsense. Am I right? Yes. You know, most Virgos have shy and modest exteriors that hide <laughs> Look at me, wild that's me. And foolish and passionate hearts. I guess you must be the exception to that rule. Boy, do I have to dump. Is he dump?
jump to the ring. What can I do for you? Escape. Escape. You know, I've seen you naked. Now that's scary. All right, hold on. How do I get it? How do I make him jump and grab it? Do I have to do something in particular? Talk to me. This better be good. I have to hold up, grab the rock in the back, and wiggle it. I have to increase the temperature to 100. Oh, fuck off with that. No. Whoa! Why don't you pick on somebody you're- Oh, fuck. That just scared the shit out of me. Can you help me move it then? Can I touch the ring? I, that's what I was thinking. I, I can't grab the ring. I can't focus on it. I can't really touch it. I can't like pull it down. Jump. Talk to you soon. Move the rock. Move rock. Move the rock. You know I'm really glad that you found someone you can spend your romantic time with. I think that's terribly cute. No, really. I think it's hard for people to connect in such a gigantic, scary world. I mean, sure, it seems simple to an outsider like me, considering just how many of you there are, but if it were so simple, why would there be so many dating services to choose from? That's why I'm curious. Where did you meet your girlfriend? At a Christmas party. I see. I think maybe this whole dating game is more kismet than skill. The thing is, it's all circumstance, isn't it? I mean, if you hadn't been in the right place at the right time, then things could have turned out a whole lot differently, couldn't they? If you'd been somewhere else, grown up in another country, for example, and never come to be where you are, your entire set of friends and where you spend your free time would be completely different. Your personality would no doubt be very different as well. It's funny how certain events mold us all and how easy it would be to be an entirely different personality than you are. Yeah, with certain, with, uh, certain events like jumping and grabbing a ring, which one of you dickheads needs to do right now. Escape. Like the spice. Jump. Cheerio. I gotta go another, I gotta go another day. You know what I find interesting? You were probably born into a family and for the next two decades or so had to interact with them on a daily basis. I mean, with any group of people, there are bound to be love and hate issues and a whole range of emotions in between. And as you matured, conflicts, I'm sure, arose as your interests became more individualized and pronounced, often differing from your families. Of course, maybe that just brought you closer, which leads me to wonder, how well do you get along with your family? Well. So everything's pretty good? Yep. Wait, you said you get along with your family. Now you say you don't. Do you get along well with your family or not? Yes. So everything's pretty good? Yes. You're all swimming in the same ocean then. That must make those family get-togethers a lot easier to get through. Now, how about friends? Do you get along better with your friends or your family? Uh, both. Well, that makes sense, since those are the people you've chosen, whereas you didn't get to choose your family. The trick is to get along with everybody. I think people are much happier when they can do that. You probably can. Jump. Later, Fuzzy. 
ring. You seem to love your family, and they must love you. That's nice. No, really. With all this love floating around, do you think you were raised well? Yeah. Well, at least you get along with them. Maybe they did a good job and you didn't even know it. Do you think if they weren't your parents, you could still be friends with them? You know, pals. Chums. Friends with my mom? That if it's not my mom? Yes. Maybe they are better friends than they were parents. This one, so this frog It's sucks. a good thing you aren't a child. The other one was anymore. a ranting and raving political, like, podcast runner. But this one's just like, would you be friends with your mom if you weren't, if she weren't your mom? Jump. Jump. See you later. Talk to me. There's nothing I want to talk about so right over. now. Jump. See you soon. See? Look. Don't go to the next day. Reload. Restart. Just reload the save. And then wiggle the rock. Before? Advance time or go or reset? Which one? He has to attempt it three times. Going for it? Okay, advance a day. Advance a day. Would you like? You got it. Fuck the food. Who cares? They can starve. Ugh. Don't advance, don't advance. What are, you, are we gonna get like a fucking fight in chat here about how to finish this 10 hour game? What, what's, what's wrong? I'll get it, I'll get it, I'll get it myself, I'll, I gotta. Ring. Find on this page. Ring. Jump. Okay, hold on. Hey, 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 hey. You can jump to the. What the fuck is it, man? He, because the only way he can continue to evolve is by getting outside. Seema says he thinks that pesky ring hanging from the upper left of the tank uh, should be the key to getting that. He will try to jump to it from the big rock, asking that you say jump for encouragement. On his third try, he will reach it and the back panel of the tank will slide down. Okay. We advance. Uh, that's 10 community subs from Pika Banana. Thank you, Pika Banana, for the 10 subs. That's a lot of subs. Thank you. Let's go. You spoiled the ending. No, I didn't. It just said he liked the. T he, he jumps out of the tank. That's all I read. Two more days. What day? Did, what day was it? Five. What if I no five, right? But Pika Banana, that's a fucking lot of subs. Thank you. Who cares about Seaman spoilers? So we're we're on we're on four. We're now on five. Let's go. Fuck it. Two more jumps. See you in ten. See you at ten hours.
See you at 10 hours. I need to see the end. Because I'd have to be the first person to play it. And beat it on stream on regular, regular hardware. You know what I mean? You might get somebody that streams this game. Like, oh yeah, see man, I heard of that game. Didn't that fucking top 1,000 streamer, German985, play that? I heard about that through his fucking fan. Good morning. Fantastic stream. Welcome to the laboratory of Jean-Paul Gasset. What I'm going to do on a fucking emulator! Greetings, and welcome back. You're doing a good job. Get it on a regular hardware. Very well. Did you notice Frogman trying to reach the ring hanging from the ceiling? Perhaps this holds the key to the next step in Seaman's development. Fake At controller? At the moment, the habitat Is contains... It? Two, frogmen. Just tell them to jump, and I'm gonna go next day. I don't care. They are suffering from the cold. So I'll feed them. Please use the heater to raise the temperature to a more comfortable level. Let me divulge the highlights for today. We are nearing the mating season for the frogmen. This is something few humans have been. Just let yeah, just pick them up and put them Watch out of the closely. cage. So let us head over to the tank. <clears throat> <laughs> Let's see those credits. Jump out, say good night, feed them, make sure they're watered. End, next day, jump, game over. I win. It's part of their evolution, they have to do it themselves. If I get one more conversation about if I'm going to marry my girlfriend or not, or what political spectrum do I lean on, I'm going to shot put one of these frogs. Can someone out there put on a sprinkler for me? There's not enough moisture here. Finally, some service around here. It's cold, isn't it? Hey, is, hey, is your girlfriend Ooh, in the room? The ticket. Oh, she's not in the room. Anybody else in the room? Have you ever cheated on your girlfriend? Oh, wet is wonderful. Fucking... Gone! Hey, can you give me something to eat? Raise the temperature, would you? <laughs> He's getting defensive about this. It's cold in here. You would immediately and confidently say no. That's correct. But what, 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 that was wrong. To fuck off. You got an extra sandwich or something? Let's have it. I'm hungry. Hey, I got some food for you. Just kidding, Jimmy. Wow, a seaman could die of hunger in this place. I'm kind of hungry. It's like manna from heaven. Say, you know what would be good right about now? Some food. Eat it then. Enough talking about it. I got BTTV. Watch. Uh, I don't know how to do it. That so. was damned yummy. I'm not. I got one more to feed. So I do have enough for one more day here. More than that. Oh, he got. Speaking of being fed. Oh, he just fell. I have more than enough food for one more day. Come here. Actually, no, there's one right here, right? Yeah, I got plenty of fucking food. Let's go. Go jump. Eat that food. Try to jump out. Next. I'd offer you some, but 
that would mean less for me. Mmm, so good. Now he's a good light, so you can see. Very good. You know how to turn the light on. <laughs> End my suffering. I'm trying to get this done Hello? fast. Okay. Jump. Jump. These early mornings are killing me. Go for it. Get out. You're lucky it's Friday or I'd be really angry. Hey, hello. You know, today's the anniversary of the premiere of Die Fledermaus in Vienna. Is he all right? I'm sure you know the year. No, the other way, on the rock. The title Does that count as an attempt? To the bat. Is that two? I could go <clears throat> on and on. All right. Remember what I told you before Here's. about jumping to freedom to find my lost love? Well, I've gotten up the nerve, and I think I'm ready to try it again. So when I say now, say the word jump, okay? Here I go. Okay. One more attempt after this and we win. KXC gave 10 community subs. Thank you, KXC. This has been a lot of community subs tonight. Thank you, guys. Here goes. Thank you so much, KXC. Now. Jump. See you tomorrow. Rhythmically tapping the glass twice a second to keep it going causes the song to start playing. What? What do you mean rhythmically? What do you mean tapping the glass? Like, how, how? That's not right. Mister. Okay. Goodbye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Be seeing you. See you later. Twice a second. Like. Like that. One, two, 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 one. Like that. This is twice a second. Once per second. This is two right here. Now I know it's after, I'm just trying to get the rhythm down. Danny Terrio, eat your heart out. <sighs> Heartbeat with the tapping. What you mean like That's probably doesn't look right because the that cameras are off. That's a pretty good workout. The camera's not synced up perfectly. Would you like perfectly. to save and end the session? <clears throat> so it's dun 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 dun, right? You should grow a soul patch? Alright, sure. I'm just gonna grow this out, like, long down here. It's gonna be like an extra tongue. Like a, a, a long tongue coming from my mouth. Here it is. Last day. 4-6. Go for it. Here we go! 
He's gonna make it. And I can solidify my, uh, my house, my house, I can solidify my house in video game history, whatever. It's been 10 hours, give me a break. <clears throat> oh, you made it. This is the final day of Seaman. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to, Welcome the, laboratory to the laboratory of Jean-Paul Jean Gasset. Paul Gasset. As you see... Greetings. Greetings. And welcome back. You're doing a good job. At the moment, the habitat contains two frogmen. They are suffering from the cold. Please use the heater to raise the temperature to a more comfortable level. Does the show afterwards be getting So fired? let us head over to the tank. I'm losing my really great, like, $400,000 a year scientist job for letting out the experiment. Do I cause World War, F World War IV because of this? But at World War Four, yeah, because they're just frogs right now. You don't think there's gonna? It's gonna take them like probably forty or fifty years to a hundred, hundreds of years probably. You know how long evolution actually takes? It takes like hundreds and hundreds of fucking years. So they're gonna go into the fucking forest somewhere and start evolving as aliens. There's gonna be another World War Three before a hundred years is up. It's too dry in here. Can't you get the sprinkler going? Once they're it's walking so on two dry. legs, Flick they'll be ready for World War Four. On, would you? This would be very comfortable if I wanted to live in a desert. Oh, yes. Ooh, how about turning up the heat? Oh, goody. This heater sucks. How am I still how alive? Oh, how are you here? still alive? I was gonna say, I don't know, I'm not that old. Alright. Final meal. So, here you go. Hey, it's getting. Oh, yummy. Good thing I had a good stockpile goodness. of food. Give it a eat. Who's gonna get it? Mmm, thanks. Okay, bring in the other one. Oops. Both of you eat. Check on the spiders. I can't help this one. I can't. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's still in Anna Londo. Will you eat that, please? Hey, how about adding a little humidity? It's good for my skin. Um, excuse me, but my stomach is empty. This fucking food right behind you. Turn around, eat it. Hello? Talk to me. Time to go. Escape, right? The rock. Jump. Morning, sleeping beauty. Time for you to jump for that ring. And then we're gonna go... Go for it. Come on, end this. Don't keel over on me now. Hello? Well, hello. Jump. I really enjoyed talking with you. 
Your relationships seem complex to me, and I don't think it's just because I'm a sea man. So many variables. So much can happen between different people that life seems like one big jackpot. I can tell you one thing, though. It's perhaps the only universal truth for all relationships, and that is, all of your relationships will one day end. Even with your closest companions, things will eventually come to a close, be it by a ridiculous misunderstanding or be it by your own mortality. At some given point, you will never speak to each other again, but don't let that frighten you. Your precious time on this planet and the relationships you forge are what makes life worth living. Instead, Just go run away. appreciate what you have and enjoy the moments of happiness you accumulate. Be with the people you want to be with, not who you think you have to be with. That will certainly make you a happier human being, you can rest assured. Goodbye. Be, go be free. Go for it. The rock, back here. Go. Go jump over the rock, that's back there. Rock. What? Rock. Jump. Adieu. Uh, just jump on the rock. The same thing happened last time. Then he finally was like, uh, no, wrong, up, that, over, on. Say, you know what would be good right about now? Food. Some food. Like the food that's behind you that you've refused to turn around and look at. Over here. It's right here. Oh, good. Food. Come on. This, this just has to end. The same thing happened last time. He's contemplating. He's thinking about it. He's going to just pop up and go, I'm going to go for it. Oh, 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 oh. Stop. Mm, Here it goes. I'm not hungry anymore. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around and look at Rock. I'm gonna burn him. What do you need? Ring. I know you're not talking about me. Check, um... Anyway... I hope this hasn't been too embarrassing for you. We'll talk again soon. Jump. Buh bye. Jump off rock. Rock? Let's talk. Let's talk. Talk to me. I'm fine. Let's talk. He's stuck. Talk to me. Talk to me. Quiet. Oh, you're very, very, very... You're teetering on the edge of getting fucking... Burger King flame broiled in about 10 seconds. Let's talk. <laughs> hey, there are laws against that sort of thing. <laughs> Jump. Escape.
Yeah, I did let like the spice. I did let's talk on both of them. Tomorrow. We'll talk again tomorrow. <laughs> oh, no, just go for it. We're gonna have to do another day. Jump. Don't be a stranger. No, that, that, that's not. He doesn't understand. Jump. See you later. No, they think I'm saying bye. Would you like to save and end? You guys think I'm trying to drag this shit out? I'm trying to end it. I'm gonna be hearing this in my sleep, yeah. Fuck, it's so late. It is so late. It's almost 2 a.m. PST. It's almost 5 a.m. Eastern. Oh man, I cannot believe. I cannot believe there's still almost 3,700 people here. Welcome to the laboratory. I hope you're enjoying it. I hope you're having fun, really. <laughs> you look half dead. It seems that visiting around this time has become a habit for you. At the moment, the habitat contains two frogmen. They are suffering from the cold. Please use the heater to raise the temperature to a more comfortable level. One of them is going to jump. So let us head over to the tank. Oh, well. <laughs> Even he doesn't give a shit. He gave the fuck up, too. He's so done with saying all this stuff now. Let's check on the tank. Let's see exactly what's in there. Who gives a shit? Just end it, man. Resident sleeper. This would be very comfortable if I wanted to live in a desert. Spring, please. Mm, just like my Harlem days. Hey, it's a bit cold in here. I don't have enough food for a couple of days. Ah, uh, what is wonderful? We condensed the two month game into 11 hours. That's so fucking funny. Two months, that's like a month and, no, just barely a month, right? It's a little chilly, don't you think? The Tamagotchi had more content? I don't know if I believe that. It was made out of, like, sticks. Hey, I'm getting a little hungry. How about some... Uh oh. Only one of you get to eat. And you better jump. I'd offer you some, but that would mean less for me. Oh, I'm a fat boy. Hey, listen up. I'm listening. Yes. Hello. Hello. Talk to me. 
Is it breakfast time already? What is it with humans and this daylight savings? Underwater, it's either day or it's night, and you don't see us with a rising crime rate. Take the hint. How about a little nourishment here? Talk to me. Thanks, I'm not interested. Is this poisonous? I'm fine. I'm good. I'm just tired. What's wrong with you? What are you doing? All right, you both Yum. you both Ooh. have eaten. Eat it. And then just go for the jump. You good? I'm gonna have it. That was damned yummy. Perfect temperature. It's 24. A hundred sprinkles. Ambient mood lighting. What does it take to get you to jump? Now, let's try this again. You know the drill. When I give you the cue, say jump. Alright? Mm -hmm. Let's go. Here we go! This is it! And then it's tap, 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 right? Here we go. I'm ready. I'm waiting my whole life for this moment. Okay. Jump, jump, now. jump. Jump. And he made it. Does the other one get to leave too? I have waited a thousand lifetimes for this moment. Smell that? That's freedom. Mm, we don't get anything freedom. from Taylor Frog? The funny thing is that it's there all the time. You don't always realize it when you're bogged down with so many other things, but you're <laughs> you always free as long as you're true to yourself. That's where freedom lies, within yourself. I wish you and your girlfriend the best of luck. Make sure she treats you as well as you treated me. Okay. I must be off. Tap, tap. My... Evolution tap, must tap, continue. Tap, tap, oh tap. my. I think I know where I am. Dump salt on him. <laughs> Just like, you it's all fuck. coming back to me. This must be Gasse's island. Somewhere on this <laughs> island is a place like... I have to go in order to continue evolving. I must go find it. You know, you're all right. Oh, that was really loud. I'm sorry. I know we've had our differences occasionally, but I like you. You took care of me all this time, and, well, I'm grateful. I will kill you first, and the Very most painlessly. grateful. In World War IV. Well, say something before I start bawling, won't you? I hated every second of our experience together, and I hope you get eaten by a fucking snake and somebody pours salt on your balls. Hey, listen. There's something I'd like to do for you as a kind of thank you. It's not much, but I wasn't exactly able to head over I don't to the I don't have very much brain power right now. Something now was I? <laughs> it's just something for you to try some. Did I have the balls part? Just try tapping on the glass. You know, with the right trigger on your I've control pad. to a pad fucking fourteen-year-old. Tap, tap, tap. Try it sometime. Okay, friend. This. Tap, tap. This is it. Tap, tap. 
I've really got to go now. Take care, and if... If you ever want to talk to me, just call me, okay? You've been a good friend. Thanks. I'll miss our time together. Don't be a total stranger now. So yeah. confirm with me that it's tap, 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 tap. Is that correct? I'm, this is important. Tap, 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 tap like this. Tap, 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 tap. It's tap, tap, tap. to me this is still every instrument is wrong Why tapping?
Uh, you try to drop a bug? No, whoops. Ooh, I'm pooped. I'm not the sea man I used to be. I thought it was fucking over. You were wrong. Like there's only two, there's only three different beats. There's like this. It's it keeps fucking up. See how it's slowing down? I haven't changed at all. Two, three, four, one, 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 two, three, four. It's not changing. Shit is a jake. Is it your bait? I saw all the content already, so I'm just being fucking lied to. I've seen it all. This isn't this is a cheat. Everyone's fucking with me. I've seen it all. There's supposed to be a song here. Whew, I'm pooped. I'm not the sea man I used to be. Three times then not. What are you what are you talking about? Like It's twice a second. So that's This is two beats a second. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two, that's two beats a second. Am I never going to get... Pretty good work, yeah. You understand that... Would you like to save and end the session? I'm, I've done it every way. I've done it one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, 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 one, two, three, four. I've done it every one of those ways. I'm going to YouTube Would this you like shit to save so I can fucking scream session. in everybody's face. This doesn't even exist. I should just upload it. This doesn't exist. Nobody's uploaded the end credits to see on YouTube. Not one person. Shh. 
shit. Was what? I, 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 do I have to put my Vive headset on to hear this? Fuck! No, it's fine. It's empty. Where is my fucking? I don't even know where it is. Do I even have? Where the fuck is this? I can't believe I'm still fucking doing this. What? What do you mean, have I ever held an instrument before? You saw me play Beat Saber like fucking six days ago. This one didn't even have the song. This person didn't even do the song. This person doesn't even do the song. It will be my. So anyway, they're not even doing the song. Right, all this time and well. Metronome online. How many beats per minute do we want? We want 120 beats per minute. I was doing this shit. Are you kidding me? Are you are you serious? By the way, by the way, it's not off. It's like not off. It's because the session. Listen, you guys, I it, shut this up for a second so I can explain this. I have to delay the audio from the capture card. So you it's 650 milliseconds faster than the game is here. Don't you understand? Dun, 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 dun. This is what I was doing before. You guys can't tell me that I'm gone. I'm out of here. I, I was doing that fucking three straight minutes. 120 beats per minute. You tell me this ain't it? I'll do it again. Check it out. when you hear the song because the song is off. The song has like so many instruments that are playing and you have to pretend to be in metronome. On too, so you can see how fucked up this is and how fucking how, can how I correct get down, I am. Or can I Check get this shit out. You ready? Down. Let's let's hear it. Let's get the metronome 120. I'll do it at the exact same time. One twenty. You ready? I have to make I have to cue this up. Oh fuck! Hold on. Pause it. Would you like to save and end the session? So I need to delay this by the same amount of time so you can hear it too. There you go. It should be queued up now. All right, I'm ready for this. I'm ready to fucking show you guys once and for all that I bought bullshit in here. Ready?
120 beats per minute. Did it work? Can I get down? I've been going live for ten and a half hours. Yo, you're not on beat. How can you not be on beat, you fucking boomer? And I'm clearly just going rat tat 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 I got my audio set up for 650 milliseconds delayed, camera delayed, audio delayed. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you guys later. So the plan is... Uh, so I'm not gonna be streaming tomorrow or tech like today Actually the sus was set for today. No stream, but I moved some stuff around made it possible Hope you had a good time. I had a lot of fun That was oddly satisfying video game. I mean near the end though not really But it still was fun to hang out You guys rock. Thanks for uh, sticking around. I'll see you guys on Tuesday, technically, right? Yeah. Uh, we are going to... We are going to speed fire these bits. And by speed fire, I mean go through them fairly quickly. That was C, man. Hope you enjoyed it. See you on Tuesday. Thank you, everybody. Oh shit, this really was like an 11 hour stream. Damn. I usually don't stream for more than like 7, 6 to 8 or so. Alright, let's go through them real quick. <clears throat> Just because we're very kind of pressed for AM time here. Uh, let me make sure I have this set up. Which I think I do. I think I do. Uh, why? What's going on with my Twitch? Uh, that's the weird thing. Why is my Twitch... What, are you, what is it doing? That was messed up. And now I can see it. Okay. Alright. Now I can see everybody. Uh, we had Hawkeye buying five dollars. Thank you, Hawkeye. Uh, I'm so excited to watch the streamer milk this stream about orally transmitted seaman. What a dedicated variety streamer. Thank you. Peaceful Haley, thanks for the 250. Thanks, Peaceful Haley. Uh, was I ever into mystery science theater or riff tracks? I was. I loved mystery science theater back in the day. I have not seen any of the new one, the reboot one. But... With Mike Nelson. The, I, I, I didn't see this super original MST3K, but I did see the ones with Mike Nelson. I was a Mike Nelson fan. And then, <clears throat> you also say, I want to get into coffee, but every time I take a sip, I feel like I'm going to vomit. And I put a shit ton of cream and sugar into it, yet it still tastes gross. The thing about coffee is you have to... There's really two ways to drink it. It's either just straight up, just take, just drink it black... Or add milk, or I, I don't adding a ton of sugar in coffee. It just makes it. Yeah, I, I don't I don't like adding a ton of sugar and a ton of cream to coffee. It makes it weird and tastes like a cake. If you can't get into coffee, then just drink tea. You know, black tea is probably better. You probably like the taste of it more. Green tea. 
Uh, but have a good night. Thank you so much, Peace Milaley. Casey, thanks for the 250. If you're going to continue with Dreamcast, I recommend Echo the Dolphin. Uh, I, I believe so I'm going to play uh, Space Channel 5. It's still on the menu. The original one. I have it in the shrink wrap. So that's going to have to be a stream in itself. But I've never played Echo the Dolphin. Fiddy, thanks for five bucks. Play the Canada OST. <laughs> Thank you for the five dolls. And then Flying Muffin Man, again, a hundred bucks. Thank you. They said, hey, you're the best. I don't have the attention span to watch streams often, but it's often a treat to see a new video. We caught it late earlier, but thank you. Really appreciate it. Thanks for the hundred bucks. Thanks for tons of money. You've given a lot of money this week. Something Rado, thanks for the 250. Hey, Germs, I had to go to work last stream, so I missed your response. Firstly, I'd like to say thank you for taking the time out of your day to respond to my message. No problem at all. And you have another 250 here saying, Secondly, I'm absolutely appalled at your lack of decency and perversion of the truth. The people have the right to know the full story of what happened in that Applebee's. Yes, I did chew up a bunch of Skittles and spit it in your food, but that was because you, they were your Skittles, and you kept throwing them at people. You kept petting that poor... You kept pelting that poor waiter right in the eyes, and when I approached you to ask you to cut it out, you said I looked like Adam Sandler and I lost my cool. I mean, that whole thing was made up. You were throwing them at me and my table, trying to get my attention. You get, and I don't, for say, you thought it was like hilarious, because you kept on going like, STREAM SNIPER! And you kept throwing, and it would hit me in the back of the head, and I was ignoring it completely. But, you know, I, I didn't lose my cool, you did. Hey, Hollyo, thanks for the, or Hollu, Holly, thanks for the five bucks. Hey, Jerma, I'm in Vegas right now for about a month, just saying that if I see you, I'll be sure to give you a good, firm handshake. And not just German suplex you. Well, please don't German suplex me if I do end up seeing you around. If anybody sees me anywhere, please say hello. Welcome to Vegas. It's a good town, just be careful. Hey, Pigeon, thanks for the 250. This is actually so da damn cute. I love you for doing this. Seaman is a classic. It's great. It's so goddamn cute. In a very disturbing kind of way. But it is still. Hey, Freudian Weapon, thanks for the 250. Can you give us another condensed history lesson? I forgot to study for my test tomorrow. Um, war bad. Uh, spice trading, trade sugar, tobacco trading, economies, collapses, uh, entrepreneurship, industry, steam, coal, natural gas, England, 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 America. Uh, America! America. Oh, America. And now here we are on this stream. What about France? France! France! EU! Hey, EU! 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 And thank you, Divis, for the $3.41. Thanks, Divis. Jeremy, I hope you're doing well. I just want to say that these are the last bits I can get for now. Money's getting kind of tight right now, and I haven't been able to get any bits from ads from the Twitch desktop or on mobile. I'm going to still try to stay subbed. But yeah, thanks for great streams and the fantastic content. Thank you, Divis. You've consistently and constantly given this stream money every single time. So take care of yourself. Please make sure that you are doing well first before you even consider giving a cent to this stream. But you've been a contributor to monetarily at least for ever. Every single fucking stream. So don't feel sorry about that. Don't. Um, you know, money is getting tight. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about paying me. Take care of yourself. Jeremy Hart at the end there. Thank you so much. Niall Orion, thank you for the $3. Uh, I can't feel my nose. Jeremy's son's last words. 
Uh, Flying Muffin Man also gave $40 that I missed earlier. Shout out to my friend Blue, who's watching. Well, hopefully Blue stuck around. I don't know if Blue's still here, but that was 40 more dollars from Flying Muffin Man. A lot, a lot, a lot. Thank you. For your $140. Smelly Boy, thanks for the three bucks. Jerma, I did the exact same Do You Like America thing you were talking about, but on, but on Omegle. I can't even see Omegle. That's just Omega lull to me now. I, uh, Omegle is not even a real word to me now. <laughs> but, yeah. Everybody wants to know what people think about him. But thank you, Smelly Boy. Thank you, S thank you, Spurgleton. We got you, Spurgleton. Ten bucks came in, but we'll touch upon it again. We're trapped in the belly of this horrible machine, and the machine is bleeding to death. Uh, hopefully we get out. There were a ton of community subs tonight. At least 50 to 60, probably even 70. You guys are incredibly generous. Thank you so much, guys. Uh, and it was it's a bunch of different people, too. It wasn't just one or two people that gave community subs. It was a lot of people, so... Really appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Uh, thank you to... Thank you to Bunt for the three bucks. Are you also going to yell at your children to speak English? No, I'm not going to have any children. Don't worry. Mostly lost thanks to the 250. Now that you've stuck the microphone in your mouth, you can say you do eat ass. No. You can't... There's no, I'm sorry, guys. You don't secondhand eat ass. There's no third-party ass eating. You either do or you don't. Hey, Garfield, the Monday killer. That's you, Garfield, thanks for the 250. I don't know how I feel about having such a strange creature named after me, especially one who seems to have strange backstage dealings. Hope he's just a weirdo and not actually some criminal mastermind. Uh, I'm not here or there, but I'd keep an eye on him if I were you. I've had to deal with a few Monday spies in my day. If Fish Garfield tries anything fishy, I'll be there to keep him at bay. Please applaud that joke. Thanks, chat. Hey, what's with the minus twos? Come on, what do I do? I don't don't boo me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, frozen crazy tuna, thanks for the four dollars. Sorry, Twitch chat is bullying you for a fish. I wasn't getting bullied. This was I I was having a great time. This whole stream was a lot of fun. What are we bullying? We were having fun. If anything, the fish was bullying me, and you guys were laughing at it. That's kind of what happened. But thank you, Frozen Crazy Tuna, for the four bucks. And thank you for the messages, too. I was bullying. <laughs> uh, Pika Banana gave ten bucks, uh, as well as subs, too, I believe. Thank you. Yes, you are attractive. Have some money. Uh, I appreciate that. Thank you. Thanks for the ten bucks. And those are very, very nice words. Thanks a lot, Pika. Hey, Dork Cube, thanks for the 350. I'm using spring break as an excuse to buy bits again, and I want to say that this semester so far has been a lot of bullshit. A bunch of classes I don't want to take. And so when I watched you play that VR hoverboard game the other week and slam into the wall, I was reminded what a wonderful world we live in. I love you too to keep making people laugh their asses off. Thank you. Sorry you have to take classes you don't want to take. Unfortunately, a lot of schools have the... The mandatory credits that you have to take, right? And it can be annoying. <laughs> what a wonderful world. Me crashing into a wall. Uh, any joy that you take from this stream, I keep saying it. I sound like a broken record. But that means a lot. I'm glad that you can take a load off and have some fun here. Thank you, Door Cube. Good luck in school. Good luck in the rest of your classes. Hey, Felix! Felix, thanks for the $5.20. Thank you, Felix. Hey, Jerma, us in the Discord have reached a consensus on the new emote. It should be Jerma Corn. No. No, I'm not going to put that as an emote. Sorry. No. That's just... That's a piece of corn. 
Uh, it's just a cursed corn. Appreciate the uh, effort, though, guys. Uh, it's time for slime. Gave three, six, nine, almost ten dollars here. Thank you, it's time for slime. They say, thanks to you, I'm not addicted to Picross. No, thanks to you, I am I am addicted to Picross. It's ruining my life. Also, please activate the stupid stream legends loot. <laughs> thanks. I will, I will. All right. They say, now. I will activate the stream legends loot. Thanks for the nearly ten bucks here. It's time for slime. Appreciate it. Uh, Never Trust a Purple. What's going on, Purple? $20 from Never Trust a Purple. Germa ate Ergo Fungus on his pizza and is now tripping from naturally produced <laughs> LSD. Oh yeah, I did. I ate a pizza on stream. It's been a long time. I've, it's almost been like a full day on stream. I forgot that I ate a pizza like four and a half hours ago. I ate a whole pizza on stream. <laughs> five hours is 24 hours. This is, what, what do you mean five hours? This is almost an 11 hour stream. Five hours. I see 10, 40, am I crazy? It's only been 10 minutes. No, no, I don't. No, I don't count that. I don't, here's why: a day to me is not while you're sleeping. Now, sure, there are 24 hours in a day, but when you get up, you're usually awake for about 15 to 18 hours, right? So, 24 hours is a whole day, but you don't. You're not awake. You're asleep. A waking day is you know, like VR Josh. It's about 16 hours. So, I've spent almost the entire waking day on stream. You know, uh, not when you're in bed. I've said this before and I will reiterate it as many times as I want to. I don't know how the fuck people do this shit. How do you stream? Because I'm going to give you some insight here. When you think about streaming and you think about how, you know, sitting here in a chair with a camera on or with something on the screen and you're talking and you're engaging, right? And for breaks, right, I, I, maybe I'll go to take a piss like two or three times a stream, right? It's not like, oh, I'll be back in like 40 minutes, right? Like, oh, I'll see you guys in an hour. How do people sit here and live broadcast and entertain people for 12 straight hours like every single day? That's, I can't even imagine doing that. I know, and everybody doesn't do that, but I know there's a lot of people that get come pretty close. They do it by being boring. Oh. Yeah, but if, I, even if you're the most, you could be sitting there, like think about when you guys sit there and like, let's just say playing a video game, right? Even sitting down and playing a game for six, seven, eight, nine, ten hours straight, it, it, t it takes a toll anyways, you know, even if you were not on a stream anyway, if you were sitting there just by yourself. People do these 24 hour streams, they do these like marathons, sit in the chair for 20 hours. I don't know how you function. It's just focusing on the game and less interactivity. No, I'm, I mean, I'm not, I'm not dogging it. I'm just saying it's, that's next level. To broadcast consistently more than 10 hours a stream. I can only go for about eight hours straight and I forget to eat. Yeah? Interesting stuff. But let's keep going. Uh, we're getting pretty close. 
I zoned out and played Starbound for 19 hours once. <laughs> That's so long. Someone's gonna, you gotta like get unplugged. Someone's gonna come in, into your room and like pull the cord out of the back of your computer. At that point, you're like, Bleh! You have to get like woken up. You gotta get like shaken awake at that point. But Bingo Sunshine, thanks for the five bucks. German, please get a haircut. You look like Tim Buckley from the webcomic Control Alt Delete. It's not the first time either. But loss, lol. Seriously, thank you for streaming today. <laughs> it doesn't matter how I do my hair, it's always gonna look like shit. No, no, it doesn't. It looked good in the beginning of the stream. Uh, call me Divide. Thanks for the five bucks. Derma, I'm glad that you get to do what you love every day. Congrats on the fastest pizza world record. <laughs> Thank you, call me Divide. No, I love this shit. Um... Fucking as happy as a goddamn clam. What does that even mean? Somebody look up the origins of that phrase. I don't know what it means. But thank you, Call Me Divide. Thank you, MJ. Thank you, MJ Wodge for the 250. Pizza joke was worth it. Oh my god. Why do I look 60 in this picture? I look like a 65-year-old lion person. I look like the actor that plays Ebenezer Scrooge. Without the makeup on. Ugh. I'm fucking old. Jerma lied about Minecraft VR. Thanks for the five dollars. How much do I have to donate for you to peak the mic? Uh, I don't know, like a thousand dollars probably. So I can just get a new one. <laughs> I'm serious. I'm not kidding. No, 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 no. Stop, stop, stop. I'm kidding. I'm not going to peak the mic. No one's... I told you not amount, no amount of money is going to make me peak the mic. If somebody gets a thousand dollars right now, I'm not going to do it. I want to make that very clear. It was a joke. That was a joke, it's not gonna fucking happen, don't do it. I can promise you that I will not do that. You need to know that. And plus stream's over anyways, good night. Will you do it though? No, I won't. I'm not gonna do it. Hey, Jules, thanks for the 250. Uh, if Otto were to talk this way, would you treat him any differently? No, probably not. Uh-oh. Brolux in the chat. Uh-oh. <laughs> hey! Thank you to Pika Banana again for the 10 bucks. You're a good person, German Heart. Hope you weren't too uncomfortable with all those questions the Frog Band asked you about religion and politics. No, I'm just kidding around. It was fun. I had a good time. It's always a blast. But thank you, Pika Banana, for your subs and your large amount of monetary bits here. It means a lot. Thank you. Uh, Cena Bunny, thanks for the $18, Cena Bunny. This is the best thing I've ever watched. Thanks for making my day every day. That's thank you, Cena Bunny. Thank you for the nearly $20. Thanks for hanging out. I'm glad you enjoy yourself here. Hell yeah, thank you. Also, thank you to Jules again for the 250 that's 2050 cents. This 1998 video game, Frogman has Manfrog, has inspired me to come up with political and religious questions to ask Jerma for the next fan meet and greet. So excited. I won't answer it, I'll just be like, eh, I don't know. Now oh, this Broluck. Broluck, thanks for the 250 here. It's a Twitch clip. Let's see what it is. Do I think the girlfriend is... Wait, wait, what was it? Oh, it's the girlfriend clip. Love. For example, do you think your girlfriend is the one? 
What about Egypt? No. It's true. Uh, no, that's a heavy question to ask anybody. Imagine if you knew. Okay. You meet up with some friends. You hang out with some friends maybe you haven't seen in a long time. You know that your buddy's got a girlfriend and you're, you go out to dinner or something. And there's like 6,000 of you, okay? You're like a, you're a big dinner. There's a lot of people there. And in front of those 6,000 people, I stand up and I point to the, the couple that's been together for a couple of years. And I say, hey, uh, everybody, can I have your attention? I go, ding, 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 ding. I go, excuse me. Everybody, everyone can I have your attention, please? And everyone just fucking stops eating, puts this shit down. It's like we're at a wedding and they look over here. And I go, I uh, just want to have a, a quick question to ask our two uh, cute couple here. Uh, is she the one? Are you getting married? It's going to be like, uh, what the f And you look around, there's fucking thousands of eyeballs. What would you do? That's a pretty reasonable response. And if you say yes, that's a ton of weight too. That's true. Because then you got 6,000 witnesses that are like, well, can't wait to see them married. And what if it doesn't happen? Then those 6,000 people all expect you to get married. And what if it doesn't happen? And then you look like a dickhead. You show up like three years later with some new girlfriend. Well, I, you said you were going to marry that other girl. Oh, wow, I was one of the 6,000 fucking people that were at the uh, farmer's market that day that you showed up. That's 6,000 wedding gifts you can steal. And you look like a dickhead for saying no. That's right. So, I don't know. Maybe, who knows? I'm going to let the world, the wind take me wherever it takes me. That's the correct answer. But thank you, Brolock. Hey, Frodian Weapon, thanks for the 250. Wow, this frog man is really calling you out tonight. Yeah. Yeah, he was. Topak, thanks for the three bucks. Not sure how your brain was able to endure such brain fuckery for this long. If you had any IQ before this stream, it's surely gone now. And people are giving me shit, but not being able to like, I keep like a beat. I, I got 11 hours of being told a bunch of dog shit. I had to sit there for 11 hours and have somebody berate me on stream. And I can't, like, press the button quick enough. <laughs> I had eight hours of sleep during your stream. <laughs> That's a full night's sleep. When did you start watching? The stream was only 11 hours long. Did you just get here like 20 minutes ago? A full night's sleep. Uh. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Thank you, Topak. Thank you, Freudian. We also had uh, KXZ. Thank you, KXZ, for the $30. 30 bucks from KXC. It's almost 9 a.m. over here. But I don't regret staying up for you easily. One of your best streams to date. Keep on keeping on, man, man. Uh, you think this is one of the best streams? Thank you. That's... I sleep through every German stream. Ah, yeah. Thanks for the 30 bucks, KXC. Thanks for the subs. Thanks for everything. I really appreciate it. Freudian Weapon, thank you for the $5. Uh, they say, Germa Heart Bible Thump. Bible Thump, why? Topak, thanks for the 250 I miss Shito. Please show him so I can know he's okay. I've been calling him for weeks and no answer. I'm going to call the Child Protection Services. He's fine. He's on a retreat right now. He'll be back, don't worry. And then Pika Banana came in with 30 bucks. On top of everything else, Pika Banana, you've this is like 200 fucking dollars tonight. 
With all the is it with all the subs too? How many how many subs did you give? You gave like 10, 20, 30 community subs too? It's a lot, whatever it is. It's definitely up there. Thank you, Pico Banana. And you say, thanks for the stream today, Jerma. This is the first full stream I've been able to watch. And it was fun from start to finish. You never fail to make us all laugh, and you never fail to brighten my day. Please keep it up and get some rest. This was a really long stream, Jerma Hart. Thank you. An incredibly nice thing to say. A bunch of fucking money. I am spoiled rotten. Means a lot, though, guys. Really. Thank you. You've been, you've been live for just over 11 hours. By this point, you should have consumed at least 44 ounces of water. I have not had even remote... Uh, one and a 1.3 liters of water? I drank a Coke. How much how much water? This is 12 ounces. No, I had a I, I had a, a drink in here. I've had like probably 20 uh, I've probably had like 25 ounces of water. Coke is negative water. I'll go drink a full fucking Gatorade bottle. I think yeah, I do have Gatorade. Coke de sugar detracts your water. I'm gonna go drink one of those big, goofy, I'm sick Gatorades. Sugar compacts your body, maybe. <laughs> you took better care of the frog. <laughs> <laughs> Killer Crocomire, thank you. I should raid or host someone. Uh, I don't even know if there's anybody who's still streaming right now to do a host to, to do a raid to. I like to raid more than I like to host because raiding feels more like, hey, let's go. Hosting kind of just happens. I'd rather just like raid. And be like, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna raid this person tonight, and here we go. Is Kraken streaming right now? Who the hell is it? I gotta take a look at the list. But uh, thank you to Exifer for the 250. Local crazed and deranged streamer plays demonic off tempo song to thousands at 4 a.m. It was off tempo, and I wasn't even, wasn't even my fault. Hey, Rainy David, thanks for the five bucks. You should play Catherine on stream so we can see you answer more difficult questions. I've never played it. Is that the moment you you Cubert up a wall? Right? It's like reverse Cubert. It's like you climb walls and shit. I don't know, maybe. I haven't really given it a look. Yeah, I'm gonna probably say no, though. Probably not. Hey, Novi, thanks for the free 33, $3.33. Can't believe you actually finished this game. This is gonna make for a great second germ of video. Well, they have a, they have 11 hours to work with. We'll see what they come up with. <laughs> uh, almost only a few more left. This washing machine, thanks for the three bucks. Thanks so much for the late night stream, German makes staying up studying for exams way easier. Good luck on your exams. And glad to... Glad to keep you company for a while while you're studying. Good luck. You should have played this game connected to the polygraph machine. An 11 hour polygraph. You know how, you know how much money that would cost? Get somebody to sit here and fucking make sure the questions are done correctly. That would be like six grand. That'd be a long paper. <laughs> hey, can I can you can I take an eleven hour polygraph, please? So one stream worth of bits. 
<laughs> I don't know. It's not that much. But, uh, thank you, this washing machine. Good luck. Bro, luck, thanks to the 250. If you don't scream into your mic, I will donate money. You, I'm not going to scream, and I'm not going to not scream. No money needs to be involved. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to get paid to do it. I'm not going to pay not to do it. It's, it's not going to happen. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to... Neither one of those things is going to happen. Clueless Sniper, thanks for the 250. I'm heading out. Good night. Hopefully I caught you right here. Have a great night. So, was that a real doctor during the polygraph stream? That's Dr. Schmeitzen. Just because you don't have credentials doesn't mean you can't be a real doctor. Uh, but thank you, Siroc, for the 250. Kenshi Frogman versus Seaman Frogman at Germa Rumble. Probably. Probably. It's a pretty good idea. And then finally, we had KXZ for another $10. Thank you, KXZ. And finally, Tala Mac, thanks for the 250 at the very end here. Hey, Germa, I missed most of the stream. Can you play it again tomorrow? Or just do it one more time? I. Bro, luck, what are you doing? Look, holy shit, look at these subs. These are all the new subs and all the resubs. Thank you, everybody. That's going fast as hell. That's a lot of subs. Bro, luck, I'm disappointed in you. That's what he said to me. And frankly, I, I you know, you, you don't have to give me, you don't have to give me that hundred bucks. What for what? Because I didn't do it. I'm not gonna scream into the mic. I'm not gonna do it. I didn't. Yeah, I didn't have to give it to you. Well, regardless, that's a shitload of money. Thank you. You've given so much money over the last fucking decade. It's been almost a decade. Lower the mic and scream. No, this is a nice microphone. You can really, you can damage a mic that is this high quality by screaming as loud as you can into it. You can. This is not just like a headset microphone. This isn't a Seaman microphone. I will break this mic and have to order a new one. And it's nice. And it's, why is there a 5.8 emote? This, did you make that just to... Oh, okay. I was, for a second, I was like, what the fuck is going on? I always see you guys on Tuesday. Thanks for sticking around. Thanks for staying for uh, this longer stream. We saw the end of C-Mammy. Yeah, we actually got to the credits. See you soon. God damn, that's a lot of subs. Let's see who's uh, who's streaming right now. Who's live right now? Let's see. Uh, Kraken and... Joel are both live. Um, let's go say hi to Kraken. We haven't seen, we haven't raided or hosted Kraken in a while. We've raided Joel a couple times here in the last couple weeks. Let's go, let's go say hi to Kraken. You said Kraken is cosplaying? What, is he, what are you doing? What is, he, what is he playing? For a second I thought it said... Auto chess. No, no, it is auto chess. <laughs> At that point, sure. Like, we'll, we'll do something. <laughs> uh, Joel is ending. Yeah, go, just go scream at Kraken. Loot the loot, the loot, the right, right, right. Uh, Kraken, Kraken also is apparently drunk. So I may be sending you to a a drunk stream. Just be aware of that. I'll give you the loot. Hold on. Let me just open up my dashboard. If you have you playing Stream Legends on the little dash down there. I uh, am about to give a gift, which is every stream pretty much every 24 hours I can come in here and 
give everybody a present. So, if you're into it, then open it, because it's coming in about 15 seconds. And it should be there right now. There you go, new gear. What level is it? What, do we have like a, we have like a guild, right? What level is the guild? Is it an extension? Yeah, it's all the way at the bottom of the page. I put, I buried it so it wouldn't take up any real estate. Level 36, damn. That's pretty good. Alright, <clears throat> I'll see you guys on Tuesday. Go say hello to Kraken. Go encourage uh, them to be good at uh, auto chess. I don't, I don't know anything about auto chess, so all I know is that people like it. And it's kind of reminiscent of the old Warcraft 3 mods. I have no idea. Go say hello. Let's get it queued up. See you Tuesday. Thanks for sticking around. See you Tuesday. I just heard myself. That was weird. All right. Good night. Goodbye. Good luck. See you later. Queue up. Ready to raid Kraken in... Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Cue it up. Good night, guys.